fool of you this week. Uh, so, it's okay. So, you guys Four of us. have traveled across the Ordulian Caldera and have successfully, sorry, have successfully found the metallic dragon. A golden metallic dragon. Auric Gildane. He's resided in here for who knows how long. You've traversed across these mountains, encountered elements of its strange history, as well as a group of slaves as well, which you managed to settle, uh, de-escalate their worry, and convince them that you could help lead them to the safety that the dragon was providing. Along the way, you managed to avoid, well, deal with a uh, nasty ambush that could have been pretty bad if it wasn't for the kind of banishing the demon and Vi further helping by casting great invisibility on the Akada. And not, with the demon not even getting a single bloody hit in, <laughs> you guys were able to really quickly dispatch the remaining, the remaining drow of this troop of ambushers. Rest up, and those of you who did sleep, everyone apart from hands, received a collective dream from the dragon. Testing you all and inviting you into its presence. And the next one you were greeted by this opalescent mist, where you told to venture into it. And as you drew closer to the dragon's lair, you noticed all the gems on your equipments, persons, weapons, jewelry, whatever, started to glow and illuminate. And then you were approached by five dragon-like figures who escorted you towards the father and from there you were brought forth before this ancient gold dragon he had some questions some deep questions were had you guys answered pretty damn well and Wolf convincing the dragon to allow you guys you it was decided that you guys might be willing to help the dragon deal with the nearest drow settlement in the fear, a surface slave settlement, home to thousands of slaves that the dragon is very keen on freeing. So, as the seven of you, even though the four of you are here presently, you've watched this gargantuan ancient dragon come out of the water pool and its form shift into humanoid form. This humanoid form stands at average height of you all. The skin starts as a rich gold that slowly shifts into a more subtle tanned bronze. Shoulder length hair and a wispy beard form of gold rich blonde locks. And his eyes are now a much tamer orange but still have molten warmth to them. And his wings have folded over his person into a golden traveler's robe and cloak, which slowly also shifts into a more subtle orange brown colour. And his shields most of his body except his he head which is unhooded and his firm, precise arms that truly show his draconic strength. And it is strange, even as a humanoid, you still feel the aura of power and majesty kind of radiating from him. And yet with a subtle change in stance, posture and demeanor, he looks just like an average human. <sighs> As he kind of flexes and adjusts into his new shape. 
It will be a long walk to Nafia. If we leave within the next hour, travel well. We will reach the outskirts just after sunset. So, Silver Coins, what would you guys like to do? I'd like to see if I could disguise self into the size of dragon he was before he did that. <laughs> How can he do that and I can't, Sarge? <laughs> you wouldn't try, would try to disguise yourself as a gargantuan dragon. <laughs> yeah, 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 I wanna see. Okay, give me give me spellcasting check, Hans. <laughs> That's not bad. That's, uh... Just, just, just plus charisma, yeah? Yeah. 21. 21, okay. You... are mighty... Dragon hands, golden, beautiful, majestic, but not the same size. You, the detail <laughs> and the proportions are to your humanoid form, and they are. I hear they are precise. Essentially, you have you have disguised yourself as almost like a scaled down model of the gargantuan dragon, but in the medium size. Uh, You're the action figure. Exactly. I'm the action figure. Yeah, you, you, you got, a, yeah. a 1 to 20 skill. Yeah, I'll turn to... Uh, uh, was it Yurik, sorry? It was Yurik, right? Auric. Auric, Auric. I'll turn to Auric and I'll be like, uh, you need to teach me the size element of this uh, this whole transformation. <laughs> uh, that is something innately gifted onto my purse. Maybe in time I could teach it. Oh. I've not had a pupil in many a century. Well, hopefully. I'll, that would be cool. And then I'll transform back into Hans. <clears throat> and dust myself off. Or pretend to dust myself off. Because mm -hmm. I can disguise myself immaculately. Mm -hmm. It's like, shall we? Would you wish to leave now? I think so. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. So. Wait, no, we've got no other business going on here. This was our business. Mm -hmm. yes. So, you guys step back out, that's fine. Anything you want to do or say? Mm, nope. Nope, okay. So. <clears throat> so, for the sake of brevity, that's a throwback. The dragon, in its humanoid form, leads the seven of you back out of its tail, away from it, across the mountains, heading eastward. The slaves that you had brought are taken in, but since you're leaving, you don't know exactly the details of that. But over the next hours and for the rest of the day, you guys trek eastwards over the mountains, making fairly good progress as Auric takes command and leads you all true and steadfast across, across these slopes with a determined purpose and a knowledge of this journey he's made a few times. Is there anything you guys want to say, ask him or each other as you guys have this day travel. Okay. Um. Any questions? Um. Speak up. If not, that's okay. I'm gonna look at my notes. I don't think so. Wait, Aina, did you use or Nate? Did you use um Cathal? Uh, when we were talking, or when we were talking talking to uh, Auric. No, I haven't used him since our last rest. Oh, okay. I thought I thought I remember you. Sure. He was he was brought up, but just um like out of character, nothing has been expended. He it he, he just I just okay. summoned him, but nothing was used up for it. Okay. Uh... Got anything in mind? Uh, I'm not sure if it's the right time to ask about it. Oh, you know what? What, what the hell? <laughs> uh, I'll uh, I'll I'll walk up to Aina, um, 
<clears throat> and I'll and I'll I'll say to her, so like so these so these spirits that you've mentioned, you've I've I've seen you summon a couple of these spirits um, before. What what are they, and like how 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 do they assist you? Well, I mean, you said it. They're spirits. They are basically they are people who have moved on from this world. And somehow I found a way to connect with them. Connect between that barrier between life and death. And they help me by helping me keep people safe. Distracting my enemies when I need them to. Shielding my allies when I ask. Sharing information if they choose to. And um, who who are these spirits? Why why do you have a connection with these people? One of them was well, um, Cathal, who I've mentioned being uh, who this group was named after. He passed before I met this group, and I did not know him at the time. But at one point um, during my meditation, I found um, well. A hint of him, I guess, and I continued to focus on that connection every time I meditated, and eventually it strengthened into a bond that kept him tethered to me, in a way. And another is um, a drow we met. His name is Theomor. He was the Forge Heart, right? Forge Heart? And... First you stop using my weapons, now you forget my title line. Nay, <laughs> 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 he does not remember what her name is sometimes. I I I I don't I don't think I've I've, I've heard Cathal mentioned, but I don't think I've heard Theomor. Um I, I I don't think I've heard about Theomor. Both in and out of character, by the way. <laughs> tell me Can you can you can you oh. tell me more about him? Or her? Uh, he... well... He is the one that forged that, and I point at the weapon. Um, what, your weapon? Wheel- no, um, being currently wielded. Um, it was Thingy's weapon, wasn't it? Um, oh, Moon... Moon Ember. Moon Ember, yeah. Twilight draws out um, the short sword. Yeah, this is... This was once a broken relic. Now it's mine. He was the only one. He was the only one who knew how to put it together, and he gave his life for it. Oh, I missed that. You also made your great sword. You great. Yeah, well, yeah. I I take out the great sword from the bag. <laughs> <laughs> we what, all what? have weapons that we bought from him and his. What's husband. the great sword called? Uh, Inferno great sword. Oh, that sounds sick. You know those um, balls of flame that, uh, you know, casters like to throw around. Oh. Um, it emits a similar effect um, sounds... once a day. That sounds cool. So, what happened to Theomar? Well, to become he... a spirit? He needed to give his life in order to complete the forging, the reforging of Moon Ember. And, oh, shit. And so he did. He sacrificed himself. And... Somewhere along the way, I've managed to find him again, and um, yeah, I can I can speak to him. The party can only see Cathal, but only because they were there when I first properly spoke to him, properly, strongly communicated with him, and they knew him. But I haven't strengthened the. And when he died. Well, yeah, and when he died. And I, I wasn't. Uh, I haven't strengthened the bond with the other two enough for anyone else to see them. So. Who are the other two? Well, I mean, um, Theomor is one of them, and the other is Sigurd. Um, Sigurd. I think I found him because he is from my homeland, and well, we share, I guess, ancestry. Not like not like related, but like we come from the same place. We lived the same way, we fight the same way. Do you think there's any significance behind Sigurd's spirit being with you? 
apart from it being from the same place? Do you think there could be more to that? You know, I I don't know. I I'll be honest. I I don't really know if there's any other reason. Hmm. That's one thing that I want to look into as much as I can, but out here, uh, it's hard to find people who could do something like this. I know of someone back home, but... Yeah. And who is the last spirit? No, it's just those three. Oh, it's just those three? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. That's pretty interesting. That you can attune with your spirits almost and help you out when you're in a pickle. Yeah. I'm fortunate in being able to do this. Um, I was taught the ways of, I guess, reaching out to meditating with, like, the, the essence of it, but only, only in the recent year or so have I been actually able to do it. Um, Heps, out of character, um, because I'm not so familiar with planes and all that kind of stuff. So when Aina summons, like, a spirit from one of these places, like, would I, like, what, what, like, the ethereal plane to me kind of is like a ghosty kind of plane, right? Mm -hmm. Would, like, these spirits come from the ethereal plane or would they come from somewhere else? Oof, now you're asking. Give me a religion or a counter check. Can I, uh, can I turn to Leokada and ask what she thinks as well? Sure. What, give me the specifics of a spirit to connect community. Religion? Mm -hmm. oh, come on. Alright, the religion check, Leokada. Because we're all, we're all like, kind of, like, walking as a team, right? Yeah. Because I, and, and they know I've, I've, I can go. Hands forcing the Leokada to make a check. Of course I am. Oh. Oh. Oof, oof. oh. oh, oh no, I'm the one happening. who rolled that. No, no he's making his own chat. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I had to roll my own. Um. And I didn't say guidance either. Oh, I'm so stupid. Did not... I say guidance. G mm. Oh, come on. I always guide myself for checks. So it's not like it's a mystery. I didn't say it, though, so I, I won't count as for myself. Mm. Uh, five plus one. So. Give me a second, I need to, it doesn't know what my religion is. Um. I got a six. Can I guide? No. Oh, come on. It, no. Uh, yeah, I was... Wait, hold on. Um. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Oh, you still have inspiration? I do. Yeah? Well, should I? Nah, it's ten. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Sorry. Okay. Um. Hans, you know, like, when he died. The concept of an afterlife Fuck you. is widely known. Is widely known. Um, you being from the house. Um, yep. You're a bit familiar with this. Um. So like. Yeah, like when you die, your soul, your spirit has to go somewhere. Um, <coughs> you don't exactly, oh, sure. you're not really too familiar with the process. That was never really your kind of focus or interest. You were just yeah. more like, you were just more the man who just got stuff done. The Akada, um, with an 11 for religion. Yep. You know that. There's quite a few different planes, and well, female came to you traveled to Aboria, and yep. it just so happened female came to rest yep. in Aboria. Decided to just take the one way trip. Yeah. You get the sense that there would be like other planes, mm -hmm. and, and you have heard of just in passing. Mm. With Aina and just being around the human barbarian, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. imagine Yi's god. Oh, right, right, right. But this is. That, but the actual, the actual kind of notion of like 
bringing forth these spirit in like a consensual cooperate cooperative mm -hmm. way. I don't really know too much about it. Okay. You know, how much knowledge? Okay. I would be curious if uh, if you did ever summon those spirits, and if I went into the ethereal plane, if what would happen? I have no idea what the process there is, so. Oh, you mean if you can see them? Yeah. I wonder what that would be like. Because in my travel, like, when I go into the ethereal plane, I don't see anything except for your shadows, basically. Um, I can see and hear everything, but I've never seen anything else in the plane with me. Hmm. Right, right Hips? I've not, I've not seen anything else in the ethereal uh, plane. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Does it mean there's. Mean there oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. But like, um, just like when I've used it, um, there's not really been anything there. Uh, no, that's not been. No. Maybe no. next time. Uh, if, if ever we, well, if ever we're not walking towards a drow settlement and about to infiltrate <laughs> them, we should test that out. See, see uh, what happens. Maybe before a long rest or something, we could do that. Yeah. Might be worth a try. See what see what you can see. Yeah, it might be interesting. Might 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 come to nothing, but yeah. Well, thanks for telling me about the spirits. I wish yeah. uh, I wish I knew Theo more while he was alive, and you could have uh, I don't know crafted me something cool. <laughs> Maybe an eldritch dagger of some sort. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> his children have taken over the shop that they left behind. That is interesting. Oh, Kuyayan is his son. <laughs> yeah, General Kuyayan Zealocent. He is Theomor's son, Theomor Zealocent. Well, general who, sorry? Kuyayan. General Kuyayan Zealocent. Uh, the general of the Elven Army. Kuyayan. You know how there's the commander, the blade dancer, then the general. The general is Theomor's son. Oh. That's why he's so nice to Aina all the time. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not because of my charming and flowery personality? Oh, of course, of course, but you always refuse that you have one, so I'm just have to, you know. What, a personality? No, that you always refuse to be like, I don't know, charming and stuff, so I need to like push up, push forward other things. <laughs> You're always nice, but you also t refuse to acknowledge it. Yeah. Uh, See? I, I I always talk first. That is me being nice. Yeah, yeah. I never yeah, yeah. I never yeah. cut people up before I talk to them first. No, of course, of course, of course. Just 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 just, 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 just It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. The base standard of being nice, you don't kill <laughs> someone. <laughs> well, but you have killed people. <laughs> That's not a good message. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, Hans, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> anytime you have any, anytime you have any questions, please let me know. Well, something else I wanted to ask about, right? Mm -hmm. In the mountains here, obviously your furs, like wearing your furs and all that kind of stuff, makes sense. But you wear these furs when we're in warmer climates as well. Like, why? Like, do you not get? <laughs> Super hot. <laughs> Good question. Well, you don't yes, seem to cat... perspire that much either. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Naturally cold blood. <laughs> but actually, no. actually, sorry, we can, we can't. Wait, wait, Heps. Does Ina <laughs> perspire? Or, or Ina, does Ina perspire quite a lot? I'm gonna let Ina answer that. <laughs> See, yeah, it's true. I'm used to colder climates, um, but that's not. I mean, yeah, in warmer places, I kind of suffer a little bit, but especially with keeping these, well, this cloak on me. But it's. I mean, it's just. We killed this very wolf in the Empire when we were over there. And, you know, I had it get tanned and treated, and, and then I had it enchanted into a cloak of protection. And I just. I like to keep it around. Just because it's a piece of home oh. and also because you know we killed that wolf ourselves oh, nice and memento yeah I, was, 
I got character. That's very nice of you, Hips, to let um, to let Aina keep her cloak. That's um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I wish I knew what it's like to keep a cloak. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, fixing my collar for no uh, related reason here. I'll take, I'll take situations I don't want to be here for, out for two hundred dollars. <laughs> that cloak is still out there, buddy. Fucking hell. That's the next thing on our list. We'll win this war and then fucking kill the legend of it. No, we killed the Vagabond the fucking, Prince. The fucking no. long build up towards that comment, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So it offers you protection. I get it. Yeah, I'm going to touch it and I'm going to. Ooh, feels magic. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like a static electric shock. <laughs> Matthew knows if I'm touching a door in Ocean Terminal, you know what I'm saying? Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> that's a throwback. <laughs> Honestly, I'll never forget like that, like that piece of like lightning going between mm. my finger and that door was 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 magical. <laughs> it's almost like you two had chemistry. I don't know. <laughs> More human contact with a door than another human. <laughs> there was electricity between you two. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's that, that's that. That's the answer to that. Cool. <laughs> that's enough. Of <laughs> is Ina sweating right now? Is Ina sweating right now? Give me a card saving for Ina. <laughs> <laughs> it turns I want to make it a check. Like, it's like a technical, like the the polyester material thing uh, that it's, it's you put like to keep like on. It keeps you warm if it's cold, but it lets you like breathe yeah, and it's air breathable. if it's yeah. yeah, it's... yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, her cheeks look a little bit red, but not really sweating. Not in the places you can see, at least. Mm. Hans thinks to himself, yeah, that's appropriate for the mountains. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, I guess keep walking. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Bye. Very casual. Is there anything, any conversations you want to have with the dragon or each other? What? Where are we on our way to now? Mafia. Okay. The settlement next to the mountains that we're at. The drow settlement. <clears throat> I'll start drafting a letter to one of these people. Okay. Well, is it actually. So. Would there actually be anything. Actually, there's some. Uh, can, can, tips can. Like, practice. As you. Can we do a no. pocket now? Okay. I'll, 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 well, uh, while we're walking there, I will, um, well, firstly, I'll ask if we're being scried on. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, checking. And, um, and then once I know we're not being scried on, I will ask Auric what the plan is. I don't think we went through a firm plan. Oh. Detect no. magic. Can detect magic? Sure. Okay. Accept detect. Can I guide? guide? No, I don't trust you. Yeah, I mean, yes. No, not like... <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to the guys! What do you mean? <laughs> wow. Oh, guide yourself then. Fuck. <laughs> 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 to Auric about what, what what the plan is for him. I was wanting to go over this when we make camp this night. Ah, okay. But you see that too. if we are in the clear for now, quite simply, We 
you sneak in to your fear. You, you either sneak in, disguise yourselves as drow or slaves. And once inside, I will part from you all. I leave you to your own means. It's a very simple plan. Find and sabotage as many of the ballista around a fear as you can. Unshackle. Free as many slaves as you can. Find a way to safely evacuate them. And most importantly, avoid drawing any attention. And if you must fight, fight quickly and silently. Just try avoid making any loud noises as mm, I sense the magic coming from you. Avoid any uh, raucous spells just to not draw the alert of the whole saddle. But I, I am not foolish. At some point, the alarm may be raised. And when that happens, you evacuate with as many, with any of the, any slaves you have freed, fully the city, and I shall cover our retreats back into the mountains. Sounds good. I turn it to the party. I feel like. I, I I really feel like what could be a really fun play here is we go around and pretend we're inspecting the ballistas and just sabotage them. <laughs> we do ha have a... Uh... How goes it? If it's... If, if the fear is anything like Frody, it's going to be decent size. I'm yeah. only going to say this once. But I think it might be a good idea if we were to split up to cover more ground. For example, if I go with Twilight and Fig, I mean Twilight's pretty sneaky, and I can just be there just to offer you know some pretty solid fucking protection for <laughs> the princess, and you know Fig, the pretty powerful, pretty decent spellcaster. Split up, cover more ground, and I think we might be able to take out a more ballista like that. Two groups are around this one big one. Wait, do we st do we take out the ballistas the priority or is that priority getting this later? I leave that up to you. You can take out this ballista as you go along, focus on the ballista, and it's your choice. The ballista and the slaves. The ballista mainly to, well, aid me should I need to reveal my true form. As these ballistas give a nasty sting. Yeah, I think like ballistas are priority here. And then the slaves can, like, kind of. So, essentially, like, can... since three or a group are missing, and I'm not going to yeah, I'm no, not gonna I know. go through the hassle of dealing with three missing players. Split the party, Haga, Twyla, and Fig go on their own, leaving the four of you. Yeah, I mm -hmm. figured that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, our character, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Heist? Heist? No, I think, I guess we. Well, I need a translator. Um, <laughs> and you can't be disguised by. Uh, Lee, Lee, Lee you don't speak draw, do you? Or Nicole? I uh, don't speak draw. I, I hear draw. Right? And I don't doesn't speak under common either. I don't speak no, it. Vi speaks under common. Yeah. Yeah, no, but I can't disguise. And I feel we like Vi's face is going to be on like a wanted poster along with the rest of us. So. <laughs> we have a draw captain uniform. I think if we make him look mean enough oh. and speak enough, 
they will be too scared to even consider the fact that just because, you know, he looks like Vi, that he is Vi. Maybe, because didn't Tyla have, like, didn't she disguise herself as a drow once? So maybe we can, like, she can put on some makeup on him to make him... Mm-hmm. Get my tape measure out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just I can help you put the captain uniform on him. Let me see. You do, Vika, you do also have access to further Volkark spell tongues. Uh, Is, doesn't, that requires that, that, diastic material components though. Tongues. Tongue things, but it allows you to, un allow you to understand on the common. Would she be able to speak it? I can understand it, but not speak it, but I thought yeah. I could understand it anyway because of it's similar to Elven. No, you can read it. Oh, right. Because okay. of the written language is Elvish based. Okay. Uh... So you would be able to. So you guys are going to be camp like camping the night before and going in in the morning? Oh, right. So... Okay, okay, okay. Because I was like, I don't think I would have this. No, 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 you guys, <laughs> you get, guys will take, like, okay. you guys, it's a day's travel to get to Nafia, so. So we camp and now it, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, so yeah, I could understand, How... but I yeah. can't speak it. Mm -hmm. How many ballistas are there? I'll, I'll, I'm asking more, do we know? I count 48 across the entire city. <laughs> you need not to take out them all, just as many as you can. I believe the majority of them are placed westwards to watch the mountains. I'm assuming that is where we would be going? Coming from? Correct. Mm. Wait a minute. Right. Talk talk to me about the uh, the landscape. Is there a lot of snow on the mountains and could we do an avalanche There's of no some snow sorts? on these mountains, Hans. Shit. We wait till it's winter. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we'll be Milana banning all the slaves better. too. Uh, <laughs> uh, Follow-up question: home, no. Are there any Isengard-esque dams uh, up the mountain? <laughs> Isengard. <laughs> Can I see a tower with a menacing eye on top? <laughs> Make up. <a> no. <laughs> There's no dams. Damn. <laughs> well, damn, damn son. Damn it. I mean, are you, well, I don't know. Are you asking Oric as well, or are you just like. To... Yeah, I'm asking Oric. Okay. I'm asking Oric. Someone's opened the floodgates. Mm -hmm. No dams within these mountains. The settlement itself is. The settlement of Nefriu is not that well fortified. Uh, it is. Set of ruins bolstered by a patchwork job of repairs. The walls themselves could crumble easily from a from a light siege. With the perimeter towers bolstering the walls and defenses. And is there any um <laughs> So just the mechanisms of a ballista, is there any like, I don't know, like mechanism that can easily be, be removed from each of the ballistas? Um, you you can do that when you actually inspect one in person. Would Auric know? Since ballistas are kind of not, he's not I've, a huge I've fan. Said, I've, said, I've, said, I've said what I said, that comes down to the okay. check when you're there. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what's our entry point and what's our exit point? Through the main gate, as I suppose it would make better sense to disguise yourselves as drow, a patrol returning and just blending in with the settlement. As it would look suspicious for a group of slaves mm -hmm. to be returning back. But sneaking around the settlement may be easier proven. 
I take it none of you are familiar with Nafia. Nope. That is a non. No. Get the map. First time. And not unfortunately. <laughs> However, <laughs> it is it's known as the Verdemnus Garden. It is. It is abundant with nature. It is. It is essentially a massive farm. The soil here, as he reaches down and his fingers can break, like puncture and break the solid rock and crumble. The soil here is volcanic. Oh, very fertile. Very fertile indeed. Heavy nutrients. The land in the fear is farmed heavily. And the food it provides constitutes fifteen percent of all food to the dominion. Oh shit! Sure. It is ample with vegetation, leaf cover, shrubbery, trees. Perfect for hiding, and blending into the urban environments. Yeah, I honestly think the inspection is the way to go, to be honest. If we just go around and say, yeah, we're just making sure the blisters are all in working order and uh, just take the mechanism and just fuck up the mechanism and good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we do yeah. buy in like an officer uniform and then I could like help you out I'll, and then I'll help you out, but I'll, I'll look around. <laughs> what I'm thinking is uh, I'll like be disguised. Would it, like, would it be a slave or like a drow, do we think? Who would be doing the actual inspection? Would they get like a slave? Oh no, probably a drow. Yeah, yeah, probably a drow. Hey, right, okay, so hey, I. Greg, you can finally put your engineering degree to use. Mm -hmm. shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do engineering with ballistas, heps. Okay. <laughs> well, well, your voice. Uh, then again, saying that I do wear, work on aircraft engines, so we do some propelling. Um, <laughs> but uh huh, uh huh. But um, what I'm thinking is if 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 vi talks to them in undercommon it's like yeah we're just going around inspecting it yeah and then i'll just go and do my checks and i'll help him out and when it, like by like looking over my shoulder every, every so often to look at him and do one of those like disappointing shakes of the head being like oh no oh. <laughs> um, we are in trouble yeah, you see that yeah that, <laughs> that's Matthew, what you call uh, Matthew, uh you live I, you dream to becoming middle management <laughs> <laughs> It's just a lot, just a rung on the ladder, mate. Since I can't, <laughs> since I can't talk under common, so it'd be less suspicious if I'm the one doing the check, and, I'm, and you can just, you can just play it off as like, oh, he doesn't talk much. He's just very matter of fact. Um, but then I'd help you out with the, with the convincing that way, uh, and then while I'm down there, I'll do a bit of investigating to see what I can remove to fuck it up, <laughs> and uh, and then yeah, I think uh, I think that's how we play it. And then we just do that 48 times. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just like the Oceans movies. <laughs> the, the Ballista Inquisition, would we expect it. <laughs> the Ballista Inquisition. Are we the Draconis 7? <laughs> <laughs> oh <Yes>. my god. <laughs> Draconis no 7. Up. <laughs> now, I will just reiterate this. So, mm -hmm. if you guys are detected... If you do you have to fight, you may not necessarily about the whole settlement, just perhaps the guards yeah. in the vicinity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if so yeah, if you do, do have to fight, it's not immediately like it's not immediately yeah. a, it's not immediately a tits up. Mm -hmm. Like you, you yeah. might be able to salvage it provided you don't, you know, cast thunder wave or cast a fireball into the tower in the centre mm -hmm. of the settlement. So mm -hmm. this <laughs> So what you're telling me is Yeah, or cast firestorm. Okay, so you don't know what I'm gonna cast. Shut your mouth. Yeah, I know, but I'm just I, I'm just reiterating that if you guys, since the sand is quite big and spaced out, any disturbance could just be localized. Mm -hmm. So what you're telling me is I shouldn't cast thaumaturgy and shout, "We're here." If you want to. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. That is interesting. But yeah, I think I think that's the play, like our initial play, and then we kind of adapt as we go along. But that way, hopefully, we can just take out all the ballistas. 
And then... Well, probably not all the ballistas. I think so. Like, why not? Like, we just I go around and select them. after 50 ballistas, we can just get to it, like, 10 or... But then, or, or it can, like, kill it, like, do everything then, from there. Like, we just go around inspecting all the ballistas, like, taking the pins out or whatever. Just well, making sure they can't shoot. To, we just need to get some slaves out, right? Like, we don't need well, to... Well, yeah, yeah, then like, we do... The ballista, like, because he, he was saying that if he needs to transform, then we have the, the ballista, some of the ballista will be disabled, but he might not even need to transform. Yeah, but, like... It's we'll, a precaution. The, the plan yeah, is, yeah, though, yeah, but 50 ballista is a lot of ballista, like... Yeah, I mean, what else are we doing? Like, we, yeah, I, I know we've got a few out. slaves as well, but, like, that way, like, there's... There's very there, well to me. There's little chance of being detected well, if we're going. The, the, I don't know. Well, I mean, well we're going, we're just going around taking the pins out and shit like that. I don't these, think uh... it's gonna be just a pin if it's a ballista fit for a dragon. Well, like, well, that's what I'm checking. Like, you che like we inspect it and then see what it looks like, and then we take it from there. And then we can take take them out. Like, if there's like one mechanism I can take out of the ballista that means that it just doesn't function, then how dispersed are these ballista? Yeah, that's like how far away. In like, if they're a mile away each, then. So the majority, <laughs> yeah. a lot of them are. Miles. I, I, yeah, but I, I, the, you, uh, guys, you guys don't have a map. You don't know the placement of these ballistas. And then well, also, the would have flown over the place at least. So how far are the ones that he has seen? So well, he said he said the majority the majority of them are kind of placed at the western. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Are they like on the listen. mountain top? Are they like on the towers? So how are be, these best, like how they, far away from each other? They would be generally they'd be so the the position kind of everywhere and everywhere. So on the on the actual perimeter walls, on rooftops, top towers, some are on the ground. Right. But the space out everywhere and it ver it very like it ver it varies. That's how a really that's a really difficult question to answer how spaced out they are from How far is like the the the, uh, the the two further most apart, how far away are they from one another? How big is Nephia? Like if there is like if there is like this east side, east west side, west, west, west side, side right? Yeah. How far away is the one closest to? I'd say to the other, like from one side to the other. I'd say two ballistas would never be within would be would never be within a hundred feet of each other. Right. How many are on the west side? If the majority are in there, are we talking About like fifteen? Fifteen are on the west side. What I think is, Twyla, Hagar, and Fig can be tasked with getting slaves. We can be tasked with ballistas, and then we just go I as far as we can. I think it might be best if we mix and match with a little bit of both, because that is a lot of ballista, and sounds like it's gonna be a lot of slaves. So we might need to. Both groups may need to do a bit of both. Yeah. Which is also okay. why I'm thinking that doing all 50, 48 of them is not gonna be like. I'm just thinking it's the further away, because if we're coming from the west and we're also leaving from the west, we need to take care of the westernmost one for sure. Because the other one also might not have the range to cover the west side where we're retreating. Oh, oh, uh, Heps, do you remember when we were doing the white dragon thing? Didn't we use a thingy for that, a ballista? Yeah. Yeah. Do I remember the effective range of a ballista? Give me intelligence check. Yeah. Cool. Guidance. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a luck, and I'll take that guidance, please. <laughs> Much better. Um. Plus. Yeah. Plus one, I think, for my intelligence. That's a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. You have no idea. I, no, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Thank you. oh. Oh. Standard. A standard ballista, I know.
Sorry, sorry, give me a second. Oh, geez, this is embarrassing. Here we go. But this the general range 120. 120. First range increments. Okay. Second range increments for 480. So 120 to 480. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, I will bring this up again. Um, so I guess we'll see how far the ballistas are spread. And if we just need to take out enough that the others are ineffective against Auric. Then we take out only that much, and we focus. We put the rest of our focus on the slaves. Yeah, no, but okay. So, what's our exit strategy for slaves then? That's a good question. Because my we thinking to... is, we my my thinking with the slaves is, um, like they'll get free from the chaos that ensues. They might not necessarily run because some of them might be too afraid to leave yeah but like once we've cleared the settlement like there's nothing left to say really it's just yeah you can go now or you can stay here you well, do but you, that's but... the thing because we're not gonna free the whole settlement right that's oh well, we are, are we? that's the point but there's... then what's the point of being a sneak like well we need to get rid of the ballist like we need to give auric an opening to right right right, right, to... right but that's like we are not trying to take the settlement yeah, we, we're liberating it. Yeah, 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 but that's the thing, like, we can only... There's only, like, five or seven of us. Correct. And there's, and also, there's also the drow under city as well. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the point is not to alert or destroy anything, like, openly. It's to get people out discreetly. <clears throat> right? And also, you know, like, settlements have garrisons. Yeah. And... Mm -hmm. If you, if the seven of you want to face off against an entire garrison, go ahead. No, but like. Yeah. No. Wait. No. I'm. I'm confused. No. Uh, the point of this is to liberate the settlement. Oric, Correct. What's the point of this thing? Well, we're liberating the settlement. That's what Oric said. Like that's what he wants. We need to deal with that. I thought he just only wanted the slaves. The slaves to be freed. To stay in the fear is to draw the wrath. Of the Dominion further. Free the slaves and then we will escort them back into the mountains where I can protect them in my sanctuary. How many slaves are you wanting to take out with this run? As many as we can. There are about 4,000 slaves. Yeah, how can oh we do that? <laughs> okay. I do not expect all of them to be free, though I wish they were. Okay. We can't Next. just walk them out. Follow up question: What is the uh, what are the entrances to the under undercity then? What do you mean? If like if 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 we're only like looking at the surface settlement now, you're saying there's the undercity there, right? Correct. So what what are the entrances to the undercity? Are, are, is it like multi like a lot of entrances there, or do we have a Paris type situation where there's only like seven? You would know, ha you would know, hands. There would be dozens of entrances, tunnels, then splitting alternate auxiliary tunnels leading from the undercity to uh, Nefia. And you guys would know something similar as well because of like Frodi and Dalvendor as well. Yeah. So okay. So we have to do this quietly. Yeah. That's basically the gist of it. We can't do anything loud and proud as a distraction. Which is also I'm thinking like getting rid of all the ballista might be too much. Yeah, I mean, sorry, I thought we were, like, just liberating the entire thing. Um, Seven of you and a dragon. But if there are... Yeah, we have a fucking dragon. I mean, I don't know. Like, they're, <laughs> big, they're fucking that, big dudes. A, yeah, no, that, that, that's a fair point, but... Yeah. This is, just the dragon just... With Oryx, Dragon's a fucking a pacifist. It's <laughs> not meant to be a decisive strike. This is just meant to be, like... How do you usually take out the slaves? How do they usually, like, bring them out of the city? I usually disguise myself as so sneaking and perhaps gather about a dozen at a time but that's maybe once a week I'm able to draw out that many With this they all need scared 
they are desperate, but they know there is a way out, and they know there is sanctuary in the hills somewhere. You will have to persuade them, or deceive them, however you do it. Convince them to either leave Nefia, clear a way out for them so they can run the gate, or free them, gather it, gather them, and if you have a quick way of teleporting as many hours as you can, Oh. Arcane Gate! Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> so, it's you... Like, you guys have... I'll just miss, guys, I'll just miss an accident. You guys have options <laughs> okay, either... Next idea, next idea. Okay, here's one team. Either you clear There's the way... There's ethereal-ness. So, either you... <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me finish. Either yeah, okay, you clear yeah. the way for the slaves to, like... Clear the way for the slaves yeah, to like, uh, yeah. get out, or... You free them of the shackles them to wait by the time and then a, ma a mass exodus That's or option easy. three there's a quarry in the mountains that the slaves are required for and we uh tell get your fucking arses up the mountain right now get digging and uh <laughs> maybe that works yeah. or mm -hmm. something like oh we need to like the, oh, like they're still um, wait. We're still waiting for the silver draconis to show up, so we need the slaves to create a, to, to weaken the walls of the mountainside, so we can cave them in. Yeah. We'll need a prominent figure to be able to convince them of that. Yeah. If there's anything m I more like important than a captain, then we're not going to be able to do much because the captain uniform is all we have. Yeah. What does the Dry Queen look like? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And you know, her Just so hmm? that we can get them out. Yeah. You guys have options here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we just clear, like, try and get, secure the western side. Yeah. And then just, like, and then from there just try and, like, sneakily go around and get slaves to the western side. And once we've amassed a bunch of them being like, right, through the gate you go. Yeah. <laughs> or as we move from Balista to Balista to see if we can convince yeah. any. So, okay, so here's the plan. We, 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 try and, we try and take out as many Ballistas on the western side as possible. Mm -hmm. So, let's say like 10, 20, what, what, however many there are on that side. Mm -hmm. Then, um, then we try and get as many slaves gathered there as possible. We potentially take out any guards in the immediate vicinity from where we're gathering the slaves. Or, like, hide them in a, like, I don't know, like, on the wall, I, I don't know, like, hide them in a little bit um, that we can find. And then um, we go around the rest of the, the settlement and try and get the, most of them before we get caught and then just yeah out of there. I think that's like the only yeah. way we can play this, right? I don't really can't think of another way to do it. Because once the alarm alarms go, then all like the, if you the guys, swarms. If you guys are taking the western side, we can if when we sneak in. Last go first. We can try sneak away to the eastern side and hit a ballista over there and try draw get some slaves over there as well. So we all go out the same way. Mm. What you mean? Leave Hagar, the eastern that's, ha that's Hagar speaking. Yeah, yeah. So he, yeah, no, no. But like, so is Hagar suggesting we go out the eastern side? No, no. They go on the eastern. His team, yeah. Hagar, Twilight, and Fig. Yeah. They sneak in. They sneak in the same way you guys are. They go first. They yeah. make their way to the eastern side. Yeah. So they can try deal with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I see that. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only way we can do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I know, right? You got anything yeah. else to say? Yeah. So are we pose still posing as the Ballista Inquisition or what? I think so. Yeah. To start with and then get rid of like a bunch of ballistas on the western side. That way. And we're doing and the then... ballistas then slaves? Yeah. And then just and then we'll start to go around and like gather them and then I don't know, like can we convince the guard like if the slaves are like guarded and stuff like that we can say oh we need them for 
a project next to the western wall for example like i don't know like we need more fortifications over there because the silver draconis are expected to be coming from that way so we need the slaves okay. to be building shit over there yeah. yeah we could convince it that way mm -hmm. like stop that farming we need you over here mm -hmm. um, yeah uh, how did the is there any because this the slaves know that there is like a sanctuary of some sort so is there any like code symbol or, or pass like code or something that would signal to them that the the they're you know they it's time to leave it's time to be freed yeah like ulrich sends his regards or something i am not that infamous <laughs> God, okay. Suppose they have seen me in some regards in my true form. Kind of reaches under his robe and produces about a dozen of his golden skills. Pass it off to you. That might convince them. Um, I pass what so that we have one each, and then the leftovers. I'll see what to do when we get sure, yeah. comes. Yeah. Sounds like we have a framework of a plan, at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay, Vi is getting make up so that it looks like a drug captain. You and I can yep. disguise. Depends. Mm -hmm. We need to hide Aina. But sh can we make her invisible? We can, but that's uh, not. That's like, what, 10 minutes each oh, right, or something okay. like that? So it's like, not really. I have just Could Norm, you... Marshall. Oh, for, no, I have great invisibility. That's yeah, that's even worse. Sure. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> A minute, every minute, just. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I can find oh. Her. oh, no. Wait. Yeah. We mm -hmm. had an epiphany at the same time. <laughs> could you try to disguise Aina as just a drow soldier? We could. Yeah. I don't know. It's just. Yeah. He, oh, like he, and, he, he and, polymorph into. I could. Yeah. And give Vi the officer of thing. But something I was thinking about, right? If greater invisibility lasts one minute, and far step lasts a minute, because you can greater invisibility on someone else, right? Yeah. I just need to touch them. Can... What if I just like far step between? Like if you greater invisibility me and I just far step between ballistas and just get as many as I can within a minute. Um. Well, after we see the first one and see how hard they are to take out, then sure. I could get like five, I think, in like a cast. Because it's like sixty six, like it's sixty feet per far step. Greater invisibility lasts a minute, assuming they're about a hundred. Wait, no, you said like uh, more than a hundred, right? There's no more than a hundred feet between them. Mm. That's what you said, right? You probably the, get. The, or no, no less than hundred yeah, feet. The, no, but they're still all within a hundred feet of each other. So yeah. they're a hundred yeah. plus feet then. So other. assuming I fire, I have to fire a step twice to go from ballista to ballista. That's twelve seconds. So you could get you five know, ballista if, if, before you became uninvisible. If they're no less than a hundred feet apart from each other, then that means that. We only need to take out about five on either side to create a nice channel for True. Auric to fly through. True. Oh, I'm not well, flying. I'm sneaking yeah. in as myself. Just in an emergency. I mean, if you if you do need to. Um, oh yes, that's you know. the entire premise of this. Is if you can take as many ballista, I would be able to fly lower and provide more cover. The more ballista the lower, the higher, the higher, and more the higher I'll have to be off the ground and ineffective. I'll be. How much? How much does a ballista do? Do you remember from? I asked Kim, but also do I remember from when we were fighting the dragon? Well, um... these ballistas have a particular sting. I have a feeling the Dominion may have specially modified these for myself. Mm-hmm. And go on. I mean, I can't really tell you. Ah, okay. That's fine. Are they poisoned? 
no poison, just very damaging. Okay. Do you remember how much damage we were doing in the winter run? No. Okay. I know you remember how much damage. No, I <laughs> 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 You guys are like you guys are won't be able to plan for okay. everything and yeah that's fine. you can force step if you want to but just seeing someone force stepping and running to a ballista no like, but that's what I'm saying is I'm great I'm if I'm greater invisible like for a minute oh the only like, problem I would be concentrating on the greater invisibility I'd be concentrating on far step so then it's it would work. The only problem would be is how long it would take to disable or dismantle a ballista. And well, can... yeah. So if we yeah. walk up to one and like inspect one, so then we can understand that a little bit and be like, all right, okay. Yeah. Actually, are all the ballista like guarded or are there any? Is it like, are they all manned and ready to go? But times have come here before. When the settlement is not. On alert. Usually about half of them are manned, the other half are vacant. Okay, so maybe we can start with one that isn't guarded. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Well, let's start with those that aren't guarded and then mm -hmm. move to the guarded ones if necessary. Yep. Yeah. But if the alarm is raised, all the ballista will be quickly manned. Yeah. So, okay. Okay, but sorry, one that maybe isn't meant, and then see how we go from there. Whether we can first step or not. Also, it's twilight speaking. <laughs> I've got a pretty long range, so if I'm if I can keep an eye on you guys and maybe help take out guard or so here and there. I mean, I can hit an album from five hundred feet away. So I may be able to help you guys. Just give some cover fire. Because yeah. I think yeah. Ballista have like two or three man standard crew. Yeah. So if you want to go up to one, I can take and I mean, maybe if you mess. Oh, we've got the earrings, yeah. Yeah, I got the earrings, yeah. I can. I can take out one and someone else can take out another and try to do the silent thing. What's the range of the earrings again? A mile. Oh, sweet. Sweet. You can, so you could get sniper cover from Twilight if you want. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> take a shot! We'll see. But that's also an option. I have less range, but I can try and help as well. But I'll probably have to disguise myself as a devour as well. Oh, I really wish I had suggestion. Fuck's sake. This would be a good suggestion one. Ooh, yeah. So, as this day kind of rolls down, just want to ask real quick. Is there anything people want to do uh, before a long rest? No, I'll tell my orbs about my day. Okay. <laughs> Give me a quick, what do you say? Well, we met this dragon. Auric, uh, kind of cool. Uh, gonna be taking this Nephia place. One step closer to getting the last orb. Um, I think we should be the Ballista Inquisition. Don't give a <laughs> shit about the slaves, but we have to free them. Feels bad. Um, hopefully we can. Hopefully we can uh, be successful. Give me a charisma check, please. Ooh, 21. 21. Okay. The orbs actually grow quite warm, and when you speak of the gold dragon, there's, there's, there's be some comfort in that. There's, it's a very pleasant feeling, almost like a warm bath. It's very relaxing, and the warmth kind of radiates through your hands and into your arms, and you feel it vibrating through your chest. But when you talk about the slaves and not really giving a fuck about them, the orbs grow cold as that wolf is kind of stripped away and the orb didn't seem to like the 
that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Anyone else? No. No. no? Okay. Then. So, you're getting the benefits of a long rest. Yes. Uh, yeah. If you want to prep any spells that you can, that's fine. Huh? Wait, weren't we? Uh, Greg, weren't we doing the thingy? Testing out the thingy before sleep, actually, now that I remember. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, do we want to do that now? Like, the night before? Just in case anything goes wrong, or...? Yeah, real quick, can we can we do that? Just... just sh sh I don't know, I just said you guys getting the benefits of a long rest. <laughs> uh, but my memory's a potato heps! I know, go ahead. I'm being nice. Thank you. Okay. I did, I did ask. <laughs> but yeah, go, yeah I know, it's yeah, I know you guys memories. wanted to do this, so go ahead. <laughs> so, what do okay. So you, yeah, I can, I can ask the spirits to show themselves whenever you're ready. Um, if that doesn't work, then are you able to? You, you can't speak to me when you're in the ethereal plane, can you? What's that, sorry? You can't speak to me when you're in the ethereal plane, can you? No, I can't. Hmm. There's no way to let me know if something works. Uh, no. Okay. Until I like, if I come out of theory, and I'm like, nope, okay, good night. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's once for a long rest, so. Because I have an idea. I could bring them forward and see if you can see them. And then after maybe about a minute or so, I can do one of my consulting things. I can either uh, create a clairvoyance beacon with one of them, or I can... I don't know, ask a question or something, but I think the clairvoyance beacon might work better. And then see if you spot anything that I do within that that time. Sure. I mean I can go I could be in there for eight hours, so Oh. I I'll wait around for like thirty minutes, ten hour, I don't know. However long. Yeah. Uh to do one of to do clairvoyance I need uh I think um I think that's the one that I need. One of them I need one minute, one of them I need ten minutes, I'm trying to see. Clairvoyance. Ten minutes, so yeah, I need ten minutes to do that one. So yeah, thirty minutes if you stay in there. Sure. Well, can I wait until you finish clairvoyance and I'll just poof into etherealness? If you can see my shape, I will just wave my arms intensely. Oh, okay, I can I can see that, right, Habs? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. I go into the honest and I get attacked before you get to do anything like, oh my god. <laughs> you get, you get kidnapped all over again. <laughs> the orphan and orphans find their way here. Uh, Hans? Hans? Oh. My arm's like, hello? <laughs> Eight hours later. <laughs> Guys, I think Hans is dead. <laughs> he knows too much. Uh, yeah. Okay. Should we do let's this? Yep, let's do yeah. it. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> so who's doing what first? Uh, so, I'll go, I'll go on Ethereum. Yeah. Ethereum has to just kick about. Okay. And then I will sit, uh, have, a, have a good sit down, um, you know, set up a little bit of a meditation situation going on. And um, through some meditation, I, I like, I call forth all three spirits and just tell them, hey, just trying something. Give me a whistle. Real if quick. You're calling all three spirits out. Ooh. Okay. Not done that before. Yeah. Um, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna use luck just in case I get a better roll. <laughs> like the thing okay. is just going around laughing I never never. Just back my head. Just for oh, Um <laughs> That is a nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. <sighs> okay. As you concentrate and then you feel the pull of bringing Kapow forward, then fear more and Sigurd, you are able to do so, but you do suffer one point of exhaustion. Oof. Oof. Okay. And it's. 
boxing bring all three for though your physicality is strong it wanes on you this is not a physical the source of this physical strain is not it's not actually it's not actually physical it's more spiritual and just feeling that sense of exhaustion is mentally draining but you're able to bring four four three okay kind of like trying to process the feeling that it's giving me i'm gonna try and maintain that for a second and after i guess after a moment i'm going to uh shut my eyes and begin casting clairvoyance using whichever one of them wants to and i'll just create the beacon right in front of me okay hans as you step into the fear plane mm -hmm. the material plane just becomes this patchwork of grays give me a perception check please uh that is a 16. 16 okay When you see I gesture and bring forth whatever it is she's doing, you notice in the space in front of her where I you see your free spirits mm -hmm. hands the grey you don't see anything. The only change is a slight shift in the hue of the greys as they become more Almost whiter and paler. You don't. It's just like the actual space itself just becomes a bit lighter, and you don't know if it is just how the ethereal plane is. Mm. But you notice this change in color in the in, in this these would be physical spaces. Can I uh, like uh, not shout out, but like be like hello? Hello, hello. Your voice echoes out dimly. Nothing. Can I try connect with the paler thingies with the uh, wake and mind? Wake and mind. And hello. Just a long silence. Hmm. I'll wait, like, Zaina's so waved her hand, so I'm guessing, like, it's for another 10 minutes, so I'll wait and see okay. if anything more materializes. Alright, so Aina, you're doing clear voice, yes? Yeah. Just in the space right beside you? Yeah. Okay. And then, for, for the purposes of this, I'll just use the hearing. Okay. And just after some time, I'll, you know, I'll wait it out, and then after about 10 minutes, when it drops, I'll, I'll relax and I'll let the spirits fade and okay. go. Okay. Well, both you, both you, give me perception checks now. Okay. Fourteen. Also fourteen. Hey. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> And you see one of the lighter colors of grey disappear for a second and reappear in more concentrated, condensed form. And with that, the actual color, the grey is much more whiter and brighter. I I know this note is the crack of the campfire Hagar Jenny snoring <laughs> sound of Twilight boot kicking him <laughs> That's all you hear. Okay. Can I reach out to the orb and touch it? Hand passes right through it. 
Any reaction to it or anything? No, no nothing. It does. Color does distort somewhat. Like you put your hand in like a, a pond, it like disrupts the substance and ripples out. Mm, yeah. But as soon as there is that disruption, and like a meet, like it lasts for a, sec- a couple of seconds before it like reconstitutes. Mm. Okay, well, I'm still waiting. I'm just waiting until the, like, thingy's ended. Yeah, after after it ends, um, yeah, I'll I'll relax, I'll let the spirits okay. rest, and I'll wave my arms around for Hans. Okay. Before I leave, is there, like, can I look around and see if there is anything at all in this plane? Give me another perception check. Ooh, that was an eight. Eight. Just immediately looking around. You don't see or hear anything. Though, but though, keep in mind your sense, the range of your senses here is limited. Yeah, it's, 30, yeah. it's like 30 or 60 or whatever. Yeah. So but then, yeah, I'll. Around uh... you, you know, the, the only thing of notice would be like these slight shifts in the, the grey colours. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll make sure I'm not standing within another grey colour. Um, and then... <laughs> uh, you try? Uh, I want to make sure that I'm not in the same space as someone else, and then uh, and then I'll drop Etherealness. Okay, well, let me just get rid of these notes then. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> the dematerialise out of the ethereal plane back into the material plane. Yeah, yeah I didn't... I saw... Like, I think I saw the spirits, like, but it wasn't, it was as if they were on a different plane than the ethereal plane. They weren't okay. there with me, if that makes sense. Yeah. But it was like, it was worth a try. Yeah. Uh, that was, yeah, next time I might just bring out one of them. It was a little, uh, a little tiring to bring out all three. I should have paced myself a bit more. Yeah, well, get some sleep. Big day ahead. Yeah, you too. Well, you don't sleep. Fuck. Nah, I'm gonna tell my orbs about my day. <laughs> <laughs> Dear diary. <laughs> oh, and I will, I will, you know, I'll do my thing where I find like a shady spot and go invisible once I've done mm-hmm. talking about my orbs, my orbies. Copy that. <laughs> Alright, so. Yo, game benefits. A long rest. Phew. Yep. Brief breakfast. Second breakfast? Eleven tea. <laughs> <laughs> Afternoon tea. Dinner, lunch and supper. <laughs> and then, um yeah. Fig's thingy is woe for the day. Cool. What about you guys tidy up your camp? On. I cast the divine intervention. I okay. the so what? So before you roll, just just yeah. for the sake of everyone, what are you trying to do? I want the dragons or the beast of dragon to follow once he engages it. I understood none of that. <laughs> <laughs> the Forty-two! Is God fucking damn it! Okay. <laughs> what was it? Forty-two. So, you guys set off with the sun newly set in the sky. You just travel across this last little bag through the mountains before crashing over the second last one. You see a settlement in the not too far distance. I'd like all of you to give me a perception check, please. Wait, we got the disguise and all that, sorry, for Vi and I know, yeah? We'll get to that. Okay. I forgot about dice. What's that dice? Can I guide myself? Sure. Where are you? I'm so sorry. 
Get out, sleep. Get out, sleep. Deny. 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 Perception checks. Fifteen. Fifteen, okay. Yeah. Oh. Do you count? Fifteen. Fifteen, okay. Hands. Uh, seventeen. Okay. Five. Nineteen. Okay. Oof. Very good. Okay. 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 Oh. All right. So, all right, real quick. Um, so we're disguising. So. Are you guys disguising self yet, or...? Um, yeah, okay. when... Well, wait, how far away are we from the settlement? The settlement, no more than a mile. That in... The time so, means... Get, so, time to get down there, about 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, so then, yes. Okay. Well, first I'll have... We'll have five disguise, yeah. and then, like, okay. the disguise... Okay, so, my soul you went disguise by... in As what? Isn't he a drow captain? Yeah, we have a draw captain uniform. Yeah, because he, cause he's the only one that can speak and uh, they're common. Okay. And then I can cast tongue on... Hmm... That's one hour, I think? Yeah, I can cast it on someone else too. So... You can cast on two people? Yeah. Like you've cast it or just No, I just what? cast it multiple times. Oh true, yeah, because it's not concentration. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I can cast multiple yeah. spells. So mm, I can cast it on Do you want it, Hans? Tongues. Yeah. Yeah, it could be handy, and then I can just awaken my invite if uh, I like, I like, because I can't reply, but I can understand it, so I'll be like, yeah. So maybe I'll cast it on. Should I cast it on both of us, or like, I'll start with you only, and then if we start getting separated for the when we start getting the mm -hmm. the things out, then maybe I cast it on myself as well. So. Sure. Okay. All right. So. So, you're gonna cast tongues on hands? Yeah, that's the last thing as well. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so, disguise is on, so, Bai is as a drug captain, and what Aina? Aina is also a soldier? Sure. Generic drow soldier, or? Generic drow soldier. Okay, so... I've been... Generic drow soldier female. <laughs> soldier too. <laughs> Twyla's got... Proficiency with a disguise kit. Good for her. So I wouldn't use the whole for that. What? Oh. For can I guide my. Well, Twyla? Yeah, you can guide Twyla. 17 plus 2, 19. Plus tw 12. I don't know, you did the math. 19, 31. 31. Good 31. for her. Okay. So, Twyla works her magic using the disguise kit, and it's a little tight fitting, I know, the mm -hmm. draw uniform, but kind of just hunched over, bendy knee slightly, get down to about draw level height. Yeah, pretty convincing draw soldier, provided you keep a helmet on. <laughs> she has kind of given like a little bit of like, um, kind of like purple grey uh, foundation to your skin it just like through the parts that might peek up past the helmet but mm -hmm. keep the helmet on you look like a pretty good drow soldier yay All right. and Hans you gonna disguise yourself yeah as I'll just be like um, I don't know like what a drow engineer maybe what it looks like I don't know, like... Give me, uh, okay, give me a spell casting check for what you imagine a draw engineer to be, like... Well, I don't know, just like a standard, like... Yeah, 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 yeah no, let's have some fun with this. <laughs> God, I'm scared. Uh, it's not very good. That's a 12. 12, okay. First draw you... First draw you... Any of you have ever seen with uh, mechanics uh, overalls, but <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like leather press overall, so it fits in with it. And yeah, you, 
it looks like a tinker it looks like someone who would knows way around like mechanics gear work and construct so yeah they'll be great there's a little bit like a grease on the drow skin. He, he, look, he, look, he, looks like a, he looks like a garage mechanic, essentially. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> nice. I'll just spit on the ground. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got some uh, ballistics to it. Uh, ballistics. Oh, <laughs> some I, ballistics. Oh, I mean, I checked out your cam shaft. It's completely, it's completely, it's completely rusted. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Try it on the tires, but I just call them Jesse. Nah, I mean, going to be getting yeah. replaced. <laughs> See, I know these ballistas aren't moving, but those wheels are uh, are are are, con are contractually required to be on there just in case the dragon comes from no, that I, away. Yeah, that, that's an MOT failure. <laughs> <laughs> Writes down my notes. Yes, I die. Scanning self. Another genetic. Draft soldier, oh, kind of like we did one with the Grand Inquisitors or the captain in the middle and yeah. like standing. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're Draft soldier too? Yeah. Okay. For the credits, okay. So, Fake disguises, uses her disguise self to morph into Draft similar to Char Perez. However, Twilight does a similar thing to you, Aina, kind of shrug, like. Shroud over his armor and his form with uh, the uniforms and drow cloaks that you guys have. The dragon kind of looks at all of you. Mm. Not our usual drow troop, but I think it might be enough to fool the gods. What are we missing? He uses his hand and kind of jacks his hand or to kind of crouch down a little bit as he's a little bit tall to be a drow soldier, but crouching down hunched over, yeah, he could pass away kind of similar to Aina, but hmm. I think this will do. Cool. Shall we? Sure. Dragon, put your suit up. So. Are you guys wanting to walk in normally, sneak in, or...? Because mm. sneaking in just means like you can go in without taking too much attention rather than just, you know, pink pants for tiptoes crawling. Yeah, I think yeah. that. Uh. Yeah, so before we get there, I cast Pants and Hands. Because mm -hmm. the invite will have to do the peeking and stuff. Yes. And I'll cast Pass the other as well. Okay, I'll keep... Tongues allows you to understand, not speak the language. No, Heps, if I can understand the language in tongues, yes. would this assist in my learning of the language? No. Fuck. Connect a Brit. We have to, yeah, I'll just be saying that. Immigrant in culture, that's all you can <laughs> If I hear them say connected route, I'll turn I'll turn to Vance like, wait, that's not what you told me about. <laughs> <laughs> you told me it's yes, yeah, not fuck hello. <laughs> Learning all the drow swear words <laughs> in the comments. Below. So um Okay, so tongues on that. And casting tongues on hands with Kaza. Is that it? Nothing else? Yeah. Yep. Open pass the other trace. Do you want cast part? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So with that, so uh, Hagar, Twine, and Fig will kind of be just on the cusp of that as they're going to go, they're going first with the dragon. Cool. So everyone, give me a stealth check, please. Plus ten. Plus ten. I'm scared. Um, Ina gets right advantage. Oh fuck! Fuck. One day. Because that's. One day I'll get Mithril and you won't have to give me keep giving no, me advantage. No, one day I'll forget, so please remind me that you need advantage. Oh, okay. Okay, stop um, checks. Big I, I don't know! Like, don't ask me first! I don't count! <laughs> okay. I know. Is this, is this with uh, Pass yeah, Without yes. Trace, yeah? Yes. Yeah. 17. Okay. I'm glad. But... <laughs> you, you ready now? No. Oof. I'm um, glad as well. 16. 16. Okay. <laughs> Bye. This is with Pass Vertrix, yeah? Correct. 
Twenty-five. Twenty-eight. Thank fuck. Okay. Thank fuck. So, as you guys approach Nafia, having come down the slopes and are making way on the level ground, the settlement around here, the ground around here is very dark brown and kind of ashy grey. However, it also contrasts heavily against the greens of nature within the settlement. As here, space across the land, there's like a loose perimeter of a worn wall. The wall is part ruined and part repair job, like the dragon said, like creating this very loose barrier containing the settlement. But, and, however, there's the heavy contrast of the constructed guard posts and towers that do seem to be proper solid and offer better perimeter defense than the walls. But peering in through the over the walls and past the gate, as you begin to pass through and enter into the settlement, you see a sea of farmsteads, green fields, furrows and hedges, a natural natural canvas blooming and beautiful. And upon this sea of green are islands of buildings clustered together. The basis of most of these buildings are just skeletal ruins repaired and improved upon by the Dominion with elements of wood and rubble and rock. And as you approach and enter in, there is a lot of this stuff that you can just taking in as a general look around. Cash that or some placed upon built a guard you see one in the distance placed upon the guard posts another one pretty close post within a, a field clearing another fixed on top of a tower or a platform as well as on the walls that you're passing pa- moving past and by mm-hmm. as you enter through this western gate you see Quite a few already within like your vision. Yeah, there's a there's a decent amount of them kind of situated along the western side. As Twyla, Hagon, Fig, kind of naughty you, they begin pulling away and making their way deeper into Nafia, moving towards the other side, leaving just the four of you. What would you guys like to do? Would like to look for the an unmanned one, I guess. That one where there's mm-hmm. no one around it. Okay. There is an unmanned one. Uh, just not not too far not too far off to uh, the uh, your left as there is a main kind of dirt road that kind of goes down and around past the building. You can make your way towards it. Mm-hmm. As you make your way around, you see Set about the fields are slaves, kind of harvesting crops, digging holes for plants, just tending this vast, crazy farm. As this soil might be part of magical, because man, there is the the nature and crop here is abundant. Like you assume every kind of plants, bush tree, produces some sort of fruit or vegetable, can be used in something because it's almost tropical in here with the amount of humidity and the air that's coming off the plants. This is, it's like an urban, like a, literally like an urban jungle almost. Um, when we were in Prodia, the slaves were like tied to one another, they were very securely watched is it the same here or so, because it's a vaster so thing is on it? the wall so you're seeing like on the walls there are drow spots these spots are a couple of drow sharpshooters mm-hmm. there is um like drow soldiers kind of going around you pass by a couple of drow soldiers at the, at the gate there is a few like watching over groups of slaves you do see one coming down like a perpendicular road that could be the right. main road here uh one on top of the back of a giant wizard 
Okay. Just as a kind of cavalry patrol. Okay. But if we were to like move through the like the fields and stuff, there w- there aren't like right at, at their back. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, not right at the back. Okay. No. Okay. Mm. I think, do you want to move through the fields or do you want to go down the road and turn around to the this close to the step? Let's go around the roads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Kind of weird if we just stomped on the crops to get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, make way round to this ballista. <clears throat> uh, as you make your way towards it, I know this ballista is very different <laughs> to the one uh, you guys had in the Winterlands. It is normal construction of the standard wooden frame. Mm-hmm. Metal brackets and bolts. However, there's more heavier portions of metal as this looks like this looks much nastier, much more carefully constructed than just a standard ballista. Okay. And as you all approach the this first one, disguised as you are, you guys get up to this first one without any issue. Cool. I would like to get up close and personal with this ballista and have a good hard look. Okay. Can I, as Hans is inspecting the uh, ballista, I'm just going to casually just put my hand on his shoulder and uh, give him a, a guidance. Uh, and can I assist him with the inspection? Okay, so as the ballista inspection team gathers around their first ballista, give me the investigation <laughs> check, please. With guidance, yeah? This with one. guidance and advantage. Okay, not terrible. Uh, that is a uh, 23. No, that's not terrible at all. So, investigation, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 23. All right. Pog. Hyper. Oh. These ballista hands are kind of are pretty fitting, they're pretty solid. Um, the actual slider and receiver for the actual ballista bolt appears to be really solid. And you can tell it's been constructed like that because the drawstring is at a higher tension. So, because, and so with like this reinforced um, receiver and to work with its drawstring, whatever projectile it's propelling is going to hit a lot harder, mm. and the actual velocity it's going to leave it is going to be at a higher velocity, so therefore it's going to have a better range. Yeah. Um, but also, it's not been compromised, but the actual reload, the reload as well, has not been compromised by the heavier, the tension of this, of, sorry, the increased tension of the drawstring. As there does appear to be a system of gears that actually aid in like a quicker reloading of the ballista to kind of compensate for the heavier draw weight. And with a twenty-three, mm-hmm. just it, so looking, it, so looking over this will be two or three minutes or so as you kind of yep. nodding out of this piece of technology essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet! All that had screening. <laughs> um, so. Do you think you do notice, Hans? The pulley, the, the actual pulley wheels on the drawstrings, they are, there's nothing really special about them. They probably could be stiffened or immobilized to, like, complete, uh, to uh, immobilize the drawstring being pulled, so therefore it can't be fired. The gear crank system is quite intricate. But it can also be jammed or cracked, so it can be reloaded. The drawstring itself, though it is thick, it probably could be weakened or severed, so if it can't be fired again. And the actual base, the rotation and angling mechanism, can be jammed and cracked, so it can't be properly aimed or maneuvered. Mm. So you were pretty high to get all that. Yeah. Um... What would be the least obvious, like, 
fault to put into the uh, to put into the ballista. Like, if someone were to like quickly like go to it and want to go fire it, what would be like the least likely thing that they would check? Maybe the gears, I guess. Gears or the pulley for the drawstring. I like I like the idea of the pulleys on the drawstring because that means it just can't be mm-hmm. fired, like in the first place. So. How would I go about sabotaging that? Could we stiffened or mo- immobilized? Would I need to like cut it with like a dagger or? Cut it with a dagger or like, yeah, like fine, like, um, I say, hmm, huh. I want to say it's you know what I want to say it's up to you. It's your choice, buddy. How would you like to do this? Okay, I'm gonna. Just, you describe how you would like to deal with the kind of it up. and okay. I'll say what you need to roll or do. Okay, so I will... I'll, 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 as if I'm like under the hood of a... Uh, under like the bottom of a car or something like that, I'll, I'll reach my hand out as like an, an awakened mind vibes like... or like Leah Cad or whoever's closest. Dagger! <laughs> <laughs> Dagger. <laughs> no, no, the flathead! <laughs> JK, I've got one myself and I pull it out myself and then I start cutting <laughs> cutting the, uh, the, 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 the drawstring. Are, so are you actually cutting the drawstring? Or... Well, yeah, like that's, I think that's like, the, I mean, to mobilize it. Because I would say, that... depend, depending on where you cut the drawstring, that would be quite quite obvious, obvious. that it's been sabotaged. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh but... really? Mm-hmm. But I'll say, I'll be but nice. I'll, 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 I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be nice. So, if you want to, since you were kind of interested about put the actual pulley system, to mobilize that, you could either kind of pack mud, mud or dust into it, so that it doesn't actually rotate. Yeah. Or you could like take a piece of wood or like a, a spare dagger, jam it in, snap it off, so that it's jammed. Or you could try to unscrew the thing so that so that when it does try to draw, so when 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 it does actually try to draw, the pulley system actually falls out, so then it fails to fire. That but so oh, that that, that, that would be so that would yeah, like be noticed screw. when it's fired. That's so. good. I like I like the unscrew. I'm, 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 I'm but then also I'm, the I'm mud you dirt. Those you rolled yeah, thanks. Actually. So I feel like the mud dirt one could be annoying to. Um, to fix, but like the and unscrew one. How, how, like, if I unscrewed it and it came apart, would I know, like, you can, I think you'd be, depending on how well you roll, you could unscrew in such a way that it wouldn't be noticed until it was fired. Yeah, but, and then also, um, or would I know, like, how long it would take to put it back up? Like, if I unscrewed it, would it be as easy as just screwing it back in, or would it just take um, the whole mechanism I mean, out? You could, like, there's, there's a pulley on each side of the thing, so you could do both pulleys, so. Yeah, I think I did both pulleys. Um, Can we keep this the mechanism that keep it together? You can take the screws away, yeah. Actually. Yeah, so that they can screw them back in. Yeah. Oh yes, let's oh. steal all the screws. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're stealing screws. Put it in screws. my bag of holding. <laughs> just about, just about getting back right. to keep on keeping. So what have you guys been doing? Just tips out a bucket of screws. <laughs> this episode is called Sweet. Screwing Nephia. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. I was gonna say we've been screwing around. <laughs> um, right, we'll take we'll take the screws out. Okay, so yeah, put the screws in my bag. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. So this will be a sleight of hand check. Who have like you don't have to do your hands. Someone else can do it. But I would say since you've been the one kind of expecting this hands, I'll give you advantage. Sleight of hand. Oh no, no, I'll do sleight of hand. I'm proficient. We're good. Oh, damn, hey. nice. I am, yeah. So I get advantage on this. And guidance Cor- is still on, yeah? Correct. Uh, gu- guidance is until you use the or. Oh, guys need to be recasted. Oh. Uh, I guide myself then. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, that is a. 26? 26? Okay. Oh, nice. So. What's interesting as well, so pulley systems actually have, that natural pulley wheels have brackets on them, so like when you take the screws out, they like you expect the actual wheel to kind of fall out as well, but because there's brackets underneath them, it's actually holding the, the wheels in place. So they do come down a little bit, 
but it actually keeps the tautness of the drawstring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you take out both screws' hands, do you pocket them? Ah, uh, yeah. Right, you make a necklace out of these. You pocket yeah. your first two screws, mm -hmm. and you just gently pull back the drawstring, and there is, and the, you do hear a little as. It wobbles uh, all yeah, of that. It has a bit of wobble to it. It's not going to successfully pull back and be re and be set in the receiver. <clears throat> I I come back up and I take an invisible notebook and be like, "Yep, yeah, next <laughs> next uh, <laughs> one down." <laughs> so, okay, everything looks up to standard here. Yeah. All right, so, oh, uh, actually, wait, wait, can I can I put an unofficial document on it? <laughs> Just like. <laughs> Inspected, in, inspected. Oh, like the little pass, like next inspection yeah. due. Last inspected, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> you have a last inspected tag on it. It was just like you're literally, it's... Doing, you're literally doing a path test. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah last inspected, like took uh, next expect inspection due. <laughs> Are you wanted to do that? Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Why, would you, why would you leave a trace, I, man? <laughs> what, what do you mean? What kind of trace? Like, they're not going to know it's my handwriting or anything like that. Well, I'm just going to put it in. Why would you spend time? Oh, yeah, what, actually, actually, what, yeah. what language are you writing in? Oh, that's a good point. Wait, can I write in tongues? <laughs> Plus, if they figure out... <laughs> this could be a far off one, but if they figure out that the one, this one with the tag, as it, and they go to fire it, it doesn't work, they might not fire the ones that have tags on them. I mean... It'd also be kind of funny, right? Yeah, but let's. We, we'll... Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, fine. Well, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, it's just a flavor thing, guys. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> you, know you, you know what? Just because it, you know it, it's a little thing, I'll, I'll put a little. I'll press the digitate a little tag onto it. It disappears after an hour. Wait, are you telling me, Hips, that these ballistas are not don't have tags on them, telling us when they were last inspected? That's a health and safety they hazard. That is. Hands. They don't have those. They don't have. Yeah. To, oh, to that is shocking. Down the drain, mate. That. Oh my god, they've let themselves go. Fucking hell. Nephia is. Uh, oof, okay. okay. They, they're going to get. They're going to get audited to hell. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's going to be a fight. That's going to be a quality fight. Yeah, sure. that is. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that's going to be a finding. Yeah. This is why I hate engineers. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> There's three things we look for in the Drow Army, and that's safety, safety, safety. <laughs> and there's none of that here. None of that. You don't know the Dominion Army. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Kill the Queen in the name of Osha. The first, so keep that with. So. <laughs> so you guys, it's okay. You guys have suddenly sabotaged your first ballista. Congratulations. Great. Thank you. The first Benny. The Kazo. It was enough I, 20. Yeah, so total 25. Yeah. Perfect. You do actually notice one, not the first one you saw on the giant lizard, but a second one that was kind of looking over the slaves in the field. Kind of, it's kind of doing the thing where they're, they're kind of leaning forwards, trying to see what you guys are doing with the ballista. Like, they're about 50 feet away. Alright. And you see the eyes go over to Vi and... There's a moment where, like, it saw, like, a hand cast guidance on himself. It, it was like, the, it, there's a little bit of kind of. Confusion? Confusion there. Alright. As, and as you guys begin moving away, the kind of. Then the giant is. Begins kind of following along. Not wrong. Just, just a little bit suspicious. Okay. Um. Where, where, where is the next unmanned ballista? The next command ballista is actually on the wall. Fuck. Up the wall. There's another one on the ground, like across way, but that is manned. I mean, we could just inspect it, kind of thing. Could just do it again. It's like... the only one he knows that. Yeah, even, like, I'm just this thinking. So just suspicious. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So far. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. All right. So there is the guy that's following us because they saw you cast guidance on yourself. Um. So we can either try and lose, make him lose track of us. 
bug going around in the fields. Or maybe we can try and... No, no, I'm not gonna suggest it because I, I don't know, I don't like it, so... Cap's finally getting revenge for us abusing guidance. <laughs> yeah. so we're, 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 we're being followed. Not ideal. Nope. But, I mean, we'll just... I, I, we could keep doing it. Just want, we just want Cap, Cap's guidance again. I mean, it's... Dude, I'm wrong. Bend just... over. Wait, the Lucard is just telling us that we're being followed, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, can we take uh, them? Wait, how many is there? Is it just one. the one? One on top of a giant lizard. Ooh. We can take them around a the corner, perhaps. Maybe we can just like let them desist, or make them. F oh, we can make them buy his dress as a draw captain. Yeah. yeah. True, actually. Yeah. But hey, you. Uh, thanks. Uh, we, we were looking for you. Um, I think we. Uh, we. Uh, I don't know, actually, I can't even think. We uh, could maybe let it, its corpus to the next unmanned ballista. And then get true. rid of it. When we're there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, yeah, you could tell us. You could tell them and be like, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're making sure all the ballistas are in working order. We hear there's... Uh, Possibly some movement from the uh, mountains, and want to make sure we're ready for any potential engagement. Well, you want to mm. do that? Just talk about it. No, I'm awake. No, I'm, I'm no, using no. this. I'm if saying this do, to if my. If we do that, though, we risk that they start the city gets into alert, and then all the ballista get manned. Oh, uh, maybe yeah. So. I don't know. We can try and make it lose, lose track of us. How do we do that? Well, they're just following us for now, right? They're not like. Yeah, they. Just, uh, it's now it's following us. Next is alerting people. Or something yeah. weird well, that well, okay. Happen. Well, what Once. we can do is then uh, lure it around the corner to like a quieter little <sighs> bit and just smack them in. Is the is the lizard demonic? No, it's a giant no, lizard. No, it's a lizard. It's a giant lizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're fucking dry. Like, they have demons all over the fucking place. There's a lot of True. lizards and worms. I mean, normally oh, I'd be I... okay with taking out a thingy, but. And no offense to you guys, but I feel like our heavy hitters are in the other group. <laughs> yeah. Hey! True. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. That's why I said no offense. I mean, Toilet can- You've seen what Toilet can do with a bow? She literally just make a fool disappear. <laughs> oh wait, we can ask her if she can take the Gaia once he gets close to her. <laughs> oh yeah, she's- she, she's sniper support. <laughs> take the shot, Toilet. Take the shot. Uh, mm, mm, yeah. What kind of lizard is it? Giant. Giant. <laughs> oh my That's god. <laughs> Could you imagine if it was a gecko and we were just afraid of a fucking gecko? <laughs> Geckos wait, are adorable. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Okay, so. St stuff that gets polymorphed loses its points once they get a certain amount of things. A certain amount of... Uh, it reverse by one, he loses a certain amount of hit points, right. right? What if... We... Let this guy follow us and take him around like, like a corner or something, as you said. Mm -hmm. Polymorph the lizard and put it in the bag of holding so it suffocates and dies. And even if it <laughs> reforms back, it's just gonna be a lizard dead. Right? Can we stop a. If it, refor if it reverses, it's gonna yeah. explode the bag of holding? No. It'll be fine. It would be fine. Yeah. Okay, so we get okay. rid of the lizard altogether. And then we. Okay. And on the same time, we start getting rid of the guy. And also, I will say as well, the guy is just a standard drought soldier. He's not in the. He's. He's not he's, a fancy he, person. Yeah, he's not an elite warrior, so you know, like a decent hit will, a decent hit might one shot him. <gasps> oh, or, yep, or, I. or I will reiterate, Vi is a trial captain. Yeah, yeah I can just tell him to move along. Maybe that's the best. Kind of, kind of just be like, fight. what are you looking? Oh, we are looking at. Think... We got business. True. Mind your can own. Can we help? Yeah, just take our help. Yeah. That's okay, yeah. Let's send him into the next unmanned one and then if as he comes closer then we can send by to it. 
Yeah. I kind of want to nip it in the bud, just like. Yeah, I know, because then you also got my go crazy when the guy comes closer, so. Let, no let's walk up to the next ballista. Okay. So. So, yeah. Let's just do that first. Okay. The next ballista is on the walls. It's unmanned. Cool. Do you not see the closest one was manned? Are we going to the closest one or the next unmanned? Unmanned? Oh. Unmanned. Okay, okay. Okay. So, you do actually. So, you move around and actually have to go up towards the walls, which actually. Which does involve you kind of getting slightly close to the. Uh, to the soldier that is a little bit suspicious. And uh, you make your way does... up into the walls. Sorry. Yeah? Oh, sorry. Uh. Would we pass any manned ballista on the way to the unmanned one? No. No, cool. Okay, that's fine. As you make your way up into the walls, you see, as you guys as you guys go up into the walls, you see kind of a group of slaves kind of walking near the surf step to the wall, kind of, they were kind of very gently talking, and as you approach, they just hush up. I'll, I'll spit the ground next to them. Like, I'm not going to shout shout, but like just kind of like... Almost like talking down to them. Just just be like, back to work in Undercommon. <sighs> Starts harvesting a bit more fever slave. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's a guy there that's following us. I'm going to speak to the slaves. He's not, he's not following directly by you. He's like... He, the visit is walking slowly. He's just kind of keeping you guys... In his All right, okay, okay, okay. How far is this from the ballista? From the visit? No, from us. Oh, from us. So you're on the walls now. So fifty feet in the enclosing. Okay, and the slaves are how far? Oh, the slaves all around. Oh, okay, um, okay, okay. Like so the wall is about 15, 20 feet at its highest, and so there's like slaves kind of like down on the inside walking all around. Okay. So, yeah, the slaves all all around. Okay. Okay. And you go up to. So you go up to this other blister. Alright, Hans, give me an investigation check with advantage. I will cast this time, I guess, guidance. Just before Hans kind of bends down to the little blister, I'm gonna turn around and clock the guy who's following us. Okay. Um. So. He's not taking the giant that is on the wall, so that would be pretty cute. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just like there. sideways up the wall. Like yeah, a pretty much. Yeah, they can't. They can't do that. <laughs> um, but the steps you went up, he's kind of just parked by those steps, just kind of squinting at you guys from a distance. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be like, soldier. This isn't your post. What are you doing? So it's quite distance. He's about, okay. he's about 60 feet away from you if you if you call him okay. out like this. In that case, I'll point to him and then do like, do you know the finger? Like the come over here finger? Like the you're in trouble kind of finger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just you. Come here. <laughs> Originally I thought it was a fin finger wag, but then I was like, oh, okay, I know what you mean. As, <laughs> as you do the point and come hither, he does actually motion the giant lizard to climb up on the walls and... Slowly, and it kind of licks his eye clean as the soldier dismounts and approaches you. Captain! I do not believe this is your post. What are you doing up here? I am just curious as to what is occurring. I'll, I'll peek back out from the uh, ballista and just shake my head and then just... I'd be like, oh, no, this uh, this doesn't look very good, and then go back under. <laughs> well, I'll look back. I'll talk to the soldier. Actually, I know I'll look towards hands, and I'll just say, continue, and then I'll go back to the soldier and be like, we've had a word that Silver Draconis are close by, and that they have some forces that might assist them for an aerial attack. So. We have been warned, and to double check that all our ballista are working, should an attack happen. I was not, of, I was not informed of this. Give me a deception check, Barry. Deception? Yes. 
Okay. Okay, 12. Plus. <laughs> Can I give you my inspiration? No. Actually, I still have inspiration from last time. You still got inspiration, right? Wait, did you have inspiration? Yeah, he had inspiration. Yeah. Because you gave me inspiration for the when Auric was asking us what we, what were our like motivations and stuff like that. Did I? I don't... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Did you give everyone? Or... I remember I gave it to Vi for sure. Oh, I think it's because of no. Wait, I'm remembering. Did you do something? I feel like you did something that was smart, and you got inspiration for it. Did you get inspiration for the greater invisibility? That's yes. Oh, could oh yeah, that's that's it. It. yes, yes. Okay. Hey, brain came through. D six, yes. <laughs> Eighteen. Hey! From a 12 to an 18, that... I got a 6, baby! <laughs> that changes... Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Is it a D6 or is it advantage on the roll? No, D6. 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 All right, okay, okay. 18. Cool. That changes the... That changes things a bit, quite a bit. You are, like, you rolled a 2! Oh no, my deceptions are plus 5. Oh, is it only plus 5? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm not proficient in lying. Yikes. I'm only persuading but people. He's the one who's talking. Exactly. As the Go figure. Speak. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm a persuader, not a dissuader. <laughs> Vi wasn't our number one choice, nor number two or number three, but he'll do it. <laughs> okay. 18, right? the, the drow. I had no idea, Captain. Apologies. You're doing your diligence, so you're an asset to the Cassel Dominion. Should but I... I'm personally overseeing this. Shall I adopt the men? We'll do it. Not right now. Not while preparations are being made. I don't want the efficiency of our slaves and all, all the other... Uh, everything else we're doing to come to a halt. These are precautions. Nothing more. Understood. May I assist you in any way, Captain? Move some of the slaves to the west sides of the walls. <laughs> okay, that, that's, the, that's the general direction that they might be coming from. Get them to start fortifying it. <laughs> you wish to get the slaves to fortify the western wall? I've heard dangerous tales. Of this silver draconis. Some say that their firepower is that of a small army. Not willing to take my chances. Give me no deception check. Bollocks! <laughs> <laughs> Please roll uh, better. Mm. Uh, mm. Okay. Wait, hold on, wait, okay. wait, 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 Please shut my poor mouth. <laughs> shut your poor mouth, Matthew. I want to roll to see if the soldiers heard of you guys. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wait, wow. <laughs> that, that'll bring us back down to earth. Who? <laughs> <laughs> if, if he's heard of you, it would have possibly been a persuasion check rather than a deception check. And the right. verdict is? Oh. He's sticking with deception. Fuck. Fucking wow. hell. Wow. Well, okay, this right. We gotta kill more trail guys. <laughs> Wait, you haven't heard of us? <laughs> Wait, shit, attack. <laughs> we are the Gothic Sons. How dare you? What's the deception? <clears throat> that's a 25. Oh, oh that's a nat 20. Let's fucking go. <clears throat> <laughs> Understood. I will begin right away. As he kind of jogs back, mounts up, and the wizard, instead of going downstairs, the wizard scales the vertical wall down and begins going through the fields. I would Unscrew it? Get up to buy. Maybe tell it to keep it quiet for good measure. 
No? Uh, Doesn't matter. Just forget. 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 Okay, right. The soldier right It's fine. It's gone. It's gone. Alright. So, Hans. Uh, oh, I got uh, um, uh, 18 plus 6, 24. 24. For okay. the investigation. Okay. Um, yeah. This ballista, it's not uniformly designed as the, sec as the first one. It is it's slightly different. The mm -hmm. police in this one seem to be actually seem to be made of a much more like firmer metal than the mm -hmm. first one. Like this one actually appears to be like actually like refined steel rather than just raw iron. Mm -hmm. So um There's still screws in there. There's still there's still screws in there, yes. Yeah, I will get my Phillips head dagger out okay. and I will slowly <laughs> un <laughs> okay. slowly unscrew. Okay. Give me a so give me a slight hand check again, please. Oh my god, am I have to do this for every single one? Ooh, that's not that great. That's a fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. These aren't screws. These oh. are bolts. Oh. Because of the steel. Because of, of the, these pulley wheels are now actually steel. Instead, you think oh, stand screws won't be able to actually kind of keep the weight of them anchored to the wooden, uh, the wooden uh, mm. frame. So they've had to actually bolt it in place. Okay. Is there any like uh, mud or dirt up here? Um, not on the walls, no. But is there, there any is wood? the gear system as well. Is there any wood at all, no? No on the walls, no. So the gear system, t the gear crank system is intricate. Be jammed or cracked, so it can't be re reloaded, but it is loaded once. Yeah. So you can, you can well, get I mean, one shot. Up. These ballistas are not currently loaded. Oh right, so okay, when... okay. I thought they'd be like ready to go kind of thing. Uh, okay, in that case, let's try and crack the gears. Okay, give me uh, your choice. Slight a hand or strength check. I'm going to have a slight a hand. <laughs> Plus five, the negative one. Hmm. That is a 21. 21, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hand, you just take the dagger and just give a little two fingered. And as you pull the weight, there is a perfect hairline crack running through two of the gears. Mm -hmm. like, Jobs are good on. And because, of how, because of how close it is to the wall, the shade of the wall is actually kind of masking the crack a little bit. So, yeah. Good job. Cool. Well, two down. Nice. Okay. So. So, as you guys make your way over to the next ballista, I assume, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. you make your way off the walls and into the server proper, we'll pick up from this after lunch, as there's going to be some stuff uh, you may possibly encounter as well. No, can't believe I'm actually getting... ballista, only ballistas, and then we leave. Okay. No encounter. I can't believe I'm actually getting, like, some benefit out of having been proficient in sleight of hand. I think that's, like, this is the first time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so far, so good, and we'll... We'll keep this train rolling. But train to get rolling. Oh, no. Two down. <laughs>
sorry guys. So, you have taken out two ballistas so far. You've successfully dissuaded the guard that was suspicious of you. Uh, as you continue moving on, you guys want to move to the next ballista? Do you want to or what? So, I would like Matthew. Can mm -hmm. you please roll a D10? A D10? Correct. Okay. My Eldrick Quay Quay. <laughs> Uh, seven. Seven. Fuck. Okay. It's the one after six, Hebs. Yeah. But not, 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 not before, not before, 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 before eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he's rolling for. How'd you take two points of psychic damage? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna... Wait. I'm just a nasty splinter. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys going to continue on with the ballista? Mm -hmm. I think that's the plan, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that I want to re up on the stealth check, please. Pass without a trace would still be up. Cool. Uh, advantage. Mm -hmm. Advantage would be faster than I can never, I can never make it like up no. until you used or when. I think, uh, no, I think blasting lasts an hour. Does it? Yeah. Blast. <laughs> well, then you get advantage anyway. Who can I mean, you advantage? can just have it perma up on whoever, right? It's not like a. Well, she needs uh, to re up it to every hour. Oh well, yeah. So do I get it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so Pass that trace on or off? Yeah. Pass that trace is still up here. Okay. So I know. 18. 18. Hands. 21. 21. Okay. Bye. Bye. 31. Say oh. 31. Okay. What's your stuff? Plus five. Plus five. Plus one from this one. Yeah, because you're professional stuff, yeah. I am. Cool. Okay then. So, the next closest blister is manned. Do you just want to keep going for the unmanned ones? Yeah. Hmm? Unmanned, right? Um, if we're putting the guise of like checking every ballista to make sure it works, might as well. Do it at the manned ones, so that... Yeah, but the guy doesn't know, and he's been sent away. <laughs> so... Uh, Fair. As you guys have come off the walls now, on all kind of main road, you are seeing, like, a few slaves being directed over to this western wall. Yeah, so, okay, let's go with the manned ones, just to keep it... past the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you're going towards the manned one. Sure. Okay, okay. there's no manned one on the ground. He... Here, like they are, like the slaves kind of working the uh, bushes cool. and shrubbery around. There's two drow kind of stationed beside it. One of them is an elite warrior. Oh, fuck. You, you see from a distance before you approach it. Okay. Wanted. And uh, any other unmanned bodies? Yeah, if you want to keep, uh, keep on moving towards them, they'll be a bit further down, though. Sure. Okay. So. You guys begin moving further down to the next, the next unmanned ballista. You see, kind of in amongst the kind of closest nest of buildings. You see, you hear some rockets as you kept walking down the road. You see what appears to be a orc individual chained to a post like facing the post their back exposed as a drow is just in the process of whipping them very casually not being too focused or too rash with it, but kind of taking the time drawing drawing out as you hear the crack of the whip 
there's a wind of pain, you see blood running down the back of this orc. And what you also notice as well, a couple of crossbow bolts have also been shot into the back Jesus. of this orc as well, as there does appear to be like another two Dominion soldiers, like very casually in their demeanor, like loading crossbow bolts and taking shots at this would be stationary target. Are there anyone around? Like, is there any other apart from those three? So there are those three. There are those three drow. Um, give me a perception yep. check, actually. Yeah, ten. Ten. Okay. You do I see hands. We can actually on like a close rooftop. There does actually appear to be drow looking down. As well as that, the actual framework of another ballista actually on that rooftop. Hmm. I kind of want to help this orc. You do actually see it is a female orc. And though she is wintering in pain, she's holding her composure well. That and her back is just kind of covered in scars. Old. The new ones from the whips and the crossbow bolts. What's it strange as well? Only about three bolts have actually punctured the skin. A couple you actually watch one being fired, hits her spinal hits her spinal column and actually becomes hits at a strange angle and actually skids off, slightly cutting into her skin but not actually penetrating into it. Can I uh I, I wanna awaken mind if I um and say um can we get rid of those people and take over the uh, the punishing of the orc? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, in awakened mind. Oh, <laughs> this just means more lying. Uh, okay. okay. I, I can't. How can I like help with lying if I don't speak under common? How can you help? I don't know. <laughs> um, I would, me. I would. <laughs> Say. Oh, actually, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I would say, drow. You know, drow speak elvish as well. Um, so, I don't speak elvish, so yes, but <laughs> not every. Yes, but um, uh, because yeah, Vi, you speak elvish as well. Um, I they, do. Like essentially, like elvish is like elvish on the common. They are is like kind of interchangeable the way the dominion speak um generally like most like say seven out of ten times they'll speak on the common but to speak in elvish wouldn't be too strange okay um and a question just ju yeah just a the draws are uh the draws are there are they like common soldiers elite soldiers uh, those are up top and those are like uh, give me a perception check real quick you're perceptive kind of i'm not perceptive mm, perceptive eh? that's a one plus <laughs> oh no all uh, right that's a that's a Five. wait six 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 okay yes so i've seen them up close yeah. before yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm completely deaf. Um, the one on the rooftop, you can't quite tell. Right. They're a bit masked by like the, the, sh the shade yeah. of the sun. Um, the three on the ground are just normal soldiers. All right. Okay. Maybe we can just like yeah, no, tell them um, to piss off and go to get to work. Yeah, I wanna. Yeah, I've got an intimidation tactic I'd like to uh, do when we walk over. Oh no. Okay. Well. Just like without, like trust, just trust, just trust. If we if we go over there, I've got yeah. Oh god. Oh god. What's your what's your view? Well, no, I'll let Vi do the talk. I'm not gonna do it. Like, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna act do... a little bit. How do I get rid of three guards? Three drought. One's an elite, didn't you say? No, no, no. no, no. One no, was no. the man for this. You were going to. One of them was an elite. The three that are tormenting the slave. Please just be standard soldiers. Okay. 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 I can. Oh, fuck. I got. <sighs> <laughs> All 
Right. Okay, I think I know. You got this champ. <laughs> I <Yeah>. really don't. <laughs> um I'll walk up to the three soldiers. Mm-hmm. Is it all, is, how many of them are doing the lashings? So one's doing the lashings and the other two are just basically watching. The, the, yeah, uh, the other two are watching and very casually like loading crossbow bolts. They, they're not, they don't seem to be like in a rush at all. The they're like, essentially imagine it like they're in a bar drunk playing darts. That's kind of how it, it, it's like for them. Yeah. Fucking That's this is making my That's blood boil. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a good metaphor though, I'm proud of the metaphor. Vi would like to cast now. I'm joking. <laughs> Fire! But no. Um, the orc uh, would cook too. <laughs> okay. And it's just this, this prisoner, uh, being tortured on these yeah, three drones. You do around. see like other like of these posts. They do seem to be of like punishment posts, kind of like a stockade or something. Um, you right. like you do catch like other slaves who are at work. Uh, and particularly, um, there's like a group of slaves now coming down the road, heading towards the western wall that is behind you now, moving past you. They're all carrying like crispy wagons and barrels of like brick and rubble to fortify the wall. And as they move past, like they all very quickly, not thinking too much of a glance, that they be that they join their comrades as well, do look over, kind of in concern. Okay. How close are we to them now? Um, how close do you want to get? If we're cl- if we're not too close to them, I was just like, all right. So uh, this is to the part. It's like, so, so what do we want? We just want to get rid of them, right? Because yeah, they're close to the stuff. Get rid of them and help the orc. Yeah, just tell and it to like affect the, the actual force or something. Or like... Right. Okay. Fuck. Alright. Alright, I'll walk up to the soldiers. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, you do. <sighs> uh, as, um, as Vi, like, introduces himself to the sol- soldiers, I'd like to walk past with my dagger, um, and I'll awaken mind on the orc. Okay, well, that's him introduce himself first. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll walk up to the soldiers, like... Soldiers, and then kind of give them a nod. Okay. And I guess if Hans is walking past, I'll kind of just acknowledge it and just like, as you were, to Hans. Okay. Um, the two of the crossbows are do turn around. The one mm. with the whip hasn't quite heard you and go, goes to do another two lashes in quick succession before it's kind of they're elbowed by the others and do turn around. All of them kind of stand to attention. Not seeing anything, just listening. Okay. Uh, I'll walk up to the orc and just kind of kneel down just to kind of get a look at his look of his face. Oh, they're standing. Like, you don't need to kneel down. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, oh, stand- right, I thought it was down they're, like, the ground standing, get, like, standing, like, straight to the post. Uh, right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Just walk up close and just, like... Just... Just give them the scanning eyes up and down. And then I'll go to the one who's given out the lashings. <sighs> what has this slave done for this punishment? This one volunteered. Captain... C- Camry. Captain Camry. You not familiar with Deshka? Forgive me, I just transferred from another camp. <laughs> Give me this action. Kesh- is it Deshka or Keshka? Deshka. Deshka, okay. Can I like Desh- do some performing kind of stuff like to assist with uh with Vise? Wait, okay, what do you want to do? So, so my, my what I was doing is I was walking up to the orc and I, you know I'm I'm awakened mind on the orc. It's like I'm I'm not gonna hurt you. We want to help. Firstly, 
to, so that they're aware that it's uh, performing and, and stay quiet, um, stay quiet or act natural. And then I'll run the tip of my blade down their back kind of thing. Not like to actually um, like, you know, pierce the skin, but to like, as if I'm looking forward to torturing them as well. Okay, okay. Uh, oh. Ooh, you, oh, buddy, okay. Give me a persuasion check first for the orc. Yeah, we, got, we, we can do, you can do these. All right, you got this. Oh, me, okay. Yeah, you. Yeah. And, wait, they don't know who I am, so I can advantage. No, oh, yeah, for the act, actor, right? For actor, yeah, yeah. right. Okay, okay. This is free, this is free. free? 27. 27, okay. Oh my god, now, absolutely free. Uh, oof, your choice, sleight of hand or... Mm, yeah, sleight of hand for this. Oh my god, yes. That is a 22. 22, okay. <laughs> As you wait in mind, the orc... The, the, she turns the head and the eyes are these... Um, beautiful, rich green eyes, almost like verdant emeralds. As they look onto you, there's just a slight kind of head nod. And you draw your dagger, and just holding a millimeter away from the skin, you slide it down, avoiding cutting into the skin of the back of the orc. Yeah, I'll turn around and smile at the, the other soldiers. Okay, with that, definitely get advantage on this fight. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, is this deception? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Kesh? I keep forgetting the prisoner's name. Keshka. Dashka. Deshka. 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 I slammed my fist off my desk. Ah. Right. Shut up, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Advantage is gone now. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Have advantage. Make your roll. Okay. Uh, 16. 16. Okay. Usually they let us know there's a transfer. What camp are you from, Captain? What's... <laughs> Make a, a big journalist fight. Give me a history check. History. What is my hit? Okay. Can I awaken mind? Um, and say Orthozok? Orthozok. Uh, 15. 15, okay. Uh, Overzok is quite a bit south from here. That's the under... No, I know, um, I know. Um, but I was... So, the 15 Vi... He's also tr- familiar with camps because he's... Yeah, that's why I'm allowing him to do this history check. Yeah. That's, what, that's why I'm allowing it. Um, oh, I would yeah. say Vi, just pulling a name out your ass. You know, uh, Daryl Kane is... Dar- a drow set is a drow settlement you know to be the north. Hopefully, it's far enough that's close by. Hmm. Okay. I was sent from Darrow Kane. Welcome to Nafia, Captain. Thank you. This is Deshka. Deshka. She often volunteers as our whipping boy. So on. Oh. Slaves must often be punished. This one thinks of herself as a hero type. <laughs> I'll laugh. I laugh along with them. <laughs> ah, the noble ones are the most fun to break. Exactly, Captain. Please, they offer you the whip. Take a few hits. Test the meat. Oh take the whip off their hands and then walk up to Deshka and then just before I'm about to give out a lashing I'll stop 
like I'll I'm about to throw a lash and then just as I'm like mid swing I'll just stop. And then I'll put like a hand to my ear. Which which the uh, side did we come from? Like did we enter? The west. We came from the west. Yes. You're not too far away from the the gate you came from. Would I know there's like a north, south, and an eastern entrance, or uh, only know about the west? Um, you only know about the west. Uh, you assume there would, you assume there would be like other gates. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'll st I'll stop mid whiplash and then I'll put a hand to my ear and just be like, hmm. Okay. I'll send someone out immediately, and then I'll look towards the three guards. I was like. I just receive a message from one of the patrols towards the south. They feel like they might have sated the Silver Draconis. Who? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh you, you mother! <laughs> How? We're like Watch public enemy so number one! How? <laughs> <laughs> oh we could have literally walked in as ourselves nobody would have known yeah exactly <laughs> why go through all the troubles of this guy settle thing? down settle down we're like the star lords of this universe <laughs> oh my god yes silver draconis a ragtag group of let's say thorns in our sights they're not too powerful, but left to their own devices. It could cause a bit of trouble for us. Okay. Go. Can I continue? Okay. Go. We have a couple of men out there, but that might find it tough to handle, but looking at you and how equipped you are. You three should be more than enough to handle them. Give me a deception or persuasion check, your choice. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, based god. <laughs> uh, alright. Well, oh, it's just a straight roll, right? Yeah. That is the 20 of O Natural. Ooh. <laughs> okay, total. So. Uh, a total of 30. 30. <laughs> you were a kind captain. Gather some more men. We'll bring the silver draconis before you. Let's go. And as they move away, you hear one of them says, Silver draconis, how tough can they be? <laughs> I would like to cast Fireborn. <laughs> uh, so, there, so there's so there's still the one above, right? Yeah. Manning the ballista. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll. Well, I'll wake up my vi. So, would, well, well, actually, no. I'll just like head nod up to, in that direction. Actually, can like if someone keeps them, like, I'll awaken my advice. Like, can we keep? Can can you keep him distracted while I send uh, Deshka to help with the Western Wall? Okay. So wait. So the ballista is still being manned. Yeah. So there does appear to be on the closest building. There does appear to be a ballista on the roof, and okay. there does appear to be a drought up up there. They're not really. They're not looking, they're not keeping an, an actual track on Dashka. They mm. walk, they're just like up there, like okay. looking around on lookout. Okay. Can can they see me? Me? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll just yell up then, like, soldier! And then just kind of do the you're in trouble finger again. <laughs> 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 you're in trouble fingers coming out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> The drow actually sees and actually leaps off the building and <laughs> does a three point landing. Yeah, okay. fuck. Oh. Runs over. Don't like his athleticism. What's <laughs> Kind of. What's up? Bows the head. Okay. I'll. Hmm. 
Okay. As they're making their way towards me, well, I guess they've made their way towards me. What are Deshka's bindings looking like? I want to. Uh, ch- like just just manacle just manacles on her hands but around this wooden post. Mm. Yeah, the manacles like wrap around just easily, like you can take them down. Um, or... I mean, this is a tall wooden post, so like, um. The only way we'd be able to like rip Dashka off, oh, like, right, okay, off, okay. off it, like she, like the, like the chains, like hooked around the opposite side. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I like see, so, I see, I the easiest way would be to like boost like man well, uh, or like either find a way to pick her up and uh, pick her. Does she, yeah. Yeah, I was good. Well, I was does gonna, she look too heavy to carry? I mean, I was um, saying, she's. Wait, she, can I... she, she, she's pretty cut. Like. Her back muscle, like, her back is, like, got, like, the, you know, the Bruce Lee tree-style muscle thing going mm-hmm. on. Maybe I was gonna, not I was gonna, add, well, while, while I, while, um, Vi was, uh, talking to that last guard who, who's, like, kind of in the vicinity, um, I was gonna gesture Aina over and keep awake in mind on the, uh, uh, well, gesture I know over, and then I'll, I'm still talking to Deshka and awaken mine. Okay, Be like, where's Okay, hold on. Like, yep. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second, man. So, the soldier that has approached you, Vi. Mm hmm. Then okay. bang the head, just waiting for the officer yeah. to speak. Okay, okay, okay. How much post would Deshka have to be lifted? To the kind of... post itself is about 10 feet tall. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Soldier. Anything suspicious to report? The drow kind of... As they bring it head up, you see the eyes kind of trace you from like heads, legs, chest, and face. Nothing to report, Captain. Mm. Quiet. Blister or ready, should anything arise. Interesting. I want to kind of walk, like, and like, and oh, we're not that high. we're not high up, are we? Can't look over anything. I want to position myself so that I'm kind of in the middle between Deshka and where Hans is. So if you want, you couldn't look at one. You can't look at both. You couldn't look at both okay. at the same time. Okay, yeah. So I'll walk somewhere with my back towards Hans and look toward Deshka and then just kind of gesture the soldier to kind of stand right next to me. Soldier follows your lead. Uh, tell me, what do you think we should do with this one? This one is not trouble. This one is, as you said yourself, Captain Noble. Mm -hmm. She's strong. I think she likes the pain. But she can do the work of ten men by herself. She's a good slave. Hmm. Perhaps. But the... if you want what? me to kill her, I will gladly do the draw. Kind of draws a dagger, just in eagerness, but not doing anything. Just drawing a dagger. Hmm. Not yet. Like you say, she's a useful slave. Maybe we shouldn't give her what she wants. Can you bring her down? You want me to free her, Captain? Not free her. But if the whipping post is what she wants, then... Surely we shouldn't give it to her. Let me quick persuasion check. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 19? 19. Drown nods, sheath the dagger, takes out key and... Under, undoes one of the manacles. Um, did this pe- were these these soldier and the other one close enough 
from to here when he told the guy to go to the south. So th- this drugstore is the only one nearby now. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems it seems like he, they were separate enough to overhear the conversation that okay. was had with the other three. Okay, never mind. But as Dash, because that hand comes free, a boy can go to dump against the post. Okay, so is she on the ground now? Oh no, like she's still standing, like she was standing, like... Oh yeah, yeah, shit, shit, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. She was standing, like her left hand is free and her right hand comes around. Okay. Uh, she kind of pushes herself up off the post, her back still to- turned towards you. And okay. you see her kind of mess around with something. I say, I am... Actually, yeah. Uh, everyone apart from... Hmm, actually, no, you don't see it, yeah. She actually kind of takes like a piece of cloth, that piece of, like making like a vest or something, and she ties it around her neck, to kind of, as she had taken it off to leave her back exposed, and now mm. put it back up to cover her modesty. Okay. And she kind of turns around, turns around her back still dripping, but she turns around, and just b- takes a few deep breaths. But other than that, she. Looks pretty damn solid. Okay. What kind of gesture the guard to put the other manacle back on? Oh, well, I'm assuming you would have automatically done that. Yeah, <laughs> the other manacle's okay. put back on. Dashka is okay. kind of looking at you. She's looking at you, Han, with kind of eyes slightly squinted, but isn't doing it or saying anything right at the moment. Please tell me. Come back. In my head, I'm just like, Hans, hurry up. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'm waiting for, well, the, the person to be facing away, but also I was like, yeah. Like, so, so they've done that, and then they're facing back to that, yeah? Yeah. Okay, can I slide, like, one of the golden scales and be like, like, just... To dash go. Yeah, just to show it. Sure. You uh, just take it out and just kind of flash it to have, like, a cop badge. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll yeah. Give me hmm. Hmm. Give me persuasion check hands. Oh with advantage. Uh twenty six. Twenty six. Yeah. Her emerald eyes almost reflect the gold from the scales as she's focused on it. Her eyes kind of narrow and just she nods very slowly. Uh, and then I'll. It seems almost kind of puff herself up. You see, actually see like her muscles like start to like tighten, flex in a little bit. Yeah, and then in awakened mind, uh, well, I'll 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 tell Vi. It's like, can I send her to the Western Wall? Um. Has okay. Can I has has hands? Oh, sorry. You go. Sorry. You go. Can there I you start go. walk towards the orc and be and start saying? Um, okay. First of all, the uh, the other slaves we've met. Do they speak under common? Oh, the slaves. Yeah. Um. Generally, no. Great. So I'll start speaking. <laughs> <here. laughs> I'll start saying to her in common and allowed for the guy to hear as well. Well, maybe if she likes so much being a hero, she should be the one who picks who gets punished next instead. Um, and I tell her to um, go towards the mm, western gate and pick who shall receive the punishment instead and to come back here. In uh, now t- two hours time, so that punishment can be exact. Okay, okay we'll get that in a second. This is a lot, right? Okay. <laughs> There's so much going on. Right, the the layers on this cake, so, baby. Why right, the sword's still there with you? Like, what do you want to do with her? Okay, has Hans? I'm I'm assuming Hans has had enough time to dabble with the ballista by now, right? 
No, I've not been doing any of this stuff. I've been, I've been like trying to help the orc here. Like, oh, that was the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so oh, no, we're not doing any of the man ballista, are we? Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is the man ballista, so like it's now unmanned because this person's thing. So I want to send so so like awakened mind to Vi. <laughs> I'm saying, can we send her to the Western Wall, and then just like have her gathered with the rest of the, the slaves, build re like fortifying it, um, and then. Once we send her off, I'll do the ballista. Oh. But then, um, the Akata said that, so, um... <laughs> yeah, so, like, she... <laughs> well, that works out fine. Well, I mean, that works fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, okay, so, settle down. Settle okay. down okay. for a second. Okay. <laughs> everyone, everyone settle down for a second. So, <laughs> bye, the soldier. <laughs> what do you want him to do? I was like, I'll look towards... If Leokata said that, I'll look towards Leokata yeah. and just be like, ah... <laughs> oh. I like you. Guard. Escort our noble friend here to the western walls. We have some slaves over there who are currently fortifying uh, the defenses. And since she's oh so noble, have her choose a slave to be taken to the whipping post. Understood, Captain. Drow kind of grabs the manacles and goes to pull, but <laughs> they're not strong enough to forcibly pull Dashka. <laughs> but Dashka, after the first tug, the second tug, Dashka follows and looks at all of you and kind of gives a wink to you, Hans. Play along and we'll free as many of you as, as, as we can, I say in Awakened Mind. She can reply to you, yeah? Yeah, 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 she just has to think. Yeah, reply, Hans. <laughs> I like you, Tiefling. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck, I love Dashka, oh my god! <laughs> it's like Romeo and Juliet in front of my very eyes. Dashka is Bashka. Dashka, a slave. Hans. Family to ballista inspectors. <laughs> the love is forbidden. <laughs> we never be together. <laughs> Fate and brought star-crossed lovers together. Hans, Hans is like, I've got as much muscle as a, as a limpy balloon. I need me a strong woman. Mortal ass, Hans Goobler. In the ballista inspector. So, as the, as the god leads away Dashka, um, mm -hmm. you do actually see, like, by the building, there is actually a ladder that goes up, but the drow was just seemingly wanting to flex and, like, Falls over and just drops. All oh, right. Well, that drow has heard of uh, the Silver Draconis and heard of a certain Aina drop. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Pan -pen. Pan -pen. Can we sue them? Can we sue? Hello? <laughs> wait, whoa, 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 no, 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 that's copyright. That's copyright. <laughs> do you, do you guys go up, on the phone. Will you guys Who drop? Go up to the uh, rooftop to, to this ballista. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Make way. Climb up the ladder. Who's going for? Well, I assume. Vi, or who wants to go first up the ladder? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it's just the list up there. I was about to say, if there's no one here, then anyone could go first. But if there's someone here, I'll put on a little show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is it just is it just the ballista, like on in, on a, on a like tower bit, or is it like a wall? So it's actually on like uh just like a normal building. Like, oh, okay. But the buildings are like flat roofs. The ground. Yeah. Roof. So so there's not really much room on like the roof apart from the ballista, right? Um. No, there's a decent, it's a decent, it's a wide building, so there's a decent amount of roof space, oh, okay. you can imagine. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm going up to tinker with it anyway, so. Okay. Girls, are you going up as well? Yeah. Okay, you all go up, yeah. climb up, and like the dragon said, any man but this would have at least two. Mm -hmm. There is another drow there who's kind of sitting down, and as you climb up, the drow kind of goes to stand up. Uh, excuse me, and you see out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, my God. An arrow. Hit it straight for the net and it gets. and it just. it, it caves its head into a sandbag and you all get a message for your earrings. I got you guys covered. Oh <laughs> my god. 
We need to hide the body. We need to. No, 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 no. This is good. This is good. I will use the body to jam the ballista. <laughs> oh, so, oh, so, oh no! And, and then so, I will use the gears to so, grind out some blood for my demons. Since Twilight, <laughs> so since Twilight is pretty stealthy and has a long enough range, and because it's an arrow, yeah. no one heard the shot. Let's see. Quickly looking over, like the building is about ten feet off the ground. Looking over, no one really saw it, and even if someone did, it may have just looked like they tripped. <laughs> but also, there is, like, by the root, by the ballista as well, I should mention this as well. Each ballista beside it has, like, a barrel. Hmm. And inside the barrel are the actual, like, ballista bolts. Like, these right, long yeah. fucking drab ballista things. Can I just carry the body and put it, like, beside or behind the barrel and move the barrel, like, ahead of it just a little bit? <laughs> just tuck it in. Or, tuck it in. I was actually thinking I put the helmet on top of the arrow so that it looks like the person is. Right I mean, there, they're like, behind the sandbag, right? Is there... Yeah, there is, is like... This weekend of Bernie's other, over here. There's, like, other crates, tops, and, like, sandbags, and that. There's, like, loose, like, rubbish, like, supplies, like, on this rooftop. Okay. You just hide them all, but I will draw some blood from them, if possible, before I get into this. <laughs> okay. like, oh, this is handy. Okay, well... <laughs> while uh, I'm here. I'll, I'll say, while you're doing that, just give me a... Give me a medicine check with advantage, because I know someone who says you. And someone give me a stealth yeah. check to hide the body. But you'd advantage still, because it's the password of trace. <laughs> right, plus 10 still. So. You know what, fuck, I'm going to allow it. Why not? I'll do it. 14 hits. 14, okay. Easy enough, you get. Hands, you get. Uh, yeah. You get two vials of blood from the drow. Thank you. 35. Nice. 35, okay. Vika, you pick up the body and get this dragon just kind of clamp it, wouldn't stop any further bleeding. Looking around, you could hide underneath there, or you could hide in the barrel. As you don't mind if I do. You, <laughs> <laughs> head first, bags kind of. <laughs> 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 uh, before that, I like, grab like. That, what weapons does this guy have? Web, uh, short sword, dagger, spear and shield. Okay, well, I'll grab the weapons. Okay. Um, and, yeah. How long would it take to take his armor off? Uh, stood that on with, like, an action, I think. No, a minute? Alright, well, um, I'll give up on the on the armor bar. Keep I mean, weapon. considering he's dead, you don't need to be that gentle with him. Yeah, I know, I know, um, I know. Light armor, one minute, I'm gonna say, like, 30 seconds. Right, okay. Was that the, would that they be able to do while Hans is? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll do be that. I'll the armor. Okay. Pass the stuff to Aina. Okay. Why right, you press the shape of blood and mm-hmm. C- CSI Draconis? <laughs> <laughs> what do I put in the bag? One studded leather. Studded armor. Spear. Dagger. Dagger short, short sword, sword shield. Wait. What well, happened? <laughs> One set of leather armor, one shield, one spear, one dagger, one short sword? Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Here, All right. While they're doing this, okay. I'll quickly earring Twilight and just sort of, like, love watching you work. Such a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot. Over. <laughs> <laughs> just try not to get in too much trouble. And also, they kind of lucky I was in this position. Yeah, we'll try and give you a heads and... up next time. I mean, I feel no, like we're, for the sake of this, okay. Vi, give me, Vi, give me a perception check just to see if you can even tell where where Twyla was. <laughs> Twyla rolled uh, a forty. Maybe. Twenty-four. <laughs> Twenty-four. You have no idea. Oh my <laughs> god! Wow. I just wanted to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I actually rolled a nat twenty on Twyla, so naturally that's a sixty overall. <laughs> <laughs> Um, nice. But yeah, am I am I unscrewing or am I cracking, depending on the bolt slash um, screw? No, okay, so with this one, on the with this one hands, you give me give me a investigation check. Okay, um, Aina, can you help me out? Yep. Oh, that's not very good actually. That's a thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. So with this one hands, this one seems to be pretty solid. Hmm. The easiest way to actually... Hmm. Sometimes taking simple is the best way forward. Not tinkering with the ballista, but actually sabotaging the rooftop the ballista is on. Hmm. Oh. 
uh, do I, uh, I mean, can I look at the rooftop and see if there's yeah, anything? Yeah, so we can... it is like kind of a wooden planked rooftop. Um, depending on like which planks you kind of damage and weaken, or kind of take out or like cut apart. Um, okay. If the ballista is any more any vigorous motion of the ballista, so it's just like loading it, firing it, or like even yeah. rotate it, could cause yeah. the roof to be compromised and for the ballista to actually fall through the roof in, into the building. Okay. Itself. I would like Aina to help me in tapping the floorboards and seeing where we decide to compromise it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I like. Hmm. Ooh, for this one. Ah, uh, this is tricky. For this one, I would say strength. So. Shit. So Aina's helping me though. Yeah, but well, I need. Do you want to help me? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> For this one, this is you actually breaking like section, like breaking sections of the kind of rooftop. Yeah. So, so, so like so that kind of weakens the platform that the person is on. Yeah. So, um, I'd say with hands, with, ha with hands actually kind of figuring out like the points to destroy, and you give me a, you give me strength check if you need. For this, you wouldn't be able to get advantage unless you were to rage. I will rage. Okay. Go ahead then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just strength, right? No. Just like straight strength. Yes. 22. 22, okay. And you point your finger down, and I walks over with surprising speed and just punches through one of the <laughs> four points. You actually flinch <laughs> as. Your finger was like an inch away from her fist as she, her fist goes through like two layers of wood, comes out, and she goes over to the next one. Before you even point it, she stomps on it as there's just, like, and the whole the platform of the blister actually, oh, the God. angle shifts a couple of degrees, then reorientates itself. As okay, this will work. And as Ina is going through, um, the cat and vice, since you guys are kind of keeping eye. You hear uh, being called up. You hear being called up in Elvish, actually, by one of the drafts. What's going on up there? As I is making a decent racket. It's it sounds like it sounds like loud, loud hammering. Right. Um. As you tell them, as, uh, as you peer oh. over, this is the elite warrior you saw earlier. Okay. No, I'll no. awaken my advice. Just be like, we we're just trying to. Hammer something in. <laughs> <laughs> We're by a ballista, right? Yeah. yeah. You, you guys are on the rooftop okay. looking down on this every warrior. Okay. This, can... I'll, yeah. Go. I'll peek my head over. And it's like, are you soldier? Doing some ballista inspection and something's come loose, trying to hammer it back in. Deception check. That was a very, bl uh, was a very like, nonchalant response. Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Captain. See, see, if you guys had a lad on the clipboards, you guys would need to make any checks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's uh, what I was saying. Hive his vest. That valiant yeah. hard hat that won't help in yeah. any situation. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Inspection. I'm coming up. Fuck. The board's making his way towards the ladder. Fuck. Can I, I'm gonna just quiet ask, can you can you get this guy? Can you get this guy when he when he's up? I don't see him. Are you by the same ballista? Yes. Uh, he's coming up the ladder. Give it like a couple more seconds. A few more seconds. Okay. For this. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay. For this, I want someone to roll an acrobat check for Twyla, please. Not, so this would be uh, you know what I know. You make roll d twenty and add five. Okay. Uh. 16. 16. Plus okay. 5. Yeah, that's with plus 5. Okay, 16. Okay. Also, I would like to hold my action for something as Aina. Okay. It's so possible. As the drow comes up the, foot, the last rung, as they put their foot down, what's going on up here? As they see the holes Aina is making, and what is going on? So. Hold on, hold on. I need checks. So this would be. Oh, crap. 
You know what? Actually, let's have some fun. Me, Carla. Oh no. <laughs> you wrote damage for Twyla. I rolled. You six. wrote damage for Twyla. So 66, 1d8. Right. One, two, wait, 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 wait. Three, two, four, five. What was that? 66 and 1d8. Yes. Alrighty, chum. I know what are you holding? Uh, well, I was uh, wanting to, since the guy was coming up the stairs, I wanted to, oh like, <laughs> uh, try and grapple around his neck so he wouldn't speak. Okay. Um, okay. is it, do I have to separate it for you? No, 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 okay. just give me the total, please. Uh, okay, so that's, oh no. Alright. Ten plus twelve is twenty... 10 plus 12 is 22, 22. plus 5 is 27. 27, okay. Since this, since the soldier is technically surprised by Twyla, it's a crit. Mm -hmm. So 27 <laughs> doubled mm -hmm. to 54. Yep. 54 plus 8. Okay. Does it die? 72. Hold on, 72. And. 62. Sorry, 62, yeah. Plus sharpshooter. Yeah, that'll be nice for Twyla. I know, you see the, the drow run. You run over, grab the throat, and passing between your hands, you quickly grab the the throat and the arrow as the body of the boy <laughs> goes with them, you're holding it. Up I'll by just, the throat. I'll put him down very gently. The drow convulses on the floor as they bleed out death. You all hear Twyla say, I need more notice than that. Sorry, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, sis, you did great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm not performing monkey, okay? Just be careful. Having enough trouble with Hagar as it is. Clunk, 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 clunk in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> is that the chains or Hagar? Who knows? Who knows? As Twilo just managed to one shot the, uh, the warrior. Holy Ridiculous. Shit. That's. Can I hide this body as well then? Enough room for two in the bar? <laughs> also, I really hope there's no one like in this building. <laughs> like, there's just blood <laughs> seeping in and like holes <laughs> between the table. <laughs> Someone's just taking a shit. It's like, what, what's, go <laughs> what's coming, to, co coming down from above? Right. Do you practice digitating the blood? Yes. Yeah. So if we're gonna hide the body here, somebody needs to go down the ladder because um, the wood is unstable. Yeah. We don't want it to cave in while we're all up here. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll start my, making my way down. And I'm so, done right, up here. you finish up the last two points, you back away. So, Hans, the way you kind of visualize it is like, so long as no one goes near it or moves the burster, it will stay fine. Yeah. But if someone approaches it, any change in uh, weight or movement or just taking the weight, the roof. Probably likely to cave in. Good stuff. Okay, good job. Okay. All right. What next, <laughs> sneakers? What's the uh, cool? Hide the body in next, next ballista, I guess. Okay. So. Oh, well, do we hide it? Yeah. Do we hide? The, we hide the body, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, there's enough yeah. room in the barrel. For another. Yeah, you kind of have to, you kind of have to you kind of have to press the body down with some of the blister balls. <laughs> like, oh my gosh! But do I have an element has my in my draw? Oh, it would have hit me anyway since so part of the Never mind, just forget it. Cool. Hide inside the body. Oh, you can nice. probably modify a helmet. I don't have the time to modify yeah. a helmet. Right. So. You guys moving on. I would like you to Kyle. Give me a D10. Roll D10. D10? Yes, please. Actually, no. Sorry. D8. Yeah. 
One. Cool. Okay. So, as you guys kind of climb down the ladder and begin moving on, just kind of taking the scope of the settlement here, you see in the middle of the wide road, as the slaves are moving past, there is an assortment of uniquely armed and dressed Dominion soldiers. One is set in this subtle webbed full plate armor. Another one is kind of drifting silently between her comrades, almost like a drow version of Twyla. Third one is kind of cl- is kind of dressed in this fur and scaled cloak as well. And, bes- and in the accompaniment is a troop of four drow hunters in tow with this dark metal heavy nasty looking ballista that is kind of anchored onto like this flatbed wagon this ballista is like one and a half times bigger than the other ballistas you guys have been working on and it is mm-hmm. mobile on a wagon how many drugs are in there except? seven. Oh fuck three of them pre unique all the four just appear to be like drow hunters just mm. like kind of scouts skirmishers mm. oh they might be look like prefer you have to look at them cool i think we should go for the other ballistas first like yeah, we yeah. can come back to this one if this is like the last one we need to do yeah many other ballistas around oh yeah plenty but cool. you guys know us this yeah. troop of hunters. Which way, which direction are they going again? So they're not going anywhere now. They're kind of the they would be to your east. Okay. To more towards the center. Right. Um, you spawn them from you spawn them from a distance, but they are right. quite striking as they don't fit into the right, okay, uniform okay, of okay. any of the other drow here. Right. Okay. Cool. Move on, moving on to the next Manda, Lester. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unmanned, if there is one. Unmanned, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, give me, so for this one, give me a perception check, please, everyone. Okay. Come Ooh, on, oh, for fuck's sake. 17. 17. 8. 8. That one, so 3. Okay. Too busy thinking about Deshka. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I should hit. Bye. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of slaves moving around, particularly a lot of them being redirected to the west. Do you manage to spot a couple of? A man ballista, but mm. as this is this kind of influx of slaves here, there's also kind of more drow watchers being pulled in to kind of keep an eye on this situation. And you kind of overhear some conversation as to fortification. He's always a fortification, but what are these slaves doing here? Put them to work, put them to work. Just kind of like this conflict of orders going about. <laughs> Nice. Uh, <laughs> as you get onto the main road, you actually you have to stop and brace yourselves back as you're almost run over by a group of two giant lizard riders, like r- moving down in tandem, keep an eye on this larger group, and just moving towards the ne- next ballista. Um, still carrying over the stealth check. You guys approach it. Well, any issue? A little bit of attention is given to you as you pass by a few drow, but you guys the ballista inspection crew. Thank you. I don't know. Yeah. Right, so, so I want Ina to help me out again. Okay, go ahead. Yep. Advantage. Oh, thank God that's advantage. That is a 25. 25. All right. So this one has, this one is on the ground as well. Mm. Mm, this one is a little tricky as you can't. As the platform itself, the platform itself is on the ground, and you can't collapse the ground unless you could, yep. but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Unless. Unless. The best, the best way for this one would be to sabotage, sabotage the angling and rotation mechanism. Okay. So, well, well, are there no screws on this one? No. Oh, my screw However, collection's And shit. you kind of tilt up at the ballista so it's actually aiming down into the dirt. Oh, yeah. And Yeah, and then I'll do that, yeah. Um, how do you want to sabotage the actual, like, pitch? Uh, I'm assuming there's, like, I can... Um, I'm assuming I could, like, break whatever the the bracket in which it kind of angles, right? Yeah, there is kind of like, um, I'm trying to remember the technical term, but like, it's kind of like almost like a gear system, so like the actual gear spokes mm. or teeth. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, can we just like, opinion? crack Are they it made of like... wood? Are they? No, that, no, those are actually made of metal. Ah, uh, we should have brought one of the bodies and just chuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, there's ballistas nearby, right? There's, yeah. there's like the ballista bolt, sorry, ballista bolt. Oh, yeah. Ballista. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Aina, could you break one of those in half for me? Yep. Uh, I'll go grab one and okay. I'll try my best. Okay, well, you'll pass a strength check. I'm... <clears throat> okay, plant your feet, get a good stance, crunch! Okay. Nice. Yeah, and then I'll jam it in that thingy and then break it off once I'm, once it's like in there so that it can't be unjammed. Okay, okay. Uh, with 23, yeah, easy enough. As you, as you push the blister down so it's aiming as far into the dirt as possible you jam the kind of broken uh, splintered wood of the vault into the mechanism and using what, as much strength as you're able to muster you bring the blister back down and kind of almost do like this kind of seesaw repeating motion as yeah. the mechanisms start to slowly get gunked up by pieces of wood and after about three four attempts of this and yeah, I know to come over since she's pretty strong. Yep, as yep, I try yep. to push the ballista, <laughs> push the ballista down, even I know is struggling to actually stop aiming the ballista into the dirt. So that's it stuck, yeah. Yes. Um, with this, I would say if you, since you were doing that, give me a stealth check. You still have the, you still have the plus ten. As this one, both is, or just him. Well, just for hands, since he was doing this. Mm -hmm. Okay. 26. 26. Yep. 26? Jesus, fuck. Really? Get fucked. Oh, yeah, plus yeah. pass by a trace. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's 10, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hold on. Otherwise, 16. Check. <laughs> As you kind of doing this, hands, a draw walk. A couple of draw move past you. One of them makes eye contact with you as you kind of feel, shit, we've been caught. One of them just kind of gives you a wave and keeps on yeah. walking. This didn't roll high enough to kind of gather what you were doing. Yeah, let's pretend I was, wa I was waving with the ballista. <laughs> with the ballista ball? <laughs> Sorry, <mate. laughs> The arm of the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay. Solid work. Four ballista sabotage by you guys. Who know? Who knew, knows how many the other guys have, have done? I can't believe you've got like individual like ballistas here. It's like yeah, this one like you need to do this. This one you need to do that. It's like fuck. I thought I could just unscrew them all. <laughs> like I said, they're not. Like... They're not a uniform design. You don't know if all these were a batch order or if like. Well, they weren't a batch order. Clearly really. not a batch just, order. I mean, fucking hell. Like, I mean, if they're a batch order, I have some serious yeah, so, concerns. Someone at QA is getting fired for this. <laughs> that manufacturer is no This good. quality <laughs> control is beyond abysmal. Yeah, yeah, would not, would not, would not be sufficient through conformance. That's all I'm saying. Oh, well. <laughs> all right. It's Creed doing the quality assurance. We're fucked. <laughs> so, as you guys finish up with this last ballista. Um, uh -oh. you notice that there's not that many drow around you at this moment. Hmm. And the way this this ballista is kind of in the middle of a field, surrounded by slaves, just kind of walking away. Let's go talk to the slaves. Are there any drow uh, 
soldiers like keeping an eye on the slaves nearby? Give me a perception check. Can I have one? Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> 24. 24, okay. So, there's no draw me there around you. Um, since you are kind of still near the western wall, there is a few like sharpshooters on the wall, which is keeping eye out outside as well as inside. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. Let's go get some slaves. You... Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll walk, walk over to the closest group of slaves that we can see, I guess. Actually, before that, I want to send a message to the dragon guy mm -hmm. and ask how long until you're ready to go. Give me 30 minutes. I'm almost there. Okay, so we got another 30 minutes to go. So now mm -hmm. we can tell the slaves to stay in 30 minutes with you. <laughs> well, we, we can tell them. Or ballistas. Mm -hmm. We need to keep going, but also we can tell these slaves what 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 was told to the you know so, earlier. Sorry, they can't. Sorry. Three minutes to an hour. You'll know when. You'll know when I've made myself known. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay. Because I'm thinking that we can tell the slaves <laughs> that you know to keep an eye out of them. Because it and to start heading towards the western wall, and so that in 30 minutes to an hour we can start sending them away. We can tell them that there will already be slaves there, hope, look, proper, probably, um, like, uh, preparing within the walls just to we can tell them to go and you know pretend to be doing the same thing, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. um, and just blend in, yeah. It was just so that we like now that we know how long how much time we have left, like we don't just yeah. put them there like aimlessly. Like Yeah. Yeah. Uh we could also tell them to like if they can oh I don't know how discreet they can be. I was gonna say to spread the word to the other slaves that in thirty minutes to an hour we are going to be taking them out. Um as many of them as we can. Mm. Uh but I don't know. What are you guys doing? Yeah, so we're gonna start talking to some of the slaves. Okay, around. you guys walk up to the sl slaves, and as they see you approach, they see them walking a little bit faster, a little bit harder, as you guys are still within your drow guises. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we take out one of the golden scales to shoot to them. Uh, you see this really kind of dirty, quite gaunt male furbolg, kind of, his eyes look to the skill and kind of look back to his work. I'll, I'll, I'll walk in, uh, I'll walk up a little closer to um, that one, I guess, um, and in a low tone I will speak, um, I'll speak to him and say, Ease up a little bit. We are not drow. Not, we are not with them. We are here to liberate as many of you as we can. Bobo kind of stops and kind of stands back. They kind of drop the weapon, the, the farm tool, which could be used as a weapon. Mm. Make a persuasion check, I know. Ah, jeez. Do I get anything for this? Nope. Not even. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use luck. That was a two. Ouch. Uh. All right, that's a that's a nine. Nine. I want no, I want no trouble, sir. Honestly, I I would work hard. Please, keep, I, keep 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 working, keep working, keep working. Just so that we don't draw any attention. Why do we need to tell them what's happening? We could just because they can go. I mean, yeah, I know, but they'll know when they can go. <laughs> That'll be well, pretty it, obvious. It, 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 a we, want them, we, we want them to be at the entrance and ready. Well, they're at the western side. But we don't need them to be at the entrance. We're going to arcane gate over. Well, we need to arcane gate from the western side, right? 
Yeah, we could be on a yeah, wall and get for them that. We can also no, be yeah, on, but, on a wall for that. Also, all the slaves here are shackled in the way they do have like feet shackles and like arm shackles and like, even while they're working. Can I try and start mm. and do his feet shackles so they can run at the very least? Give me a thought check, please. So, d20, add your proficiency bonus. Yeah. And your um, dex bonus. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, 20. 20. As a decal, you reach around before the football can even react. The feet shackles come free. Now, stay calm. Something's gonna happen in about 30 minutes to an hour that will give you a chance. To leave and I show him the skill again. Goes and touches the skill and you hear his like fingernail like ring against the metal. Very gently. No, stop, stop. Calm down. Calm, calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, keep working while we're talking to us. Keep working. Get to work! <laughs> and then I'll try it. Right, try okay. It. He grab. Do, does it, if he wants it, I'll, I'll give it to him. He okay. takes it, kind of. Keep working, okay? Of, 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 yeah, of, 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 yeah, sure, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He grabs his tool. Okay, not so excited, right? <laughs> Can you free? Can you at least the feet of the others, please? Please. Yeah, we can. Okay, is there anyone in particular you want? Can we not? Can we we not? This is so bad! Like, why are we doing this now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, you need to free. I mean, we need to slave, free them anyway. Yeah, you right? need to let the slaves know that something's going to happen. Yeah, I was, was going to just do like a Chinese whispers, be like, tell one is like, be ready in 30 t minutes to an hour. We'll. You don't we're, know how we're effective leaving. that might be. So. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it's, just, it's cool, it's cool, yeah, it's cool. Hey, you've done your thing, we can't yeah, do nothing. Yeah, I mean, let me, let me, let me do, yeah. Let's shift my own way, alright? It's the few things, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. to the western side, alright? Okay, Magic. don't, don't do that because they're watching us. Uh, uh, of course, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I gotta just live around. Like cool. I'll start moving my way around them and just. Okay. I won't give us a thing to all of them, but like uh, the skill to all of them, but I'll just be like, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, I'll say with this the Um. And I'll tell, I'll tell everyone on standby. Keep an eye out so that there's not like people are not staring at us. Or like, see if we're, we're people. We're catching right, so what, okay. If anyone tries to kind of look over at like. Either Leocada or Hans or Ina's mistress, I'm just like raise my voice and just be like, get back to work! Okay. Okay. So, Vika, in so with this. I go around like playing with my knives, you know, just like uh, I'm looking to play with someone. Okay. So, are you going around to like undo the. Yeah, knives? just kind of be like, okay. you know, here's what's happening. Okay. But be cool. Give me. Okay. Hmm. Whew. Give me a stealth check, please. Plus 10. Yep, step up. Thirty-five. Okay. Now <laughs> Okay. Okay. Bay five, okay. I need to do some weird fucking maths here. Okay, now give me another lock pick check, please. Oh come on! Uh 13. 13, okay. Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, 13. 13, okay. Yeah. Can I add my, my... My thingy, my inspiration? Yeah. 15. That's okay. That's okay. Now... Let's try it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, Vika. Not bad. You, as you go around real quick, you manage to undo the shot the bindings of 65 slaves. Holy shit, I'm good. 
was roaring to see how sneakily he could do it and like how much he could do within a time frame that wouldn't seem too suspicious. Yep. And within 50 minutes, so within 50 minutes, like, though the ballistas may not be uniform, the shackle is the completely uniform. After the time for one, you're like, okay, that, 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 slight kick. Yep. As. He read the left and pull and there. And. Well, with some confusion and a little bit of hope rising in their eyes, the slaves are continuing walking but slowly drifting over to the gate somewhat, but still keeping them in the post and yes. ready. I go back, I got them a nice kick in my stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, that'll be the slave kind of immediately around the, the ballista. Yeah, that's fair, fair. That's, that's fine. Yeah. And uh, just looking up as you finish up and having Vi have to look out the archers on the walls I mean he was a 35 year old for stealth oh my god yeah they didn't see anything boy I'm good okay what do you want to do next do you want to move on to another group of slaves or do you want to continue with the ballista how long have we been doing this for uh right now oof so one two three um, about 50 minutes now. You're approaching okay. the red, the red so line. So since they're outside. not looking at us, first of all, I'm going to cast recast Passer as race, so that we get a full hour. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, just, I don't know, get another ballista? Yep. yep. We could do another ballista. Yeah, okay. Yep. Another ballista. Okay, move to another ballista. Hans, you give me a raw d10, 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 yeah, d10, fuck's sake, yes. <laughs> You're right there, bud. No, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, sorry. Roll d6. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Four. You know Hans, why don't you just roll everything? Okay. Okay. So, as you guys maneuver into. starting to get away from the west, ever so faintly, into like the large expanse, spanning fields. Something very strange. Hits you all. Something sweet. Something warm. I oh, know. Is that. Is that jam? As you look oh. over to see. Think. Oh, yes. Warehouses. These large warehouse Outside a large warehouse is this cauldron filled with this molten mixture fruit puree that is bubbling and boiling and steaming filling the air with the sweetness around everyone's given investigation or yeah investigation check everyone please Thirteen. Thirteen. okay eight Eight. Thirteen, eight. Fourteen, sorry. Fourteen, eight. Hans? Eleven. Eleven, five. Nineteen. Nineteen, okay. Looking around, there is... You no, know, it was a group check you all, overall passed. There's a few of these kind of stations, if you call them that, like, of these vats, these cauldrons of jam being brewed as going through, like, the bigger field that you're now into. Like, these are really like engorged, like almost like purple strawberries, like like almost like str- like apple sized strawberries. These are fuckers. How am I seeing you so into like one strawberry? Hey, my, hey, I remember every summer in my childhood, my dad would make his own jam. So this is quite personal for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> This, the land here is very fertile and producing these really t- and you just kind of take a, a dog and slice in the fruit and it just oozes the fr- fruity juice and just smelling all that sweetness in the air and seeing like jars being loaded up and caches in that there's a lot of jam being made here now 
you're thinking to yourself, why are you guys focusing so much on jam? Like, it's nice on toast, it's nice on bread in the morning. <laughs> hey. Why is there so much focus on it? But there's a lot of jam being made and brewed here. But in the pot, it is molten hot, almost like lava. Yeah. And it could be used as a makeshift improvised tar based weapon. Oh. You know, with sea castle sieges, boiling oil and tar are used to by the defenders to repel attackers. Like, but hot, hot enough liquid can be used as a weapon. <laughs> this jam hmm. can be used as a weapon. Hmm. As you see, cold. As you see, different stations with cauldrons, as well as like. Being as well as jars that the jam is being carefully poured into, as you'd have the whole cauldron to use, or fill up and have hand handmade jar jam grenades. How how many jars are around here? How many jars? Um, you guys are like just all around you. Uh, there's about a dozen or so kind of close to you kind of spaced out spaced out like some by buildings some like looking at the slaves on the field um there's like a couple overlooking the slaves who are like in the process of making and brewing these jam these jam cauldrons mm -hmm. as all this this four kind of crosses your mind that you might be able to use this to your advantage if you want to take an interest in it but if not then Okay, nice to have this as like a weird backup. Yeah. Can I grab a couple of these giant strawberries as we walk along? Just just the raw fruit? Yeah. Yeah. You're walking through the fields as is. Yeah, so. exactly. So I'm just gonna be like. Fuck him. Mm -hmm. Easy enough to do. Are there just jars of them lying around or. No, I mean, there is like the fruits in the fields. And, like, if you get close enough to a station, you probably could, like, get a jar of this jam. This is my jam. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Turn that song off. This is my jam. <laughs> what, what you do with this information... Yeah, what... What, what you do with this information is up to you if you want to act on it. This is, you How just, do we, like... You've come to the jam quarter of Nafia. Mm. How do we, like... You... Uh, like, the jam's like not in a position though to like use it as like that boiling tar kind of thing. Not just yeah. It's just in the jam warehouse. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, they're in cauldron. They're in cauldrons. So you still can't hoist a cauldron. Yeah, we'd be a lot like hoist the cauldron over to a wall and be like, oh yeah, never mind, us. We're just putting some jam on the wall. Okay. Is it close enough? Yeah. How far west? are they from the western? Or um, a decent. Where are they like? The, so this is you guys kind of moved a bit more into the center. Right. Okay. Um. So probably over about a thousand feet away from the wall. Okay. Well, we know that they're they're needed. So. Yeah, we could like, um, as he said, we could potentially also turn them into s small hot tar grenades. Jam grenades. Oh, like mason jars. <laughs> Yeah. yeah there, there, there is there is like jars they are being the jam is being put into. Uh, I mean, I'm like... not really. I I, I want to. I don't know. Personally, I'm not really bothered by the jam. Same. <laughs> I was thinking. Oh, do you think there's like a way we can mark the building so that when like Gildane comes, he can just like, hey, hit this building for like fireworks. Oh, I can send you my message. Yeah. We need to make sure the slaves that are in there are and out of there. Also, <laughs> also true. Uh, also, the jam could possibly be used to sabotage the ballista somehow if you're creative enough. Oh, this is <laughs> true. Oh, it, the seat is all sticky. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck has happened? Wait, I'm so like, this is so weird. Like, okay, so we're now, we're now there's a jam warehouse in this drow settlement that no, we're now saying there are jam warehouses okay so there's jam right, warehouses right, you play disco elysium 
Like you pick <laughs> yeah. up on, you pick up on random stuff. This is a random stuff you guys. This is something random you guys have encountered, and depending yeah, on how I mean, creative, it, like this could be used as some sort of improvised weapon. Are, are we gonna use it? <laughs> I mean, it At the very least, we should get the slaves out of there. Uh, that, uh, that I'm okay with, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's get I don't know. Let's, let's get the slaves out of there, and then I don't know. Take a couple mason jars and like maybe use it for ballistas if we can how, stick how it in there. How much are the slaves in the warehouse? Um, there's like between like two cauldrons that are not too, like about thirty feet away from each other. It's probably about like two. It's like one drow on the ground level and one drow uh, actually kind of on the. Like actually on right on the platform. Uh, yeah, on on the rooftop staring. beside the ballista. Right. Um. Okay. 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 We forgot the ballista here. So there's the warehouses. Where yeah. is the ballista? On ballista top? is on the roof of the warehouse. Okay. 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 And you said there is. There's one. There's one drow kind. Of, there's one drow uh, just kind of on the ground looking over the slaves. And there's the, the drow by the. Room. Yeah. The kind Any of... anybody else around? Um. By by that bit there, no. Like. Uh, obviously, you guys have to move closer towards it. So. Okay. And that's the ballista we're going for? Might as well. Okay. I mean, While we're here? That's what I say. Or we're just going to try and take as much ballista as we can. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Just want to double check. Because we got this head track with the champ. I was like, we're the, the ballista. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The charm was a distraction. <laughs> I know. Oh god, we've got charmed. <laughs> <laughs> Charm for the ch Okay, so we need to distract the goddess. Is it inside or outside the warehouse? It's outside. Between two cauldrons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cauldrons themselves are outside as well. Okay. Yeah, that out, out in the open area. Okay, so okay. okay. Oh. So we need to distract the girl, guy down, downstairs and the guy upstairs. Okay. Well. That's your thing. Captain. Oh, okay. One upstairs, one downstairs. Yeah. Well, on, one, one on the roof. One, one on, on the roof, not upstairs. And one on the, on the floor. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Are the, these all, are all the jam warehouses, warehouse side? Are they on the <laughs> west side where we are? Uh, more into the center. Like you've moved away from the western wall at this point. Okay. Okay. Did we did we manage to find out how many slaves were inside? Did we say? Inside where? Inside the jam warehouses that we're trying to evacuate. No. Um. Well, give me a perception check, Roy. Perception. Huh. Natural one. Natural one. <laughs> There's a lot of slaves, like just in the surrounding fields and in the building. You can't see slaves. Like, like warehouses are like open, like large mm. open doors, almost kind of like a aircraft hangar style. Okay. okay. See the manacles that all the slaves are. They're just like connected like to each other. They're not connected to like a wall or anything like solid, right? No, yeah, yeah, just like handcuffs yeah. and leg cuffs. Okay. Like a train. Yeah, but exactly. Like, there is like a bit more. They're not tight, they act, they've got a bit more give so they can work, but they are still tightly restrained. Okay. Um, okay, so as we're walking past here, um, I'm assuming there's like dry guards and shit in there as well, right? Um, so, by uh, by the ballista, so there's one beside the ballista, and there's one yeah, on yeah. the ground, but moving, but then, through, like, moving, through the yeah. moving through the fields like you guys are doing right now, there are, there, there are like a couple of drow like, overlooking the slaves in the field, yes. Okay. I would like to. Well, uh, uh, do we ever go within thirty feet of any of the slaves, like oh, yeah. that are yeah. in the jam warehouses? Okay. In that case, as we pass each of the warehouses, I would like to awaken the mind one slave that is um, like on, like uh, um, like well, yeah, connected to the thingy, uh, and then I'll I'll just say. Um, <clears throat> In 30 minutes to an hour, um, you have a chance for freedom. Run, uh, get, run to the western wall. Um, you'll know when the time comes. Uh, pass on, 
pa pass on the word to your fellow slaves and keep working until the t time comes. Okay. Not just to one slave, yeah? Just to one slave, like, connected, and then, like, when I see a different, like, set of chain. slaves... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chain, you, you know what I mean? Like, to the different chain. Per train. I, I want them to, like, yeah, I want them to, like, <laughs> pass the word down Okay. the chain. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Mm, give me a persuasion check. With advantage, because they don't know who I am? No. What? They don't know who I am? Yeah, but this is... They don't know who you are, and this is also just... This is also a disembodied voice they're just hearing. Yes. They don't really have any reason to listen to. <laughs> okay. Well, that's still 27. 27, nice. straight. Okay. As you kind of... As you're walking through this, you kind of send your voice out and see a little bit of stirring in amongst the slaves as there's a bit of hus wish whispers... Um, yeah, I, I, made, I made sure to say, you know, like, keep quiet, keep working, and you'll know when the time comes, kind of thing. Definitely, definitely, definitely some confusion, but also more liveliness to them is going on. And as this kind of continue, continues down, you approach uh, this ballista in the, uh, this warehouse. Um. There, it's mad, yeah? Yeah. So now we have to just tell the guys. Yeah, we still have the two drows to deal with, so. And, well, two drow and then two drow in the fields that are kind of nearby. Okay. But like, if we went to the ballista, they yeah. wouldn't be too drow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's just normal like, drivers up there. Yeah, guys, this is, yeah, guys yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a sandbox, like. Just uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. How you, how everyone uh, interact with it. So. Sandbox filled with jam. It's everywhere. It's sticky. Of course, it's rough. No, it's, it's jam. It's what kind of jam do you have? <laughs> oh, well. Sandy. Um. So. Mm? Well, we can send this guy that's dealing with the slaves downstairs to grab the other guy, the other two guys in the field, and to start bringing people by the western wall too, right? So, wait, what do you mean? Like, well, we the, there is one guy up the roof with the ballista, and there's one guy downstairs checking on the two slaves, right? Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. doing the jam, yeah. and now we have two other drawers out our back. Mm -hmm. That are checking this slave in the field. Yes. So we can tell the guy on the floor to go and get more slaves towards the western wall. And then we can yeah. do we together with the two slaves with the other two drows on the field. And yeah. then we take we deal with the guy up up, up the roof. Sure. Right? I'm confused. Just I am too, but as long as we wanna do that, like just go for it. I mean, we, we could just. I mean, if it's just too normal. Just, do, just... No? No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah. instead of just explaining it, you can just do it. No, because I don't want to. I'm not. I can't. I'm not. I can't be the one that does the talking because I'm not a, a captain right, well, or I don't speak okay. under common. That's why I would. I mean, if you speak Elvish to the. Uh, yeah. If you want to. Yeah, but also we have a captain there, so. <laughs> the voice of authority. Yeah. Right, walk me through the plan. So, there is the. There are two. We are walking towards the warehouse with the ballista, right? Yeah. Yes. There are two drows in the field with some of the slaves that Hans has been talking to. Yep. Right. And there is one last drow up the, up the roof with the ballista. Mhm. Mm right. So we tell the guy that's on the floor to mm -hmm. get these slaves mm -hmm. and start uh, moving them towards the western side for the fortification. So get the slaves inside. Inside and in the yes, and in the field, together with the with the help of the other two slaves in the field, uh, two two drows in the field, right? Right. So we get rid of those trees, and we start moving okay. the slaves towards the western side. Okay. Okay, and then we deal yeah. with the one on the roof. All right. Regardless. Okay. All right. Game time. So, <laughs> Look. 
Yeah. Um, I'll message Twyla with the okay. earring and see if she can see the guy on the roof. Okay. Where we are. Okay. Oh, Lord, give me strength. <laughs> Bear me strength. <laughs> Bear Honestly, me. I have no idea where you guys are. I don't have a visual. <laughs> Sorry. Right, okay. no. Fuck. That's right. fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll just walk upstairs and do our thing. As you guys are approaching the rooftop, you actually see the drought on the rooftop by the vista. Hmm. Sees you and actually begins kind of climbing down. Oh, perfect! <laughs> Beautiful. Right. As you go to approach the station, the drow walks up to you and is another elite warrior. Oh my God. Okay. okay. Identify yourself. Captain Camry. Recently transferred from. I can't pronounce where we came from, where I said I came from. Dor... Dorkin? Dorkin? Next door? Is that what you're going to say, Vi? Oh, I can't remember. Vi knows it much you can pronounce it. Come on, man. <laughs> I've been praying nice so far. Oh, oh come on, man. Dor... <laughs> Did I write it down? No, I did! Oh, that's a rookie mistake. <laughs> I wrote down all over all oh, I've said all the other so drow soldiers, but I did write down where I fucking came from. <laughs> give me no history give me history check high again. Oh. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Do do Dorking? Dorking? Dorkeen? Dorkeen. I'll go with Dorkeen. Captain, Hope I was... Captain from Dorkin, was it? Yes. What are you doing, Nafia? I was sent here to help preparations. Apparently, there's word that the Silver Draconis are nearby. Who? Silver Draconis <laughs> are in the mountains. The Grand Inquisitor is dealing with them. They don't know Peppy Lock. Oh, Satchel, Satchel, Satchel. I will look at what brings you the... here, Captain. I give the elite soldier a stern look, like as a I'm I'm disappointed. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. I just feel like, huh. News doesn't travel as fast as it does as I thought. The Grand Inquisitor is dead. Hands. You say that they're in Hans, the mountains. What you oh, spell save DC? Spell save DC. Yeah. 17. 17, okay. Why? I'm aware she's dead. As she wishes out. I'm also aware of illusion magic as they go oh, draw. Oh, ah, shit. Um, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, oh, shit. I'll let you guys throw in the ship. Fuck! We've been made team. <laughs> Okay, well, we've done well oh, up until no. now. It's okay, it's okay, this is fine, this is fine. This is fine. We can, it's fine. We can, we can push the, 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 the jam on top of this guy. And burn it alive. Jam. Where's the jam? Jam. Ebs <laughs> really wants us to use this jam. We're gonna, we're gonna I, have to find I'm a way. Just, dude, dude, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of this, there's a lot of this stuff you guys can interact with that you guys haven't been doing, so... But we're not creative enough, Heps! I don't well, know what to do with a fucking glass of jam! I have four screws in my pocket, Heps, okay? Just wait! Just you fucking wait! <laughs> I, I have waited. Pocket screws! <laughs> <laughs> we're carrying on from pocket thorns to pocket screws. <laughs> That's too yeah, we'll do that. This is really the last one, please. Yep. This is fine. Fine. 
pie. The straw pie for me. Was bound <laughs> to <laughs> we went hook hands, crack <laughs> It's been going too well for too long. <laughs> are we going to roll 20? Go are, are we going to roll 20? Yeah, one second. Okay. Initiative. Come on. All right. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We live in. We live. Oh. Are we? Okay. So it's just us four. Correct. Right. Can you move your water bottle, please? Oh fuck's sake! What's my password? I'm using the uh, the D and D tarot cards again to keep track of everyone's oh, initiative. Nice. I completely forgot about them for a while, and then I was like tidying up the house, and I saw them, and I was like, ah, I haven't used those in a while. Her greetings. <laughs> Hello there. Okay, so initiatives, please. So twenty and above. Balls. Twenty to fifteen. Seventeen. Okay. Team. Team. Fifteen to ten. Fourteen. Oh, thank God. Look, if y'all were silent there, I would have been Ten to five? Fuming. Oh, God. Seven. Leah Carter? What? Leah Carter. One. Oh. Oh, no. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Right. <sighs> so give right, DM, show us what we're dealing with. Oh, I will. Ah. Neat. Uh. So. Neato. Ah. <laughs> you guys. So. The oh, soldier shit. whistled out to. The Lee Wally whistled out to the soldier beside them. Though there are other drow in the vicinity. Oops. They've not yet been alerted. So. Avara <laughs> Kavara. So, <laughs> okay, so, okay. first up would be, that is, okay, I can zoom in, in a bit, here we go. Please okay. be me, please so, I beg. Two. Okay, <laughs> wait, no, have I got the right thing? Wait. Sorry, one second. Fuck. Okay, so. Sorry, two seconds. It's alright. Initiative goes through a few drow. Oh, bollocks. Who aren't alerted to your presence yet. So, Vi, you're oh. going up first. Okay. Who is alerted to our presence? These Just two in front of you here, for now. Right. Okay. I am going to subtle cast Banishment at fifth level. Okay. So I can target two people instead of one. Oof. I love you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so cast banishment. Yup. Fifth level, That's baby. Amazing. Okay. I was like, no, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck up, get out of here, fuck up. Okay, so what's your spell save, DC? 18. 18, okay. So let me do for the normal draw. Yup. Shit. On the table. I have no idea. <laughs> On the table. Ah! It's okay, I've got that one. Oh, I see it. Oh, jeez. Okay. What'd you roll? 
you roll. No, sorry. What did you roll? You roll. Okay. What did you do? I don't have to roll shit. Come on. What did you do, man? 18. 18. Yeah. Okay. Charisma. Yeah. Charisma. Charisma. Okay. <laughs> okay. As you go and cast banishment by, you see the woe. No, no! As they <laughs> are banished out. Nice! Oh. The old one is not. Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay. Okay. One thing as well, yeah. you know he will return in a minute's time when concentration is dropped. I do. If he's, yeah, because he's native to this plane. Mm, fair. Unless. What else are you doing, Vi? Okay. Um, right, with him out the way. I will. Let's see how much sorcery points this costs. Okay. Ooh. Fuck. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's my. I think that's that's gonna be my turn. Okay. I know. Uh, so there's just that one person in front of us? Yep. Okay. Um... Shit sticks. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, I guess if, you know, people are not alerted, I'm gonna go... Also, Vi, give me a stealth check, please. Just then. Thank you. Oh. Oh no. That's a 14. 14, okay. Okay, I'm continue on. Um, I would like to... <laughs> okay, I would like to uh, rage first and foremost. And then run, like, basically behind mm -hmm. this soldier and try and grapple them from behind. Um, so, yeah, I'll okay. do that. Make an athletic check, please. Okay. That is an ungodly 25. <laughs> More like godly 25, what oh. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a natural 20 and he still fails. <laughs> <laughs> and the soldier, Hacker. as you go grab the soldier, he dips down, you actually go scoop him, and I've got them both arms kind of... Kind of and lock to get like the shoulder blades are pressing against each other. He's grappled. Sweet. Um, shit. Can I speak, or is that my turn? What are you saying? Uh, I, I I'd like to quietly tell the others, like, pretend he fucked up. Oh. Like, pr pretend he's been bad or something like that. Ah, that's my turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that. okay. Next up. Is Hans. What, sorry, what did you mean by that? Like, as if he's like not obeying orders or some shit. I don't know. He he's a traitor, or I don't know. He fucked up. What are you doing, Hans? Uh, dominate person. <laughs> <laughs> or that. <laughs> okay. Dominate person. With Eld ring of Eldritch vitality, so straight up real. No, uh, no, sorry, spiteful spell. Okay. You're supposed to DC 17. Yeah. Uh, fails. Nice, so they're mine. Okay. Yoink. Um. How's you casting your hands? Give me a stealth check, please. Just then. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna need him. Uh, 15. <laughs> 15? Okay. He's dominated. Okay. Uh, 
Africa, and then I'll. I mean, I, I mean, I guess we just turn. Like, I mean, we've dominated and banished the other one. It's like, wait, so, so what the fuck are we doing? Go, go, go grab the ballista. Okay. Oh, wait, can I tell him to do the ballista? How long would it take him to get up there and do it? Is there like a ladder right in front of us, yeah? Nope. Wait, but oh, we shit. thought that the guy came down from the ladder in front of us. No, he no, it... he, came, he saw you approach from a distance and then went, oh, went down. Oh, right, okay, 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 okay. I mean, this guy's dominated. Um... Let's um... get the guy to <laughs> Oh wait, can I ask it? Can I? Nah. Why not? Well, ask him to. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell him to go go and uh, sabotage that ballista over there, up there. Okay. Sabotage. Um. Yeah. Pretend. Otherwise, pretend you're normal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> pretend yes. you're normal. Okay. Is that your turn, hands? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. The drow turns around and <laughs> nice. walking over to the ballista. So, uh. okay, technically we're out of combat. Um, <laughs> we got a minute. We so, uh, do you want to go up the north bit? Yeah, let's go. Let's just leave. Well, they're gonna ring the alarms. We need to. We do need to deal with them. So you coming up to? Drought Warrior will be coming back in less than minutes. Oh, we can just like, um, all gang up on him. True. Um, but you see the wooden bit up north a little bit, over here. Should we go be here? But the guy is gonna appear in front of us. Well, yeah. Well, I'm saying it's like we sh Well, okay. Well, well I, I know stay here, but like the rest of us should be a ranger. Like some, like, because we don't want to be spellcasting, like, close to other things we want to be like somewhere where they don't see us and hopefully they can't hear us we want to be slightly further away and then also i see this other blister over here right yeah uh how long does it take to take like fuck about with the blister over a minute <laughs> wow okay <laughs> <laughs> bit cheeky bit cheeky ambitious ambitious um i mean I don't know, we need to kill this guy. Let's just like, gang up on him and get ready. Actually, you know what, uh, can, I, can I change my dominate person thing? I'll just tell him to cut the string. Okay, yeah. Oh, just okay. cut the like, just, just, just a simple sabotage, like, I don't, mm -hmm. uh, I see you. Doesn't have to be doing anything fancy. Yeah, just so, cut the, just cut the string, make it, make it obvious actually. Make it obvious that you're cutting that string. Alright, now, uh, Hans, so, this is, yeah. uh, this is a locked building, so if you want to try to get on the roof of it, or... Oh, it's locked. Oh, yeah. right. I thought the door was open there. Okay. First step. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that so that, so that that guy, I want him to cut the string yeah, while he right walks past this one, and this, oh, this one as well, though. As he walks past that one. Okay, well, you, put, you, you suggested this this to first. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. so, so you can do that one, and then on the way back, yeah. on the way back, do that one. So what are you guys doing at the moment? Like, you're, you're stacking too many things up, Greg. Like, what are you want? So... Uh, I mean... I, well, we need to kill the one that's going to come back from Banish, yeah. and then yeah, we need yeah. to keep an eye on... We need yeah. to keep an eye on this guy when the Dominate ends. Mm -hmm. What? what uh, when um, does the Dominate oh. ends? Huh? It's a minute. Okay. So. I'll, I'll quickly uh, elaborate to everyone um, that if anyone catches us, we can pretend that these two were in league with the dragon or something like that and they were trying to uh sabotage and release slaves so uh or like they i don't know like they were they were doing something fishy, so we decided to can you get the, oh, the draw come back here get to come back here yeah i want him to just cut the strings and then come back straight back yeah he's still working on it it's still working oh fuck this is so slow <laughs> Okay. Well, will they be like, back in time? But, the, but this is drawstrings are not just string, they're like heavy, yeah, like, like rope. Like, well, he's attacking it with a weapon, no? Like, yeah, cut. but it yeah, still, still... still takes a while for it to like cut through. Oh, fuck, right. Okay, in that case, Vi is going to... Are these trees? Yeah. Or bushes? Trees. Right. I am going to take cover behind one of them and try and oh. hide. Um... Can I just move myself? Are we? Yeah. Um. Okay. Quick question. 
are we just ganging up on the guy that's reappearing? I think we have to. I don't think we have another, any other choice. Okay. Um, oh. I'm going to try and get behind here, around here, so that okay. I'm not over to this side. Okay. So you know he was uh, here, I think? Yeah. Yep. So he'll probably reappear in that space. Yeah. So, yep. okay. Um, I don't know if it's unoccupied. We need to hold... If I hold an action, I'm gonna lose concentration on... on um, concentration. But if it's a, if I hold a spell, I'm gonna. If you hold a spell, yes, you hold uh, just an attack mode. Okay, so I'm gonna hold my uh, sword. Okay, sword attack. Yeah. Okay, do you want to get a bit close to him so you be immediately? Um, I wouldn't be able to do both the spear and the sword attack. No, just one. Okay, so then yes, I'll get behind him here. Okay, I know. Yeah, I will follow suit. Um, okay. Do you want to move closer? Close. Yeah, okay. So what attack are you holding? Um, I'll... You know what? I'll do the grapple again. I'll wait and then I'll hold for grapple. Okay. Um, Hans, what action are you holding? So, well, okay, so he was up there, but like, if I, if I see it like running out of time, then I want him to jump back down and stand in the same place as the one banished was. Oh. Okay. Okay. I want him to stand in the same place as the banished target. Okay. Um, and then just wait there, and then I'll hold my Eldritch Blast for um, the Elite Warrior. Okay. And uh, what were you, Vi? I'm still maintaining concentration. Oh, wait. That doesn't do hold. That has nothing to do with an action. Um, I will Eldritch hold... Blast is a spell. Hmm? It's a cantrip. <laughs> it's a cantrip. Uh... I I will, I will hold. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna chance it. I know that it hasn't been all reliable, but I'll just be like, to whoever protected me from the vengeful spirits before, I'm gonna need you for this one, please. Um, okay. since we've had like ten rounds, I want to before the guy reappears and before I hold my action, I want to cast silence on myself. Okay. So oh. nobody can hear what's happening. Okay, silence is 20 <laughs> feet cube. 20 feet sphere. 20 feet sphere. Even better. So if... Yeah. No, we should be within that. I... No. No. No, no I, we're not. But right. also you can't cast spell within the 20 feet sphere. Oh, right. Sphere, so you might want to be just outside it. Yeah, yeah. We'll just but it also means yeah. that you're not getting the... Well, there's... Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Anymore. Yeah. So they'll be silenced, but we won't. So we can still launch spells. Yeah. So Wait, actually. That's big brain. I want to be over here then. I have no idea where you move. Oh, you're over, over there. there. Can I like see from here? I should, right? Yeah, got line of sight. <laughs> nah, you should have line of sight. There's no way you don't from there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but it's also like behind me and I now. Oh, true. I mean, that's never been a problem in the past, has it? I don't think so. We've never had that as an issue in the past. I hope, <laughs> Wait, hope not. You want to stay there, Hans? Unless you're not on it. Uh, yes, because there's nothing no wrong, be. it's the furthest away <laughs> from everything. Well, I guess it's just over the hill. Uh, maybe I'll be up here. That's nice. Okay. I'll do so, there. Okay. Okay, you got your silence up? Yep, and I'm holding my action. Okay. To cool. shank the guy. Okay. <laughs> so, as the guy reappears, the Kyle, make your attack roll. With advantage? No. It's not a surprise? No, he's not surprised. Even after a minute? Yeah, like he's. Right. Yeah, he's not surprised. Um, uh, is he not occupying the same space as the guy? Uh, okay, turned. Both I missed. Fuck. Fuck. Um. Have we killed him yet? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, 13, 14. Are you making a fire check? Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, am I 20. still. 30, 20. 30, 20. That's. 
Oof. Um, I'm gonna use. Oh no, it's, it, this is a reaction. This is a reaction. So I can't use my reaction. No, you can't. I'm not raging, so am I? You're not raging, no. I would have slapped her all the time. <laughs> like, I, 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 I mean, I know that's how it would go, so I would have. Okay, kept. so if, if, you, if you're doing that, I know you take 10 points of damage. Sorry. That's fine. Oh, okay, that's 25. Okay, so Lee Kyle, that was a 20 to hit. Yeah. If would hit, he's going to use his reaction to parry as soon as he comes out. Bitch. And I, your <laughs> athletic checks was? 25. Close, 21, so he is grappled. Nice. As, nice. as he reappears. <laughs> just no sound emanates from the sphere. Oh, I love old school cinema. <laughs> so is he not? Uh, so that other dry thing yet? I said like uh, by the end of that minute, he should be in the same spot when the banish ends. Yeah, once we get back to his initial order now. As tank, as technically like the minute's not up yet, it's just the way he comes. So like he still got. His oh time. yeah, because I cast banishment first. Yes. Yeah. But you guys still oh, have your okay. held actions, so with that, so um, yeah, so you guys are holding out your blasts. Mm. So hmm? make, make your attack rolls. Does, uh, does grapple do advantage or nope. no? No, it just makes them so they can't move. Okay, does a thirteen hit? Thirteen misses. Does a twenty-four hit? Miss no, it hits. <laughs> you <son. laughs> he parries. <laughs> Seventeen. Oh. Yeah, that's not very good. Seven plus eight. Fifteen force damage. Fifteen force damage. Ten. Uh, does a twenty-seven hit? Twenty-seven does hit. Does oh, that's a natural twenty <laughs> on the second beam. Ah, that's a four. So eleven to no fourteen to hit. Wait, forty more to damage. No. no, 14 to hit. Oh, 14 misses. Oh, damn. Okay. So, well, first two, well, my two hit, and the second one's a natural 20. Okay. So. so damage, I can't remember what dice I have to roll. D10. It's been so long since this worked. <laughs> <laughs> All like two sessions. <laughs> okay, that's a three. Second beam does. Oh my god, second beam did a 10. Let's go. So nice. 10, double, 20, 23, plus another 10, 33 points of force oh, damage. Oh, nice. Fuck. Oh. 33, damn. Sorry. Okay, now, I want both Warlocks make stealth checks, please. No, Pass Wild Trace is no longer up. Yeah. Oh, no. Ah, yikes. <laughs> Oh, right there with you, brother. Right there with you. Oh, God. Okay, so, hold on. Before you say anything, I just want to double check something with Eldritch Blast. Bet you breakfast mine's lore? Bet you breakfast mine's lore? It is verbal, probably. <laughs> it's force, not thunder. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's someone checking. Okay. Okay. Alright, stealth check. So, hands. Three. Three. Oh, fuck you in. What'd you get, Vi? Six. Six. <laughs> As the the media casting and the sound of your blast go through, penetrate the silence and just damage the drow. But there is a little bit of stir around and voices calling out. You guys might be safe for this round. The rest of this round, but the next round you might be in trouble. Nice. So, finishing up that, so since it would be at the end of Vi's turn that the uh, knight came back, we'll go to Ina. Okay, um, would it be another athletics check to uh, restrain him? You cannot restrain him. I cannot, you okay. No, you, need to, the, you need the grappler's feet or something to do that. Okay, that's fair. Um, can I attempt to knock him prone? You can, uh... As an attack? Yeah. I want to be just, like, while I'm holding him, I want to just use my strength to swing him down to the ground and knock him again. Yeah, um, 
You can do that. Ryan not do that like last session or a couple of seconds ago. Yeah. So which one? Make the, so he wanted to shove someone down. I know. Make an athletics check, please. Sweet. Ah. Ooh. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, Mister. Ten. He is knocked prone. As I, you, as you grab him, you put a leg in behind, shove him to the ground. So a shove replaces one of your attacks. So you do actually have another attack. To okay. Take, if you want to. Uh, yeah. I'll I'll uh take my um bedrock slammer and I will reckless his ass. Well, you're gonna get advantage on him anyway because he's prone. Oh, that's right. That's right. I don't need to reckless. Wow. I need to. Remember what I'm doing. Um, that is a twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one. Uh, twenty-one we hit. Yeah, it's not turned back yet. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to expend friggin' five. Why not? I'll I'll expend five shards for this. Three. Fuck. Four. Five. Plus a D eight. Alright, uh, 5, 10, 15, 16, uh, plus 8, 24 points of damage. As you, as you trip him up, pushing him to the ground, as you draw back and pull down your weapon, the drow lunges up to meet your weapon as... Silence as. Oh, thank fuck. Good hit. Thank you. Nice. Nice. I just checked. Prone gives advantage to melee, but it gives disadvantage to all range people trying to hit it. <laughs> but the elite warrior is ha- dead. But he's dead. dead. So don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Uh, I see we leave. I. I would agree. Let's just bounce. Yeah. Let's leave. Let's just bounce. <laughs> So, yeah. Hi, right, is that your turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, next up would be would would be Millie dead now. Yeah. Um, Hans, you go just be- you're going just before the drow you have dominated. Oh, well, I mean, I've told him to jump down. Um, <laughs> oh shit! Do we have to kill him? <laughs> uh well, they're, they so they heard where. I cast like Eldritch Blast, right? Yeah. Uh, I will move mm-hmm. to here. I'm guessing this is a shady spot. Yeah. And I will use my action to run with the shadows and go invisible. Oh, wait. Yes. so is that, is that an action to do that? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so you turn invisible. Right, five. 10, 15, yeah, I can't move there. Yeah, I turn invisible. Okay. Fucking invisible. For fun, give me a stealth check with advantage. Oh my gosh, please. <laughs> I beg. <laughs> oh, oh, no. It's better, but it's not. Nine. <laughs> nine. It's a nine. Yeah, nine. nine. Okay, that's okay. So, no, hands, you it's run not, up, don't... hug the tree, and turn invisible. <laughs> Don't be around the bush. It's terrible. Don't patch your eyes. <laughs> Alright, next up would be uh, Mr. Charm Drow. 5, 10, 15, 20. He just goes and falls off. Please roll 2d6. Uh, Hands. Hands. It'd be funny if this kills 9. Okay, the Drow. <laughs> The drow takes nine points of damage, fails the acrobatics check, <laughs> and yeah, essentially, well, actually, it doesn't. It's a. That was amazing. It was so good. The drow, the drow yeah. is thrown on the ground, is screaming in agony, Nobody. but completely silent. <laughs> oh, I'm so so good. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and after that, we'd be the card's turn. Oh, sweet. I'll go pa- beside this guy. I'm um, actually in some space where I have to come to. But next. 
Um, well, he's prone on the ground, so I'll just... Oh fuck, that's a spell I can cast spell because I'm silenced! Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> you got a bunch of guitar. I know, I know, I know. I know, I'm aware. I'm aware, I'm aware. You just want to make more of No, well, I just want to make sure... Oh fuck, it's terrible. Oh, shame. Yeah, I'll just... Shame. Shark. Shame. Spear and thing. Oh, sword and thingy. Well, make, make, make an attack roll. Okay. Um... Alright. Advantage, right? Yes. That's a natural one, so I'm not using you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yee, yee, yee. Uh, uh, come on, I can't fail. Okay, uh, 20 again. 20 again, okay. How do you want to do this? Shh. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's like a knife. <laughs> yeah. That is surprisingly brutal with the lack of noise, like just, just dead silence. They can just draw yeah. is dead. Um, I am actually going to leave one golden scale on him. Cool. Just like not like on top of it, just like tucked yeah. somewhere okay. so that it's not like it's visible if someone comes to see it. Okay. But it's not like he was trying to show it off. Okay. I want to court like frame him physically. Okay. Okay, cool. Um okay. So is that you tell me, Kata? Yeah. Okay, cool. Next so next up, so the other drow have been alerted. Well, as to what they do, well we'll see. So mm. see one more five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. 60. Now, Vi, you were necessarily stealthing, you were just taking cover. As the big one runs up, says in the comment, What's going on here? Mm. So, for this moment, we're out of combat. As, but he does see the two dead drow on the ground. Does he see me? <laughs> yes, he's asking you. You're not, you're oh right. shit, you're okay. You've, you've not stealthed, you've just taken cover. Yeah, I was just thinking. Okay. You, see, you probably would have seen me trying to put yeah. like the golden thing on the guy. So maybe, you know, frame yeah. him or something? And, uh, wait, wait, and wait, I did no, tell no, you. No, stop. This is Vi. Okay. No matter, gamer. <sighs> okay. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll look towards the guard and I'll look kind of panicked. And then I'll just be like, Someone's here. I have no idea who, but they're taking us out one by one. As if we were butter. I, I don't have the strength to stop them. That's weird. Okay. Don't let them see you! And I'll just come over, I'll just run towards them and just pull them over to the tree. Okay, give me deception check. Fuck! <laughs> Okay, okay. 18? 18. I'm going to have him roll an inside check. Oh, what's that? Oh no. That really good, not, really bad. Not like this. I beg. So the drow, we've actually used the remaining of his moon to move a bit closer just to get there. The drow. Should I love thee? Should I sound out the alarm? Uh, wait. I want to. I want to get an estimate of their strength. If they can wipe us all out in one fell swoop, then there's we're just bringing lambs to the slaughter at this point. Okay. So. Okay. So as that's going on, so we're well back in initiative. <laughs> so, you guys, oh, man. so Vi and Hans, since you guys are in the area of silence, you guys hear this heavy footsteps approach around one of the buildings oh, no. as partially jogging up 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 75, 80. This 
Minotaur Slave Warrior. Just looking over and just seeing the two dead drow at the feet of two, two, drow. two drow. Just. Did you say Slave Warrior? Be, they it does have to be appear to have like some sort of like man called like collar around them and have chains like as part of like this strange armor set. And you guys have seen like Minotaur slaves going around here. This appears this appears to be a slave warrior for the for the Dominion. Nice. Oh, I was about to say it's a slave warrior. Surely <laughs> they're on our side, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> do uh, I know what languages Minotaur speaks? If we've been, you, if we've been, uh, you do not. If we've seen it before, okay. Now, so okay, this is getting a little strange now. So, this is getting essentially, rich. the soldiers nearby are going to be converging here. Mm -hmm. What are you guys wanting to do? Um, I will drop the silence for now. Okay. Um, and I will just make a scene of like looking through the guy's pocket. Okay. And uh, finding the gold. <laughs> the gold is <laughs> And I'll call out the uh, Captain, look what I found. In yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, your choice that you can deception or performance. <laughs> Perform? <laughs> Um, Probably deception. Deception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, when I'm, I when I'm like while I'm patting the guy down, I also like uh, guide myself as well, um, just for good measure. Okay. Oh yeah, no. Uh, you, you can attempt to do that with a slight hand of self check. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> what if? What if? Because silence is concentration, so it's guidance. Yes. Well, as I put away the thing. I kind of like dust off myself and that's when I do it. And the silence should give me cover. No. Is Kai in purple? Oh fuck. That's a thing though. I think it is. Yeah. Never mind. It's fine. You know what? I'll just do it. I'll just roll. Fuck this shit. Okay. <laughs> roll you. Um. So, deception. Uh. I'll allow you to roll guidance, but if you want to be like... No, 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 it's it. fine. I'm cool. Uh, okay. Deception. 14. 14. Vivi Warrior calls up. What is that? As they kind of... Only, as... Just only we kind of make up the detail of it. As... Captain, I found one of the scales from the dragon. On this man. Bye. Oh. I'll whisper over to the one next to me. He's like, "Okay, they seem rel. It seems relatively safe now. Our people are there. Stay here. If anything happens to me, go and get help. But if anything happens to me, until then, I want you to stay here." Okay. Well, so just let so you know. So the other drow have kind of over there. Mo moved up. Yes. Can I, with, when this, when the Minotaur up here is within 30 feet, I don't want to break invisibility, but I would like to try and awaken mind and just say, do you wish to be free? Okay, well, get, get on the side. We'll get to yep, that in a second. Yep, yep. So, um, so what, okay. So I'm, I'm basically okay. just trying to, I'm yeah. trying to get the guard to hold this ground and okay. only react when if something happens to me. Okay. But I've convinced, I'm gonna try and convince them that Leah, Kara, and Aina, you know, they're people on our side. They're on the yeah. scene, they're investigating it. Okay. I don't wanna put okay. him, I don't wanna put this soldier in the line of sight. Okay, give me another deception check. Bollocks, okay. Come on, you can do I'll it. say with advantage because of the Akada, like. Oh, thank you, thank you. Based, actually based. Okay, okay, okay. That is a solid 16. Solid 16, okay. The drow just draw the weapon and kind of, as you move away, they take the position you were. Right? Sweet. Mm. You move in, silence is... It's gone. It's Sorry, gone. Yeah, 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 no, it's okay, it's okay. It. So you go back up to the account I know why. 
Yep. I was like, well, what have you found? And then I'm going to use the earring to cast message. <laughs> Immediately after, I say, what have you found? And just say, there's a go is it That sword's an sold elite soldier, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There's an elite soldier in the tree. He's just hiding behind. He's not going to do anything until something happens to me. Well, I mean, okay, yeah. Um... Just so that everyone, because then everyone who's wearing an earring would know, right? Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, like kind of show him the the the, the got this skill and be like, isn't this one of the skills that the dragon has been plaguing us for this whole time? Ina silently, no way, she doesn't fucking know what. No, yeah, because <laughs> I, I, I was saying, never mind. I was saying, you could you could just pretend like you know what's going on, just and just do like. A... <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna. Just, however, so, so, as as that's gonna happen. The mine, this troop does draw closer, and you say to the, the Minotaur hands... Uh, do you wish to be free? Okay. In, in Awakened Mind. Yep. Give me a persuasion check, please. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use this dice. Oh, okay, six, uh... 23. Oh, nice. Free? Yeah! <laughs> huh. That was easy. <laughs> Adopting? <laughs> can, I, can I look me at. Str me strong, but me no free. Aww. Oh, my God. First dash gun, now this dude. <laughs> oh, my God. We're free We're keeping him. <laughs> keeping him. Okay. And I'll just, I'll just let him know in 30 minutes to an hour, look to the skies, you'll know when it happens. Be stay, stay normal for now, um, and fight for your freedom when it, the time comes. The monitor who's wielding a great axe that's larger than you, yep. hands yep, kind yep, of yep. looks up to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He a bit confused, but he got the spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. And then uh, and then tell your friend as well over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Actually, scratch that. Don't. I don't. I didn't say that. Okay. All right. Because <laughs> well, um, yeah, I'll probably just say it out loud. <laughs> so as as you and the Kyle are like kind of sh showing off the sk skill, have told uh, the Kyle as to what's happening with the Lee God. What are you doing, right? Um, shit. Did I see the Minotaur and the two soldiers coming in from the thingy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you, like you're aware there's more Dominion soldiers around you now. Okay, I'll I'll relay that to everyone. I, I was everyone's, like, yeah, everyone's aware of that. But yeah. Captain, yeah, maybe I'm we just... should conduct a search to make sure that nobody else is with this dragon. Yeah. Maybe okay. the other could should go back to their posts while we do that as to not to alert other comeback double mm. side third yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'd, be, I'd be a lot more menacing like saying that I'd be like okay. you know yeah what do you say in response to that or how do you react well, uh, I just I I don't know if they'll willingly go back to their normal post if they know they're under attack. Maybe we get them far out. They can, they can already said said this to you in Elvish, like aloud, yeah. so they could hear. Oh right, yeah. okay. I'd be like, okay. Captain, please let me prove myself. I'll find whoever else. Yeah. Is. So what well, let, let's not alert the other intruders. What are you saying in response, Vi? Right? <clears throat> I'll say. Okay, okay. I'll say. <laughs> I'll say. I will say. I will. <laughs> the words that are about to come out of my mouth are, as and those are. words are the words that have been formulated in my head which are <laughs> and in my head I have produced oh. these words you if you ever help you you don't need to make a grand elaborate speech you could just go over you could just bullet point it Okay, right, yeah, okay, let's just do that. Um, okay. 
There's I'll say, good ways, idea. There's multiple ways of roleplaying a character, depending on the <laughs> moment and how you want to do it. I'll say, good idea. Um... Oh, fuck. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll go along with it. I'll just say, good idea, and tell everyone to return to their posts. And okay. keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Okay. As you call out, Vi, you hear your whisper almost loop over itself, and a whisper crawl through. Do you really want to do that, Vi? It would be so much easier to kill them all. Kill them all and kill their families below. <sighs> What? Give me what? Save the roll, please. Charisma save. Oh my god. Why no? <laughs> you, got, you got your robes. I've got my robe. I've got my robe. Fuck. Oh. Uh oh. How, how in trouble are we? It's a twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Not good enough. If it's if it's like my sword, then we might be off shit creek. <laughs> okay. You feel the urge and the compulsion by and you feel yourself almost kinda of like you know in Get Out where you feel yourself sinking. Oh god. Oh. And you feel that pull drag you down as you lose your Sense of your personality. There's bloodshed, there's so many drow here, so much blood you can offer. No! No! I'm gonna endanger everyone. You said no. Pass. <gasps> oh my <laughs> god! Oh. Okay. However, I would like you to give me either persuasion or intimidation check as you order the mech. Draw back their positions. Okay, persuasion. Hard persuasion, please, 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 and thank you. Much love. love if everyone could get back to work, that'd be great. Uh... <laughs> that is a dicey 15. Okay. That is very dicey. It is very. I rolled okay. a 5. These go back to their posts. <sighs> However, the Minotaur is still, <laughs> still looking up at the sky. sky. <laughs> These two do move closer, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they move closer. <laughs> Captain, if there is an intrusion, we need to find the scum quickly. Let us assist. Of course. As the reward kind of kneels down beside the other dead of the reward, that's a thing infiltrate. As the thing kind of pushes into the, the face. Oh, they're not disguised. Are oh, we renegades? Potentially. Be done, Captain, we will follow you. You! He points over to the mantle. Here now! The Mind Talker. Cooker! Mind Talker stomps over. What do you guys do now? I'm scared to come out of invisibility. I'll <laughs> 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 um, say, Captain, I think we should spread out the, the cover more tracks. Good idea. Um, I'll. I know to Aina and I start moving uh, like northward. Okay. Um, yeah. I, just, just to. I, I am regular soldier. Like the the, the elite soldier is above me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is Aina the same? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. So, yeah, where should we go, Captain? Um, <laughs> I'll say. Oh, fuck the the elite said he'd follow me. That's the problem. What's what's this other trode stain doing? The other non-elite soldier. The other soldier is just kind of as kind of approaches while well, just kind of confused at the situation, like kind of following right, the leader okay. of the elite, so, the, of the elite warrior. All right, he's a spineless pussy. That's fine. Um, okay, I'll that soldier. I'll say you head towards the south end of the compound. See if you find anything. To you too, and I'll okay. so I'll say that to the the wussy soldier, okay. the one below. Yeah. Um, to Aina and to Liakad, I'll say you too. You guys take the north and the west sides. Yes, Captain. And I just kind of like you know kick out a little bit like and start. No. Yeah. <laughs> start. Yeah. Not knowing what's going on, Aina will just not. You can't either make the way off now. So just yeah. the soldier slowly moves away as well. Okay. And you, you're with me, I say to the elite soldier. We'll take the east side. Or no, we'll take the south side as well. I've had information that we've had some disturbances there. Could be a distraction. Or it could be the real deal. Okay, so you, okay. The Manitour. What about me, sir? You guard the bodies. Make sure they don't take anything with them if they come back for them. Oh, bodies. <laughs> the I don't know where to send a fucking Manitour. Manitour grabs one of the bodies, puts it on top, and then sits on the bodies like it's like a makeshift beanbag. Oh my god. Okay, so we can I am moving off. Yeah, I still, I would just, I, I mean, I look, I at some point, I just want to kind of like stop in our tracks a little bit or just like kind of get more discreet and just check where they're going, how far by is going as well, just keeping an eye on them and not actually like, you know, moving northward okay. fully. Okay. Um, so, okay. Vi, you moving away with the Elite Warrior? Yeah, I'm gonna move in like this direction, okay. like this way. Okay. As I start a step away. You start steps as well. Hans, what Can are you I... doing? Wow, so I'm still invisible under this tree. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. the since the elite war, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. The, the, the is kind of nearby, but he's the one that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just like, so, so he's sitting on the squishy body. It's just like, um, the elite, the, the strong. The strong one has gone away. It's only squishy drow left in the area. You could, you could get your freedom now. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay, give me oh, no yes. check. <laughs> I'm still invisible. <laughs> he just thinks I'm like a. <laughs> his voice is in his head. That is a. Uh... <laughs> That is a 27. 27. No. But me scared. Me want freedom, but me don't want to die. Oh, this breaks my heart, man. <laughs> I, I need him to, I need to use him. I already freed an orc. I've done my good deed for the orb. The <laughs> orbs will like it. <laughs> it's just like, well, instead of the drow, what you could do uh as you see that big pointy bow thing up there uh, uh, up up behind you ah oh, bow back <laughs> bow back yes how about you play with it a little bit and uh <laughs> break the string on that You got 27 previously. But Captain! You can still see the bodies from up there. The, the, the bodies will kind of look through, pats his own head. 
grabs both of the bodies and drags them with him as he makes his way. Oh my god! The <laughs> oh no. As he moves around this door this direction. Slightly confusing the soldier as he <laughs> As that's happening, you're moving and by you moving away. Mm. You get a message come through your earring. Uh, do you need some assistance? Uh, I think I'll be your. Oh, I can't reply because it's like a walkie talkie, so I'll have to say it loud and you might hear me. S Click your tongue twice for yes, three times for no. I've got a clear shot right now, but you need to let me know soon. That was a yes. Yep. You want to take a shot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> do you want it to do it? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's... <laughs> Let's go, come on! Oh, I don't know if I can think my way out of this one. He so, clocked twice for yeah, so yeah. he's going to take a shot. Let's do it! Okay. Vi, please roll 66 and 1d8. One D eight. Oh, that wasn't. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Uh, so... Twenty-eight altogether. Okay, twenty-eight doubled is fifty-six. Fifty-six plus eight. Sixty-four. Sixty-four plus ten. Seventy-four. Seventy-four. <laughs> Uh, 74. That will do it. Grab the body. <laughs> oh! What do you do, Vi? I can't try and catch the body. You catch the body. I'm weak. You gotta hide it underneath a tree to drag inside that building you came from. Oh, I'm. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll try and. Where's the house? Well, they, it's so far away. There's also away. the barrels right beside you. That's twilight. Oh actually. yeah, actually yeah. I'll try and I'll try and stuff it inside a barrel. Okay. Um, Assassin's Creed style. Okay. Give me <laughs> a very general stealth check, please, as you are half weakened and burning, burning half dragon's body. Oh my god, that's a yadalte twenty. You, you kind of start to step the body over, open up the barrel. Oh, thank God, it's empty. Chuck it in. The barrel <laughs> does actually nearly top over you. Crap. <laughs> Chuck it in. <laughs> okay. Well, he's been, been disposed of. <laughs> uh, Good job, Vi. Sorry about that. Nice <laughs> no shot. <sighs> Hans, you okay. saw all of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just blinking. It's like, wait. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh, I will wait. Is, is Vi within reach? Actually, he is, right? Yeah, so Vi would be. Um, He's slightly there. Vi would range. be here and the child's in the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Vi is in range. So I've, I may have sent the Minotaur to do our ballista um, deeds for us. I can I can think you back right yeah 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 you can just think yeah excellent can. whatever ballistas we can get I think uh, we're I think we're kind of pushing our luck here a little bit there's another minotaur over there uh and then four guards up next to the other ballista to our left I think maybe if I get close enough I could convince the other minotaur as well and maybe we just kill these guys. I will say, Hans, well, you do know that they can I know, have moved away, but they're kind of hanging not too far away from me. Well, I know the Minotaur is, like, yeah, walking around, like, so they're they're going to be going off. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, I mean, Minotaur yeah, I know, I know. they're in the complete opposite direction, but... You guys are... So, we're now, so we're out of combat now, so... I need to recast my disguise, and I'll actually use uh, my... two of my... good against class ones. Okay. Oh, yeah, you yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you recast your disguise. 
Hep's question. Mm-hmm. Half of our trace is no longer still Yeah, off. so actually, uh, the, the yeah. other thing is like, Rikas made this guy, cast Pathfinder, yeah. just joined back once cool. I see that things are kind of... So are you... Low. Oh, so you, you and I want to come back to... Eventually, like, I'd be like, why are you guys not coming? Can, can we go? What do we do? Like, you know, okay. yeah. Okay. So wait, what was your question, Hans? Uh, hypnotic pattern. Uh, does it... If if the spell fails, do they know that it failed? Yeah. Because it's just like a blip in the sky, right? Hypnotic pattern. Yeah, you create a twisting pattern of colors that weaves oh, through the air. And oh, it's not verbal. Ooh. It's not. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, if they see you cast it. Ever. It's 120 feet. <laughs> you do get oh, a message free really from the Akad on your earrings. What's it, sir? You get a message free from the Akad on your earrings. What? That? What oh, what, yeah, the, where what are you, you guys? Oh, yeah. oh. I mean, I, I think I can roughly see you, but it's just like, what are you waiting for? What are we doing? Like, I'm still under the tree and I still want to destroy these ballistas. There's three of them. No, four of them. Yeah, but they're also like Superman, they're like, we've already kind of alerted a few too many well, people around here. Well, the Minotaur is on our side, we don't need to worry about one of them. For now. Well, they're slaves too, and I don't think the rest of these soldiers around this area are too strong, shall I say. Um, how long do we have until the... Guys, so-called uh, breakout. Yeah, the breakout. Um, been another ten minutes, so twenty, like twenty minutes to fifty. Oh yeah, because we said half an hour to an hour. Yeah. My God, I wanna. I just wanna. I wanna stealth kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I wanna. Uh, I wanna go to this ballista somehow. But this guy's here. Is this guy just standing there? Is he walking away? No, he's standing there. That was his post. Piece of shit. Yeah, we're too... Is he not the one I told to go south? Oh, yeah. Or is this a different one? Yeah, sorry. So... Yeah, he would be off so... the then. Alright, cool. Which two... Right, hold on. I'll make my way back. Like, I'll reply to Leokana's message. And it's just like, Twyla helped me knock out the elite guard. Well, I say knock out. Kill the elite guard. Um... <laughs> <laughs> knock is just a nice way of putting it, okay? Makes me feel less guilty. Uh... Where are you guys right now? How long do we have left before, like, before we have to, before we start busting everyone out? So we we're have... cutting it pretty close, guys. Like, yeah, we. Have I don't know like... how much longer we can keep this up for without either yeah, we... everyone here or alerting everyone here. Yeah, we got twenty to fifty minutes. We also need to like back track and actually go at the gate. And make sure that the people I won't get killed right there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. The people, the this area seems to be a bit too alert for my liking. I think I can convince the Minotaurs to wait and be on our side. How much risk mm. does that involve? Us, like, well, we they're caught, slaves as well, and they want yeah. to be free. Well, we can but... tell the Minotaurs when the rockers starts in about, you know, less in less than an hour, to kill off their captors and free themselves. And tell them to run to the western wall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, about that. Um... And is that one just like banging on that, <laughs> that ballista? <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, one thing. So, just to have you guys refocus. Are you guys wanting to stay in this area that is slightly alerted? Or do you guys want to move off to a different area and try to deal with like ballistas in a less alerted area? I mean, there's four ballistas here. But there's like 50 altogether. Yeah. So. I feel like it's pretty easy to deal with these, no? 
Like, there's one literally free here. Just, you guys decide. I can hit Minotaur in that one. The Minotaur is fucking that one. Okay, we can leave that one, because that one's behind we, the other. If we split up, we can take care of this place very quickly and then leave. Yeah. Oh, okay, I like that plan. And not to mention, um, we did kind of, like, make a fuss about people being, like, trying to sabotage things here. We can just cut the wires or, like, be messy yeah. with these four. Doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 I agree. So I wanna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm assuming nothing. I, well, I, I just look like I got a normal dryer soldier now, right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk over here and start tinkering with this one. Wait, 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 wait. What about the four You're getting ahead of yourself. Wait, 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 wait. You're getting ahead of yourself, dude. Where's the uh, other? Where's the fourth ballista? Oh, it's over there. Yeah, yeah. one here. So... One here. Look, one th here. You know what? Three out of four is good enough. Oh, for one me. here. Yeah, let's just do these three and then move on. We've already drawn too much attention. Because the one on the left with four soldiers. As much, I think, I know we can take them, but at the same time, that just increases our risk of getting caught. Yeah. And if we can't open a gate for all these slaves to leave, then what's the point? Yeah. Okay, I'll, in that case, I'll help Hans with getting the other two ballista while the Minotaur fucks up the third one. Is the Minotaur fucking up the third one? Mm -hmm. um, the yeah, it should be finishing the Minotaur part. is in his mind playing with the Ballista. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Such so, a simple okay, mind. Okay, okay, if you guys take the building down here, yep. at south, I and I can go over to this side and get rid of these two guards and put okay. yeah. down the Ballista. Do you... Mm. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think? I'm thinking maybe we swap. So then you two take this one south, and then because Hans can communicate with the Minotaur telepathically, right? Yeah, and then Vi can just talk to the other two. Yeah. It's right. Un unless you guys can kind of convince the Minotaur without the other two soldiers suspecting you. Oh, I was just but... gonna kill the soldier. <laughs> that also works. <laughs> that does work yeah. actually. Um, we could just go in there and take care of them. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, okay. But I mean, if you want, I'm going. It was just so that we avoid, like, you know, having to talk to more people. I mean, I think talking to people is fine. Talk, like, talking is it's... all I'm good at. <laughs> I can't talk to any of them. <laughs> okay. Only hurt. Okay. Decision, yeah, so yeah, yeah. How about all right, you know what? Let's just do it together. We'll hit all, all four of us will hit the one south and then we'll all go together. We'll try and talk. If talking doesn't work, we try we show them how our weapons talk. Wait, okay, okay, all right, okay, sure. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait up okay, there cool. so that we can join rejoin with them. Yeah. Use pass our trace, it's it would be up so that we all got the advantage when we go to the body stuff. Okay, yeah. Because remember there's still one guard south who thinks some shit's going down yeah. that I sent away. Okay. One well, thing we want is drawing more attention so, than we have to. As you guys regroup. Yeah, we go up to this ballista. Yeah, stealth checks. Plus 10. Is there not one with you? There was, was there not one? Yeah, Twyla uh, yeah, assassinated we... him. <laughs> okay. Oh, the one with you guys as well? Oh, right, okay. There, yeah, I, there was two. That, so I sent Leocada and uh, Ina checks, up stealth north. Stealth checks, please. I sent one of the guards south and I, the elite soldier came with me. Do wow. I have advantage on this? Yes. Yeah, so, I don't know, let me count. Yeah, 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 I know. 16. 16, okay. Hans? Uh, 30. Huh? <laughs> 5. 18. 35. Oh my lord, oh, so, lord. So, you guys make way up to this ballista. Hans, make an advantage investigation check, please. Uh, <laughs> another not 20, so that's 26. No, 26. <laughs> This one, you can have a little bit of fun with. You can either destroy the platform like the previous one on the rooftop, or you can try to fuck with the rotation mechanism, which could in turn fuck up the uh, foundation it has on the roof. Uh, the second, the one that makes less noise. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so with that, give me... Hmm... Slight of hand. That's advantage if someone's helping me? Yeah. Yeah. 
That is uh, 24. 24. Okay. So this one, this one has, this one has screws within the rotation mechanism. There's quite a lot of them. Oh. But you and Vi work <laughs> in tandem. Not the most dexterous. I mean, you guys are fairly dexterous. Take out yeah. the screws and if you want to, your hands add 16 more screws. <laughs> 60, uh, 16! 16! <laughs> I only got 4 from the last one! That's because that, those are from the pulleys. Oh my 16 god, 16, 16 plus 4, 16. 20 screws. These 16 screws, these 16, 1, 6, are from okay. the actual rotation mechanism, the wow. brackets and all that. Okay. And, and even with your strength hands, just a little, with just a little effort, you can actually lift the blister up and compromise, and so when it gets rotated round and angled, yeah, it might actually just fall off of its uh, foundation. Cool. Vi, what's your game with the other two? Uh... I, I will say as well, on the other rooftop, as they're messing about with this, they can, uh, do you actually spot the Minotaur <laughs> waving around what appears to be an oversized longbow? Having broken <laughs> off the piece of the ballista. <laughs> so that is two ballistas you've compromised. One fact to the Minotaur. Great. So shall we go over here? Which one? And, yeah. Uh, the one to nearby. the right. Wait, one to where? the right. Oh, yeah. Not there. Right. Yeah. Do you think we can just, if we walk with enough, like, pride and, like, arrogance that if we just walk by and say nothing, they'll just let it? We could do, yeah. Okay. You two want to do that? Yeah. And or I could, or I could awaken mind the monitor as I walk past and be like, ah, great job, like, there, there's another ballista over there you can play with too. Well, you guys... Well, I mean, we're all dressed up as drow, right? So ah, I mean, we, can could past, yeah, we could just walk past. We could just walk past, it's fine. If things go south, then... We can kill it. Yeah, exactly. Fuck it, right. Okay. I stride up with pride and authority. <laughs> so, who's going with Vi? Me. Every, so the whole every, teams. Every, every, the whole together. squad's coming along. Were they not, like, did they not see you give orders for, the, for Leocada and Aina to go a different way, though? Yeah, but I was sort of changed, like, redone my attire, so... Mm -hmm. Slightly different. Oh, okay. So, I am the elite, no, soldier number three. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good job! No credit is it? I know, I know. I'm just right. that good. What can so, I say? Vi, as you approach, and you can see a set of stairs leading up to the actual wall uh, here. Um, what are... You, you see the, the second monitor kind of walk forward and then another drive so it's like, Captain, you're back soon. What's have been happening? We've apprehended them. That was quick, it's been six minutes. <laughs> yes, well, well um, I didn't get this rank of captain from nothing. It was me and the elite sold as me and the elite guard traveled towards the southern boundaries. We caught them heading towards the jam warehouses. Give me a deception check, right? Balls. Okay. <laughs> Why do these soldiers ask so many questions? Is that what I think it is? It's not. Look. <laughs> that is a 22. 22. Yeah. The Minotaur kind of sniffs it around you. Kind of... Settle down. Very well. May we assist you with anything, Captain? Keep an uh, eye on this thing. Me and uh, I'm going to inspect the ballista to make sure that everything's in order. Okay. So with that, you guys move past and they actually take a more forward position. Oh, thanks. So you guys make okay. your way up. Okay. And uh, look down and just see the Minotaur just sitting on the wall with his new makeshift weapon just keeping an eye on the two dead bodies <laughs> <laughs> oh what a good boy oh my God. he's right we're adopting him <laughs> absolutely uh-huh uh -huh. we'll just take him with us for a tour around <gasps> he'll, the he'll, he, we'll take yeah. him back to lightbringer keep and he can live and guard the menagerie we're building <gasps> 
Done. 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 We're, we're giving this Minotaur a better life, all right? <laughs> Don't look us like that hats, all right? <laughs> what are you guys going to do with this ballista? Investigation! Fuck it oh, up. Oh my. Oh no. That's a six. six. <laughs> okay. I oh. shouldn't have yelled. <laughs> this is fun. Okay. As you're investigating, uh, you kind of just put your hand on something and boom, boost the fire lever. That's okay. It's, oh god, it's loaded. <laughs> the <but> this <laughs> bolt fires and penetrates into the wall, skidding, missing the minotaur, but the minotaur's like, Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh, he's done here, it. Here, that, that is so mean. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, I didn't even slay a hat. That was investigation. Yeah, <laughs> and you, you didn't, you, you though raw enough, you didn't notice that there was a bolt loaded into this one. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Christ. I'll start go, going towards him, right? Tell him to come, come towards us. Give me a persuasion check. Oh god. Can I peer over the ledge to see if anyone below noticed it? Uh, you do peer over. Twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everything okay there, Captain? Yes, yes, yes. And I'll look back and just like, IDIOT! <laughs> like loud enough for, for the, the two guys downstairs uh, me, to hear. Give me intimidation check on that idiot. <laughs> <laughs> God, I have to make uh -huh. a check. Do I cry? <laughs> Hold on, what is my intimidation? Alright, it's not bad, but it, it's like my deception. Not bad. That is a 14. 14, okay. You say with decent- Oh wait, no, sorry. That's that's not a 14. <laughs> that is an 18. No, that's a 19, sorry. Where the fuck did that come from? I thought I had plus five, but turns out I'm also proficient in intimidation, so it's a plus 10. All right. Oh, we should have just cared the, the sheet of All horror. right. <laughs> you, say, like... so, you, say yeah. with, you say with enough piss and vitriol that the soldier is like, Taken instead, Minotaurs actually get startled as advised outburst, but with the 21 they can Kind of sniffs the air around you, Ooh, uh, Wait, what's, what's the perception? What's the perception of our Minotaur? Smelling? Oh, oh, wow! Holy shit! This 12 feet metal looks down at you. Horns. Like you. Okay. Hey, do you want the scale? Shh. I'm gonna give it to him. Okay. Talk sit under his nose ring. Nice. <laughs> Does he have any shackles? Um. Not shackles on his limbs, he does have a collar and like chains coming from a collar that signify he is a slave warrior. The fact that he's actually wearing chains as armor. Okay, but it's not. Okay, okay, okay. You've done a good job with the other ballista. <laughs> Points to his head. <laughs> um, as a character, should we? Should we? Take him with us around this place? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, hey. Do you wanna come with us? We'll take you to the big escape later. You captain. If, if you want me to. We're, we're friends with the captain. Captain! Point over to Vine. He's the captain. He's, he's, he's like me. You know, Dark Elf. I've got horns like you. Uh, you want to be free, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to come with us then? Away from the garden? Yeah. To get more of his gears. Can you persuasion check? Okay, um. Can I get myself? I'll allow it. Oh no, I can't because I'm doing plus two thousand things. Yeah. There are there are guards down there as well. Um, 
You can catch a garden while you're free. Huh? Yeah. And you don't and in the demon kingdom, there are more minifers like you. They have these golden robes, the shiniest yeah, the shiniest grey axes. And there will be more space for you there more to do gar- whatever you Kredica want. Vega gardens. You know dark health. You know hurt. No, 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 no hurt, no hurt. You voice? Head? Oh, that's. You see the guy under the ballista? Legs. Legs, yeah, <laughs> that's him. Legs, <laughs> voice, head? Yep. I know, it's pretty freaky. But we have to protect. Legs, no mouth, just legs. Oh, you see the <laughs> But we have to pretend to be dark elves, okay? And you have to... Pretend? Yeah. We pretend strong. Me, obey. Yeah. R- and then we can go away, okay? Yeah, yeah sure! And the mo- my tour stomps over. Yes. And you guys have persuaded the tour in that. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what the go? I love it. Wait, is the minute yeah. gonna fit through my arcane gate? Uh, if he... If he crawls. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Oh, I cannot. I, I'll pull okay. you more for the sake of escape. As long as, as long as the Minotaur lives, that's. We have the president. We <laughs> have <laughs> the president. <laughs> as my hey. legs oh. grab and no, pull, no, 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 no. pull his hands out from under it. Legs oh Play and my Minotaur. The Minotaur no. just grabs the drawstring. Pulls it taut until there's a snap, and then carefully pulls it back. As you see on the left the bracket of where the drawstring is, there's a crack. Nice. And then I'll I'll wake him. I'll just do the voice in the head thing again, and just be like, "Thank you," and hold out a hand for like a high five kind of thing. I don't have my camera on, but... Give me a strength saving from Hans. <laughs> yeah, I know! I, I, I'll take the pain, <laughs> no, I'll take the pain for shoulder. this. <laughs> oh, that's not bad, actually. That's a 15. Fifth? Go. That's exactly what you needed. Yeah, let's go! The big, beefy, large minus one. <laughs> and you take it like, yeah! Okay, oh yeah! God. Let's go. Nice. That's what I do. With that, uh, the third ballista is destroyed here. Do you want to try and make for the fourth one here? Wait. Okay, we move on. Uh, well, the, the other one's got four, so it's up to you guys. I could hypnotic pattern it and incapacitate them. While uh, actually, I'll turn to the minotaur. It's like, what? What's your name? Me. Cav. 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 Nice to meet you, Cav. Three A's. Cav. Jesus Christ. Okay. Cav. <laughs> oh, Cav. Cav. <laughs> Cav. Okay. Um, <laughs> can I cast message on the earring to Twyla? Yeah. I'll just be like, we have um, an ally. Cav the Minotaur. <laughs> don't don't chew him. If you see him. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We'll explain when we get back. Don't kill the Minotaur with us. Actually, don't kill the Minotaurs. They seem I to be friendly. I convince Vig not to... Not, not get a pet Minotaur. Okay, fine. We'll just... <laughs> <laughs> just... How many have you taken out so far? Uh, uh, these three seven? plus... Has it, is it seven signs, right? I think it's seven. We're just doing our seven point right now, so fourteen down so far. Nice. That's not Maybe too bad. Maybe way back to the gate. I have a feeling yeah. shit's about to pop off. Oh, uh, I'll try oh. that. Will there be um, unmanned ones on the way back? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you guys can try to take a different route back to the wagon, so you can hit up some more ballista along the way. Yeah, as long as they're unmanned, we the don't. Yeah, we don't have to yeah. spend too much time. We could just yeah. do that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you also need to find a place where to place the arcane, arcane gate without drawing too much attention. Mm. So, 
Well, I can also go through the arcane gate, right? And then just hold it on the other side. Yeah, but still need to find a place for the arcane gate. Oh, right, yeah. I just want to ask real quick, so it's about half six. Mm -hmm. We could end it here and finish this up next week as you guys have been making your way back. Uh, I don't mind. I, 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 I've got no plans, so... Let's I'm... just get it over and done with. Okay. Yeah, so are you guys, not... so are you guys doing this section? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, as you guys leave this section, you begin making your way back yeah. through. Um, Nate, you good to go on as well? Yeah, just probably not too long, but I can go uh, yeah, another, a while longer. Yeah. No worries, another half an hour or so. so uh, yeah, as yeah, you guys that's fine. leave the space with the monitor at your backs, which actually can help solidify your guises a bit better. Yeah, he's moving away. Um, so, everyone give me a perception check, please. Perception. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, no. I not see shit. I've noticed I've been doing that thing since like rewatching Scrubs. I do like the Todd thing where you just be like, like you click your fingers after <laughs> everything. Like if something goes nice. Like, nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. 16. 16. Aina? Seven. Hans? Nineteen. Nineteen, nice. Bye. Seven. Seven, okay. Hey, I'm not Hans, as you guys move, <laughs> as you guys move away from this section and begin cutting your way back, you pass by, uh, you pass by a guardhouse where there's a decent amount of drow there. And as you begin to move past, you actually see uh, this wagon being loaded outside it. And there's individuals bringing items and putting them to the chest. Both of you spot the very distinct rune work of spell scrolls being loaded into your chest in a wagon. Oh, are there a different. I will say. What was your perception in the hands? 19. 19. You would. You're able to tell the spell scroll they can. Hands, I will say, I'm being generous. I'll get. I'll talk to you, Bone. <clears throat> One of the spell scrolls is a one of the spell scrolls is for the fly spell, Ooh. and you count at least about eight or so scrolls in the chest so far, and as well as that, there appears to be like a section of racked potions and vials and other arcane components within this chest. How many people are guarding it? Uh, there are three soldiers guarding the wagon, and there are just like other soldiers coming out every so often and loading the wagon oh. with goods and putting stuff in the chest. Oh, right, right, right. right. It's, I mean, you know, you've done something like this before, Mikado. Yeah, but it was also. Well, mm, yeah, I have. But we, yes, I have. You guys. Like, it's up to you guys. Like, I mean, it's a risky one. It is a risky one. Um, I don't know. I feel like we're, we're, we've kind of got our mission. It would be quite risky to do that, and we'd probably raise some alarm bells if we were to go for it. I'm not really sure how we could convince them. We could say we're the spell scroll inspection. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, just to make sure that they're not fakes or anything like that. How? We've, we've heard we've heard word of counterfeit scrolls going about. No, well, we can just. Check how long until they're finished. Begin with. And how about, take the card. How about about? this? We'll keep going. We'll do some nearby ballistas, and then just before we go to Arcane Gate, we'll come back and take a quick peek if anyone's proud. Sure, I'm done for that. Okay. So. Nikata, sound good. Mm. Okay. How many ballistas are we? So there is one ballista uh, on the ground, away from the guard house. And as you move towards it, you actually see there's a blister on top of the garden house, but that's okay. that might be a bit so too risky. Yeah. yeah. The one below the, the on the ground that is the man. It is not that. Okay, so okay, all right, let's, let's hit that, that one. one. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll turn to Cav, and then I will <laughs> I will just put my like finger up to my mouth, and just be like, and 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 awake in mind, just be like, I'll I'll take I'll do this one quietly. You don't don't touch this one. <laughs> <laughs> I love calf. 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm so... Mass Kitchen Shack out advantage. I'm giving you advantage just because you're pretty familiar with... Yeah. So far. Uh, 23. 23, okay. This one... Tried and true. The pulleys are... The pulleys are not bolted, but screwed in. Oh, let's get the... <laughs> Philip head. <laughs> Philip head dagger out. My hand. <laughs> hand is like classic design. <laughs> oh, oh yes, this is schematic three of the uh, <laughs> the list this week. Ah oh, yes, the, the Hemington Mark Three. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, the list that they've got. Here. <laughs> you don't see them made like this anymore. I'll tell you that. <laughs> this ballista can fit so many bolts. <laughs> Slide hand chest, please. Slaps ballista. Advantage, because I'm familiar with this one or no? Not with advantage. Uh, well, actually, someone's there, so yeah. Get, you get advantage. Yeah, I've done this one before. While, while Hans is fiddling around with the thing. Thank oh, fuck. Give me. What? Hold, yeah. yeah. Hold, hold on a second. What's the check? It was a 19 and a 1. So that's, well, plus 5, so that's 24. Yeah. The other two, the other two screws, Hans. 22 drow ballista screws. We're going to be oh, able to build a ballista in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Just of screws. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'll walk over to Leocada. Uh, how many guards were by the scroll, the cart of like scrolls that we saw? There's about three on watch. Oh, three. three. No, so three by three by the wagon, like keeping an eye out on this. As... And then two loading. Uh, right now, the, well, right now, it appears, right now, uh, the chest is actually being closed, and you seem to just be in, uh, and going back inside. One of the guards is in the process of counting up, like stuff on the wagon so okay three plus the guy that's counting up so no just three one of the three is counting oh okay so only three okay yes only three only okay three. how hit do you think a minotaur could easily carry that cart uh wait is the what is the cart supposed to be pulled by so there is a giant wizard there are actually two giant wizards uh, they'll be pulling the cart. I mean, we... Okay. Are they still hooked up? This is hooked up, yes. I mean... This is ready to go, right? Yeah. And there's also just the chest there as well, like, on the back of the cart. Okay. Right, okay, because it's an open cart. Yeah. Yeah, And yeah. then there's the chest on the thing. It's not like... There's no, like, canvas over yeah, it. Like, right, okay, 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 because in my head it was like, okay, yeah. alright, okay. Yeah, that that's what I sense. thought. Um... And is there nothing else on the cart? Yeah, there are other. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. like other barrows and stuff. You but saw them like load up like other weapons in that book. Okay, okay. The thing that definitely took, I mean, weapons in that book. Spouse scrolls. Alright, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Could a giant lizard and a cart fit through the arcane gate? Hans, you think? What's the sorry? A giant lizard and a cart? A giant lizard pulling a cart kind of with an arcane gate. I'll, I'll do some, you know, uh, like hand gestures to try and. 10 probably, feet probably. wide, 10 feet high, yeah, probably not, if it's, probably not. <laughs> um, it's a bit big, but the chest, because it's in a chest, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. are the it's two guards, like, what are they like? Um, ooh. Are they elite, are they the like simple tones, what's the deal here? Uh, one of them is a Dunamancer. Oh shit, our worst enemy. Okay, okay, I I okay, hold on. I have a plan. I I I, What's your plan? I think I have a plan. Right. We cut. We're. I don't think. Like Han says, we're on here for ballistas and slaves for now. Okay. Yeah. But once that arcane gate, ideally we grab what we can and run. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. So once the arcane gate starts, <sighs> someone strong, either Kav or Aina. I, I'm just. I'm. You know, just to make things a bit simpler. I'll bring up the map as well for this. Oh, oh my god. So. Holy shit, okay. Um, oh my god, we're in a jungle, what the hell? I think he's not there, sorry for me. So, yeah, you guys are by this ballista here. Mm. Okay. So, what part of the camp are we in then? Hmm? What part of the camp are we in? Are like north side, middle, central? It's kind of, it's kind of middle western side. Middle Western. Oh, perfect. Okay. Right. My thought is once the arcane gate starts happening, everyone starts running out. I'll come back here with someone strong who can carry the chest, whoever that may be. 
Wink, wink. Does it look like this? The chest can be one had by our uh, our chieftain beefcake. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I would also say coming back here yeah. might be yeah. a little troublesome if the whole set, if like things are going. Particularly since this is a guard post, you get a sense that if you want to take it, you want to maybe take it now or. No, okay. And, uh, oh, actually, yeah. Okay. 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 I have an idea, but it will blow my disguise as the captain. Wait, what's your idea before you do anything? Is to go up to the camp and then just yell, gather everyone's attention there and say, "Everyone comes south. They're here." So that'll draw all the attention, and then I'm as soon as I get around to like, I can make like a corner, bank around a corner, greater invisibility myself, and run all the way back to you guys. The ball strat cart, let's see if it pays off. Like, hopefully, it should be enough time for Aina or Kav to go to the back of the car and grab the chest. But we said that we, we did this blister, right? We don't know if they're. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to Leocada about yeah. this while, like, oh, sorry, I guess it's everyone. Like while you're, yeah, while, 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 while yeah, you're. I while don't you're know if, if. I don't know if the people that are by the cart and dealing with the cart are gonna leave. And the risk is that we're just gonna draw a bunch of other soldiers to that place. Okay. You know what I mean? I mean, we might be being a little bit greedy. Do we really need spell scrolls? Use. No. I, like, as much as I want the spell scrolls, the, we are, like, in the place where the guards are, so maybe we should just go. Okay. Oscars can burn, right? Just because they're magical doesn't mean they're undis un undis in people. Right? Yeah. Yep. They are cast as magical items, so they're a bit more resilient than normal people. Okay. So I'm just send a fireball to the flag and you really want me to. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm kind of with this, or maybe... I don't think we're in a position to quietly okay. without getting caught. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Yep, you're both right. Okay. More ballistas then? Yeah. I say we so just start, one... start like we start for going to ballista and start looking for a place where to place the arcane gate. Well I mean it's on the way kind of thing. Yeah yeah I mean, yeah. If yeah, there's, yeah, if there's, there's on if there's on like, ballistas. Yeah, it's just like I don't wanna be caught unprepared. We also need to make Western Gate uh, free for people to get of as, as well. Yeah, that's like, why I'm like, maybe uh, we should like, start scouting uh, the area where to place the Arcane Gate and see, you know, uh, do we have to take uh, care of anybody in there? And yeah, I mean, let's just yeah, let's just make our case, way back. And then yeah. if there's an unmanned ballista, it like I think Almost. we should still yeah, do yeah, that. If but if there's not, yeah, we just yes, but like, yeah. start heading west. Yeah, 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 yeah. cool. She just about to get down. I don't want to. Don't have on this kit. Yep. Okay. Sorry, Anna. No heavy chest carrying today. <laughs> you can carry me. <laughs> I'd carry you any day. You guys, oh, start making your way. Okay. <laughs> you guys, start making your way back down the long roads back towards the Western Gate, where you saw the drow driving hunters. No longer there. Oh shit. Yep. Alright, we have to do that. Just outside, you see, at the gate, slaves being told to create, like, to patch up, patch up the walls and actually fill the space at the gate was filled with rubble to prevent any assault. Fill the space where the gate is. Mm -hmm. They are wall they actually walling off the gate with Shit. rubble and that, as it's like they did in Frodia. Yeah. As a decent amount of slaves yeah, and a decent amount of drow kind of around this. From this, you can spot. Yeah. Two unmanned ballista fairly close by to you guys. Um, I'll say. Yeah, I say hands. Give me a slight hand check for the still with advantage. Right, cool. 
Oh, that's uh, not 20, so 25. Oh, damn, okay. So, you mark off another two ballista having been destroyed. So, am I keeping track of the other group as well, or...? Hmm? No, no, am I so, keeping track no, of the other no, no, group no, as well? No, 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 don't worry about that. Okay, so ten ballistas we've so, done so far. as you finish up with that second ballista, there's a decent collection of slaves at easily about 100 or so. Hmm. And some of your sharper eyes spot a few of them are without their findings of what you freed earlier. But I still a lot of them are still restrained in some restrained in some way. That and there's still there's also a lot more slaves nearby that haven't been sent to the Western Gate. Okay, I'll start like then making my way towards the field and just Trying to get those legs together. As long as there are like not too many draws, like you know. Yeah. Okay. So, attention. series of checks. So first of all, stealth check. Plus ten. Pass, yes. For everyone. Yeah. Uh, well, this is just for oh. card in particular. Twenty. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, Twenty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Nice. Now give me a persuasion check, please. I'll show off the. Yep, Golden. that's going to affect the DC. Well, uh, uh, 14. That's okay, the the, thing, the skill lowers the DC by that, so okay. you're, good, you're good. Damn it, I like stuff. You persuade the slaves enough that... Uh, and now give me a lockpick track, please. Well, okay. Okay, uh, plus my proficiency, right? Yes. And dex. I don't have dex. Okay. <laughs> so what is it? <laughs> um, three. 20. 20. Okay, 20. And give me a... Uh... Oh, shit, what did I have you roll last time? First region, sleight of hand, and the stealth only, right? Stealth, but there was something... Um... At the 8? No. I think it was. Uh, it was. It grow. Hmm. Fuck. Then those checks. No, no, no it, when you did the previous group of slaves. Oh, I think oh. it was at the secret or the eight. I think. Give me. Uh, mm, try no. uh, you know, what? screw. I'll, I'll just say. Manage to unlock for an even 40 slaves. And as you're just finishing up, you guys hear a <laughs> From the center of Nithia, one of the larger drow pillar like spires erupts in golden fire. Ooh. As there's oh. shouts and screams across. Settlement. We can finish uh, finish unlocking the last two near you. What are you guys doing? Is Dashka nearby? Dashka, you did spot us somewhere. You did spot in amongst the rabble by the gate. Can we uh can we gesture her over and armor? She, no. You guys are too far oh, okay. away for her to know. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay, never mind. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm assuming that everyone's It's time to go! It's time to go! We're on our way to you! Okay, yeah. so we start making our way towards the west, right? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, where did. So, are the dragon hunters anywhere to be seen? You don't no. see them. I'm a little bit worried about that. Yeah. Um. Quite worried, in fact. Right, but... okay, we need mm -hmm. to find a place where to place their king gate. Yeah, well, I guess there's like a, a wall nearby. West right. close to the wall that where the, that they're peeking though, right? Yeah, they are current. They've yeah. blocked off the gate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking like if we like go up on top of the wall. Mhm. Mm Wait, what? Well, give me hands. Give me intelligence check, please. Oh God. I believe. Okay, that's a uh, seventeen. Okay. The easiest way. The, the most simplest way to do this is. Most of the slaves are gathered by this western gate, which is now yeah. kind of been sealed up by like a mound of rubble yeah. that they've been yeah. piling up and working on the wall. 
the easiest thing would be put the arcing gate right before this mound of rubble yeah. so that when they run through it they run through the other side where you send your arcing gate as far out as close to the mountains yeah. as possible can i see through the water rubble though i need to be able to see i mean i mean if you if you get onto your walls and also you've traveled from that direction so you really have like a oh okay okay sure. yeah i'll do well also could carve not um break down that rubble yeah but we don't want them to start like ah uh, okay i guess being, like, Escape, yeah. Okay. You know? Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Right. I'll, I'll. I'll. But I need to leave. Like, I need to go with the arcing gate. So as soon as soon as I put it down, we've got a ten minute window, and I need to be on the other side because I can't risk getting hit and losing yeah. concentration. Yeah. Okay. So out. let's just go to where the, where they're piling up the rubble. Yeah. Put the arcing gate. You go through, and then we'll. Yeah. I can stay behind with someone else and start getting the people out, and then I can just dimension door out if anything happens. Sure. But then can Carve come through as well? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can go. Yeah, yeah. Ka I, and then I'll, 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 I'll look at Carve as like it's, it's time. Come with, come with me and, and help, help slaves, help the slaves. Sure, legs. Uh, come through, and I cast arcane <laughs> legs. <Wait. laughs> That's who I am now. <laughs> and I'll cast, I, I'll cast arcane gate like where the rubble is. So it's like almost like a nine and three quarters kind of deal that we've got going on. Okay. And five hundred feet forward, and I'll go through it and. I would like to find a shady spot on the other side. Okay, wait. Well, to go invisible in case wait, anything follows me through and wants okay. to hit me. No shady spot on the other side, but you're gonna, all of you are gonna have to be running up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to, like to, towards 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 the stage you're working on this. Yeah. The odd drow overlooking them. What are you wanting to do about the drow? Oh well, I guess we kill them more. I can. Yeah. Well, maybe that's your time to do the. The destruction and carry them away, and then as the drow are now ordering oh, yeah. slaves to disperse back to their quarters. Yeah. Uh, How many drow are there? There, um, there's a decent amount. There's at least twenty or something. How many elite guards? Elite guards, about two or so. I mean, come on, come on. Right, hold on. I'll. Okay. Right, yeah, if I'm gonna like, burn the disguise, I'll do it for this. They're dispersing. The, they're dispersing this group now. No. Oh. Okay. I'll. I'll. I was like. I'll yell out. <laughs> I'll yell. They have the arcing gate hasn't been done yet, has it? No. Nope. No. No. Okay. Right. Yeah. Vi will yell in his in under common. Um. No slaves work double time. To get this. A fortification done. You men with me, and I'm gonna start bolting towards the central center of where the dragon, the gold fire was seen. Okay, intimidation or persuasion, your trails. Oh, they're both good. So, um, I'll I'll stick with persuasion. Okay. I think it's kind of guy. It's, it's who I am, Jafiel. Jafiel. Mm -hmm. That's 22. You see the most senior one, the early warrior, kind of stabbed towards you, kind of a bit puffed up about someone clashing their authority. Mm. And then they see you, you and your rank. You have the captain! Now! As you watch, as coming down from the walls, even the sharpshooters. Yeah. Oh. Filing in rank, and are you leading them away, by? Yep, leading it all and back towards the center. Okay, so you've got twenty drow <laughs> behind you now, by as you're moving away. The three of you, what are you guys doing? Uh, you cast the king gate, right? Oh yeah, I'm like when when I get there, I'm doing the king gate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so me and Cav's my bodyguard. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just going to run up and cast arcing gates? Pretty much, we're at 9 and 3 quarters. Yeah, quarter, and I'll, 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 I'll stick with them so they have the fast travel trace and the cover to start. Do okay. It, to, okay. Not that you hate too many people. Okay. Mm. As So as you kind of run up hands, you have to kind of like almost rexy part through the slaves. Carve is kind of pushing you forward. Vex, make way! <laughs> shouting out. 
and you run up and you get a right the mound of rubble as you see on, you see up top of it, almost like victoriously putting the last rock up top, Dashka. Oh god, I love Dashka. <laughs> oh Dashka. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> she said how are you? Alright you. <laughs> oh all Oh, all right, all right. All right, you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll wink up and then cast oh. and through. <laughs> As you go through, you don't see this, but she jumps off the rubble and into the arcing gate. Nice. Oh my yes. God. Yes. Come on, ropes. come on, come on. Get in, get in, get in quickly. Okay. And start, like... The slaves. What's, yeah. going, what's going on? As in, Shut up, just run! <laughs> pushing forward. As you see, halflings, dwarves, human, dragonborns. Furbogs, orcs, and a few other minotaurs. Oh, minotaurs have to crawl through as the moon forward. They can, I know, you guys hear from the other walls and the far peripheral. Slaves escaping! Slaves escaping! But it's kind of being lost in the chaos. Sweet. And you actually see the closest archer to the guy goes to draw an arrow, and you see, I've come out of nowhere. <coughs> Hagar, show the charge the archer. Oh, yes! 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 As the archer falls, Hagar lands on him, stabs him three times. Says, Fine, let's go, let's fucking go! <laughs> Twilight is running up, just taking part shots at a group of drow that are kind of pursuing them. As Fake is kind of leading, is kind of bringing up the rear. Just with her, as she's running forward, her. Archer here is shooting backwards as well. Nice. In, hand, <laughs> in tandem. So cool. As, uh, as they make the way, Hagar stops beside the two of you as Ida and Fig get close to the gate where I cover fire. Okay. With Hans and Vi. Hans is already through. Vi is trying to lead the, some other people away. Meanwhile, Vi, what are you doing? Meanwhile. <laughs> 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 I fucking love that dude. <laughs> okay, as we're as I'm like leading these group of men, I'm going or and women and whoever the hell else is here. Uh, I will tell them we're heading towards like where the gold fire like gold fire was first, right? Yep. Okay. I'll I'll as I'll keep running and then I'll kind of like stop to turn back to like give them orders as I like point towards the fires. I was like, get to the ballistas! And I'm gonna point to all the ones that I know we fucked up. <laughs> like, okay. Nice. I'm just gonna like, get to the ballistas! Whoever brings me that dragon's head will celebrate his blood tonight! You say this by as you watch the gargantuan ancient form of Auric burst through one of the towers, wings spread apart. And beholding onto all of the fear, an ancient golden dragon that's yes. echoing oh, out God. as it begins circling and spiring outward. Give me a. Uh, for this intimidation check with advantage. Oh, you'll love to see it. That's a 27. Okay. Nice. The drow begin dispersing and leaving you alone, facing up alone against this golden dragon. What are you doing, Vi? As soon as everyone's gone, I'm going to pretend to start running towards the barracks. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use a, one of my sorcery points and subtle cast greater invisibility on myself. Okay. <gasps> as you run, you kind of back to future, fading into <laughs> invisible. I assume you make your way back to the gates. Oh, 100%! I'm beelining it way okay. back to the arcade game. Okay, for this, give me an athletic mm, acrobatics check. Thank you, thank you. I'm so blessings, scared for this. Blessings for you and your family. It's dragon hunters, I'm kinda... Oh no. Uh, did you say with advantage? Or... <laughs> no. <laughs> Athletics or acrobatics, right? Yes. Okay, my athletics is actually better than acrobatics, but I rolled a three, so oh, no. seven altogether. You won't get to the gate within the minute. You might have to recast Great Invisibility two or three more, t uh, one or two more times. Oh, okay. That I hold on. I'm gonna check my spells stuff because I've already burned a fifth level and fourth. 
Um, I'll cast it one more time, but once it ends, it it ends. Okay. Give me another check. Affects acrobatics. I'll do athletics this time. I'll do athletics again, but just hopefully I roll better. I did! 18! Much better. You managed to avoid some possible damage. As you oh kind of run through the streets, as Aaron Rubble is flying and fire is beginning to the cup, and the sand is beginning to heat up as well, you see, you manage to make your way back to the gate as your invisibility ends, as Hargoyle kind of how goes kind of sees you appear. You okay, Mike? Get to the gate! Get to the gate! Get to the gate! Get to the gate! Go, go, go! As you guys make your way through, you hear the sound of blister firing off. Some do fly up and connect with the dragon. Others, you see the one closest to you getting mad. Fax! You hear the sound of one falling through a building. I don't know what. Another one as the lot, the most metallic twang oh. of, the, of the compromised drawstring as nice. across the sentiments you've sabotaged a decent amount of these ballista. Go. Cool. However. Oh shit. Yeah, I know it's these fucking dragon hunters. So. Who wants to roll for the magical ballista? No. Um. How yeah. dare you, you. How How dare you have shame? Yeah. Awesome. No, I rolled for it, Greg. You rolled d twenty, please. Okay, I'm taking another dice out. From this. Yeah. Hopefully, shittier ones. Let's go. Come uh, on, you, you, we roll a d twenty. Yeah, roll d twenty. Tell me what the total. Is. Tell me what the roll is. Yes, yes, it's a five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's go. <laughs> wait, wait. This one was still wait. locked up in jail. Five <laughs> plus. Let me check. What if, like this was Five a D20 plus to 10 see? is a 15. 15 does not hit the Ancient Dragon's armor class of 22. Let's oh fucking go! Yeah. Ask me again to roll, Hex. <laughs> <laughs> my roll, my roll rolls are finally my my roll rolls, my low rolls. <laughs> I'm, finally, I'm finally coming in in in, in, in hand. <laughs> As the dragon sees the slaves gathering out to the west, roll. you fly over and you see this ballista bolt, one that is almost like caustically green, flies straight up, phew, barely missing his neck as he double times. Oh. And uh, you just hear this voice echoing out, Go! And as the last of you make your way through the portal, you see him set to the light. The ground near the portal to prevent any drop from falling through. Nice. Uh-huh. And you guys begin leading the slaves back through the mountains towards the dragon's sanctuary. And as you arrive back there after a hard day's travel, with everyone exhausted, tired, and a long trek and a hard fought battle, as adrenaline was, the adrenaline has long since faded. You guys reach the safety of the Dragon Sanctuary. Will you be taking a long rest, I assume? And this is what we'll yeah, be I... from the end of next week. Well, next week. As as um as we're leaving, I will. Can I can I can I um sending the dragon just to warn warn him and say there's a special ballista. I think that no needs to be uh, no needs to be said. Okay, I'm I'm scared. <laughs> but that's what we're going to end for today. All right. Okay.